And we are live. Yeah. Alrighty. So, uh, welcome back for another wonderful session of the Black Aurora. This one is a bit different, though. We do not have a last time on the Black Aurora for this one. Things happened. We'll get to that. The story that's being told across Delcast has followed our core, yet to be solidly named party so far, uh, and will continue to do so, but not, not just yet. As right now, we are shifting our focus where in the world. All across Elkes, there are innumerable cogs and wheels spinning into emotion, like ripples or waves in the wake of our party's actions. Each place they've been, the, the people they've met, the things they've done, and even those they've yet to do, all of it has been set into motion by their actions. And we move our focus now to another place, uh, another ripple, a land not too distant, just a few hundred miles west of our party's current location in the Dane, we find ourselves back in the kingdom of Calcifel. Let me put us on Calcifel. Been some time. Yes. yes. More specifically, we find ourselves in the city of Kytark, the once proud capital now humbled. Bent, but not broken. In the three months believe it or not, since Zivadona laid waste to the capital in what mm. has become known as the Fall of Kytark, mm. the people have rebuilt enough to return to some sense of normalcy. This is thanks to the aid of the travelers of the Holy Land, who have allied against Zivadona and the Dane Republic in the ensuing war. The city was not just torn apart by a dragon, though, although mm. a lot of the residents would tell you that was the worst part. It was also crippled from within after the erudition matrix lost control and converted thousands of the citizens into abominable monsters, mm -hmm. leading to mass chaos and hysteria. Another ripple from some actions taken. In this chaos, two factions have upheld and supported the populace more than any other. The Chitin Church has redoubled all efforts, and they see the Holy Land's intervention as fulfillment of Kite's promise so long ago to come to their aid, emboldening the faithful. However, more so than even the influential bishops, it is the rooks who have made the greatest impact in the people's eye. Securing safe passage for the townsfolk of all castes of society, and bringing in a steady supply of resources, the rooks have gone from low lives and thieves to hometown heroes in the eyes of the citizenship. For the first time, the rooks even have a decent relationship with the local guards and hold a... some consider unwarranted seat of power in the city as they have begun to almost outrank the church in the people's uh, opinions. Uh, though tensions are obviously still held between the Chitin bishops and the rooks, uh, who view them as unregulated vigilantes and smugglers who use acts of kindness and charity to disguise acts of uh, thievery, vandalism, etc., etc. Regardless of any opinions, however, none can contest that the rooks hold a vital role in today's Kaitark. With the Merc reappearing almost at random amongst the citizens, the large percentage of barren rooks is suddenly an unimaginable boon, as well as the smaller but still very important percentage of resilient rooks that have appeared recently. We find ourselves in the city of Kaitark for this story, which I will put us on the new Kaitark map after yeah, three months. Destroyed. Three months of rebuilding and restoration with the assistance of outside help. Kaitark yeah. is once more the city of promise. Yeah. Sweet. More specifically, mm -hmm. we find ourselves in the tunnels underneath Kaitark starting mm -hmm. our story today. The mm -hmm. various passageways and sewers that make up what is known as the rookways underneath the city. In a cavernous chamber, we find the three masks, the leaders who serve the mysterious Rook and act as captains of their divisions within the organization. Let me put us on that. 
Oh, no momento. First, we have Ardent, the Mask of Honor, a warforged who hides his mangled body beneath a tattered robe. He upholds the rules and regulations of the Rooks, as well as manages the relations with other officials, such as those of the church. He's the rule keeper, the judge, and the jury, but not the executioner. Next, we have Cloak, the Mask of Loyalty, who, despite not wearing an actual mask, is wearing his namesake Cloak. Uh, he is seen as the protector of the people. He is the guardian of the Rooks. He controls and reinforces the uh, uh, the footwork of the city, those who go out and help the, the populace. Uh, he's also a bit of a vigilante, uh, aiding the people that can't be helped by the uh, greater powers. And finally, there is Seraf, the Mask of Freedom. Uh, an ASMR with silvered skin beneath her face mask with a bow strung across her back. Uh, she is one who handles the smuggling of goods and even peoples who need to escape uh, the corrupt justice of the Chitin Church uh, in and out of the city. She's also the bookkeeper and financial manager for the Rooks. These three are known by all of the citizens in some way or another, whether it's in whispered stories or gossip or some who've even met them. Hmm. Today, three individuals have been called to this chamber to have a private meeting with the three masks. First. Clementine. Clementine. You have served particularly Seraph, the Mask of Freedom, for some time, correct? Yes. Yes. Uh, would you like to do us the honor of describing your character? Yes. Okay, so <laughs> you see kind of slowly creeping in on their little point, like, ball feet. Um, they're <laughs> probably at most... Uh, let's see, what did I say? Four foot eleven. Mm. Um, their ears make up most of that distance. Um, they have um, a hood over top and their ears are po poking through. Um, but below the hood is some dark furs. Um, but around the face is like lighter kind of reddish tint. Mm. Um, they have bright golden eyes that seem to be like a little too big for their face. Um, <laughs> Their uh, ears have like gold hoops and studs inlaid on them. Um, there's a, a bull nose, like a brass bull nose um, ring. Um, there's, you just see two little cute little fangs pointing out from the bottom or from the top lip down the top of the bottom. And they're wearing um, leather, studded leather armor that's really just like a like a breastplate with the free arms. Um, and it extends down to the so they're just above their knees and everywhere else is furry. Um, and they have like long spindly three fingered hands, I guess, that are end in little claws. Um, and they just kind of are quiet. You barely hear them. You're not sure if you actually see them um, as well. Um, so yeah, that's what Clementine looks like. Okay. Clementine, yeah. as you enter the chamber, uh, Seraph makes eye contact and gives you a small nod. Uh, as also entering, uh, we have another figure. Finn, would you do us the pleasure of introducing yourself? Of course, of course. So, this is Finn. Um, it, In yeah, March. Yeah, yeah, it's all good. It's all good. So, he's hot shit, basically. <laughs> <laughs> um, um, he, he has, like, similar to like rogue robes um mm -hmm. but he does have it's like a glamoured what is it glam glamoured studded leather so he can make it look however he wants really but Ooh. basically what you see right there it's he's mm -hmm. pretty color-coded and it has some checkered 
vest. Um, he has horns, really big ones. Tiefling. Uh, yeah, tiefling. And a long tail, and he's about mm, six foot four-ish. Very tall. Very <laughs> fit. Yeah. That's I'm I'm not as good at descriptive shit, so No no, you're fine. <laughs> you're fine. <laughs> Let's just go with that. Uh, as as Finn so swaggers into the room. <laughs> yeah, uh, I will note uh in response to your earlier question, uh, I would say that Cloak was probably the one who saved Finn. Okay. Uh, so been. Cloak gives you uh, uh, a nod. And uh the final person joining us today. Right. No surprise anymore, <laughs> but uh <laughs> ruined it. No problem. Uh right. was gonna be a moment. Felix, uh, I would say you could describe your character, but anyone who has been watching, you know, four people maybe, um, <laughs> you are a previous huh. member of our party. But is there anything new about Felix that we would we should know? Um, so a few changes since the la the party has last seen Felix. Um, on his left hand, he now wears the PPE that the party is familiar with that Morgana Ooh. used to wear. Um, yeah, that's so over, awesome. uh, it's fingerless, so, uh, on his left hand, there's also a ring that was not previously there. <laughs> uh, <laughs> on, on, like, the ring finger, maybe? Perhaps. Yes. Perhaps. <laughs> um, it's not like a no ceremony. Um, <laughs> He's um, ordained. So, yes, the amalgamation of a half succubus and luck elf mm -hmm. with purple skin uh, wearing this half plate armor and this armored creature that hovers over uh, Felix at all times that he wears as easily as he does his aura that flows out. Should also note on the, the mention of aura, Clementine and Finn, do either of you have your auras active at the moment? I don't um, think Clementine would know to activate it. Okay. <laughs> um, unless somebody prompts him, he's fine with what he looks like right now. Sure, <laughs> sure. Just good so, time. He's already fabulous. Uh, mm -hmm. As you three uh, arrive at this meeting round, uh, you realize uh, some of you who've been here for longer periods, Felix, you've been with the Rooks for the last couple of months. Uh, Finn, I think I think in order of most recent to oldest, it goes Felix, Finn, Clementine. Clementine's been with the, the group, I think, the longest at this point. Oh, okay, okay. Um, Clementine, you probably would know this room usually doubles as a, uh, it's either a like meeting room or a school room for the orphans brought in by the rooks. You can see a pile of like discarded toys and like extra clothes <laughs> off to the side, bed rolls on the left for where people would take naps, desks with chairs. This is sort of like you're meeting in this clandestine elementary school. Can, can I have it so that Clementine would have just sat down at the desk? Probably, <laughs> yes. She's I, I would at. not be surprised if she <laughs> immediately went there. Yeah. Um, but as you guys uh, enter into this cavern, there were rook guards posted that were just kind of wandering around. As soon as you three enter, uh, Ardent r lifts a hand up and waves, and they all leave to give you all some privacy. Uh, Ardent, the central, the mask of honor, the, the none of the, none of these three are particularly the leader, but he is the rule maker, so people do come to him usually first with things. Mm -hmm. uh, addresses you three. Thank you for coming on such short notice. I know this is unusual. We have been receiving reports lately of the Merc re-emerging. And you three, to our, the best of our knowledge, particularly one of you, are resilient to this Merc. Uh, I believe two of you are currently afflicted. Is that not the case? And he looks over to Seraph and she goes, Yes, uh, I can confirm that Clementine was recently afflicted after um, the realization that she was also not, in fact, barren. This was um, news to us. And then, again, we apologize for the... If we had known, we would not have sent you against such creatures, Clementine. 
Oh, you know, I mean, it happens. I mean, I didn't know either, so it's been a while since. Wait, it hasn't been a while because I didn't know. Somebody but... recently. Yeah, I mean, you know, it's fine. Composure, composure, composure. <laughs> <laughs> uh, cloak. We like it. We love it. Looks over to uh, to Finn and Felix, uh, and I'm acquainted with both of these. And... Uh, these two, I know that Finn is is currently afflicted, and Felix, um, we mm -hmm. yes, we so... never really cleared up. Um, you used to be afflicted, correct? Yes. Um, thanks to otherworldly creatures, it was removed the last time. You wouldn't happen to know where to find those otherworldly creatures, would you? you I do, like but um. I don't think we want to meet with the emissary anytime soon. He removed it from us, right? Uh, it was Vivian. It was Vivian. It was Vivian. Okay, yeah, sorry. Vivian removed it from you, and then I don't think you got hit in the fight against Zazanatek, so you don't have Merc again. Right, so I'm pretty sure. to correct that, an, an, old, an old friend. Um, are they dead? Yes, um, they are. Thank you. Oh, oh, that's Blame. really sad. My apologies. My condolences. Regardless, um, we gathered you today because there is, um, well, he kind of looks over to Ardent, and Ardent turns to the board behind him and uh, pins up a paper. It looks like almost um, like a wanted poster, but it's not for, like, bounty it says uh wanted any and all who have survived the merc uh it is posted by the chitin church Ooh. there has been a summons for anyone who has any form of resilience to this disease normally we would ignore this the church can deal with it themselves but it's affecting the populace the people this is something we can't overlook, especially after what happened the last time we had an outbreak. We have made contact with the church, and I still don't trust it, but they are willing to work with us. We are forming a combined unit. You three have been selected. Well looks over to Cloak and Cloak. We are not forcing anything, but um, we know how terrifying facing the Merc can be. Mm. I can't really speak as I'm a traveler. I don't have an aura. Mm. But unfortunately, I'm um, I'm kind of wanted by the church in some major ways. I don't think I should mm. be involved in this. Um, I, I, he turns back to the other two. I still am willing to. And see, Seraph goes, no, no, Cloak, we don't we don't need you to get involved directly. We have far too many political things going on already. Having you end up in their dungeons would only make things worse. Right. Ardent, um, Honor, believes that this may be a trap of some sort. So we're sending the three most capable resilient we've met. Some of the other resilient are not used to combat or skilled with the sword and spell. You three at least have those capabilities, and we don't want to send someone in who may get in over their head. If you three are willing, we will support you. Uh, we won't send you there alone. Uh, Ardent will be accompanying you, and um, I will be keeping a close eye from the shadows as best as I can. Who are we working with from the church? I can't say I like the idea of working with them. To my knowledge, I believe this is being orchestrated directly under Archbishop Vinest Valertain. Grand Archbishop Vinest. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Ain't that great? Ain't that great, guys? I love it. Oh, that name There's is a so ceremony <laughs> um, today. Uh... <laughs> at the, uh, the the grounds of the cathedral rebuilding site. Uh, supposed to be... Apparently they usually do all their ceremonies there, even though it's not properly rebuilt. They're set in their ways. So the good news is it's very open. 
Lots of exits. There's no walls. So if anything goes awry, we can get you out easily. I think maybe they also chose it for that reason so that we might actually show up. Uh, there's also um, a couple of rookways that go underneath the cathedral. We can send units down there to be ready to assist if needed. Great. Well, don't worry, I really know my way around the sewers and the tunnels, so I help. And, you know, if we get in the the manacles and the locks, I undo them real well, you know, it'll be fine. That's why we're sending a cloak along as well. Um, he has abilities that may help in the event of an ambush. So Cloak goes, yeah, uh, I'll see anything coming. Literally. Don't worry about it. I'll, uh, I'll let you guys know if they're planning anything sneaky. Sneaky. Yeah. Great. Well, only three of us, but that's all we have. I believe the unit will have more from the church uh, on their end, but for the rooks, you three are the only ones confirmed resilient that have any level of skill. We could test it, but resiliency is only tested by exposure to Merc, which would be the same as killing people who are not. Right. So unfortunately, yes, this is what we're working with. Okie dokie, let's go! Are there any questions, or you're, you're all willing? So, we don't all right. Um, is Seraph coming? Uh, Seraph, I give her a little wink. <laughs> uh, no, I will be staying back. Unfortunately, someone has mm -hmm. to actually watch these um, tunnels. With Ardent and Cloak above ground in the church's midst, we can't send the entirety of the leadership. Mm -hmm. The Rook must have someone to report to. Uh, you know, any matters that need to be addressed. It's regrettable. Okay. All right. You got the boss. Well, uh, if you're all, if you're all willing, um, oh, thank you. Live. We we appreciate it. As turning down this offer would um, waste a valuable opportunity. In case they are sincere, this could be a good step moving forward. And Arden goes, yes, but if they are planning something, this will finally out them as the villains they are. And we'll be ready. Cloak uh, looks over and goes, um, regardless, uh, we have some provisions for you. Uh, we're not going to send you in there empty-handed, of course. Uh, each of you may add three greater potions of healing. Three greater! And two superior potions of healing. Does that greater. count the ones I already had? Correct. Cool. These are being given to you. Because apparently I still had some. And it was, I'm sorry. It was the... Three greater, two superior. Thank you. Oh, great. No supreme. They're not that rich. I, mean, I almost die three months ago. I almost died a few weeks ago. Um, how, this is fine. How I familiar am I with these two? I would have at least seen them in passing, I imagine. Uh, yeah. Oh, uh, well, yeah. The Rooks is a big organization. Um, it spans multiple cities. Uh, there, there, there are like Rook districts over in other parts of Calcifel, other even some Dane. Um, these these two have been in Kytark at least for a while recently. Um, for a majority of time, I know uh, Finn's been here for a long time. Clementine's been here, but underground for a long time. I don't know how much you'd know them intimately or anything like no, that. No, but at least seen them in passing, no of them. You three are co-workers, so to speak. Gotcha. You, you know each other, to an extent. Uh, I would say it makes sense that Clementine and Finn maybe don't know each other super well. No. I wouldn't cross paths. No. Yeah. Maybe I've seen you all just and never see it. Hello. You look very good and oh, thank don't you. talk to people a lot. That's okay. You seem like you talk to lots of people. Maybe you give Clementine tips? No. Oh, yeah. Okay. Teach you to flirt, I guess. Oh, I just don't tell people. So, no. so if there's nothing else, um, should we head head over? Uh, I'm going to fucking die today. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> uh, That's God. the goal. 
<laughs> okay, let's go. Okay, I'm ready. So you guys <laughs> get your provisions. How is that? And you guys be stealthy? begin to head out uh, across <laughs> the. Uh, you you immediately choose the the rookways of Kaitark until you get closer to the uh, the meeting point at the Cathedral of Kaitark uh, site. Oh, I got a quick question. Absolutely. I don't think you ever told how much gold we start out with, or is that based on our class? Um, or does it matter? I hadn't considered shopping, but okay. it tech. No, no. If, if you guys wanted to stop on the way, and no, shop, I'm not I saying. I'm not saying shop. shop. I'm just saying I'd like to know how much I have. Sure. Um, you guys are rooks. You three are are well known enough among the rooks. You guys have probably done a number of jobs. Um, I'm gonna say each of you roll me. 1d6. 1d6. I got the four. Alright, three. Okay. Uh, multiply, <laughs> multiply that by three. Uh, so for Felix, it's six. Clementine, it's 12. Finn, it's nine. That's how many hundreds of gold you have on you right now. <gasps> Holy shit! I'm oh, really yeah, rich. To whatever you had already, Felix. I don't know yeah. what you had on your. Yep. You can afford the good soup. I had like a <laughs> thousand, so. Just have to get the bit. fresh fruit, you know. Yeah. You guys are well off because Jesus. you are loyal and resourceful. Relatively. The rooks pay their own pretty well. Yeah. Where the money came from, don't ask. Don't. Maybe it was legal. Mm, definitely. Mm. Uh, but anyways, uh, as you guys uh, make your way through the rookways of the city, the tunnels, and some some of the natural stone tunnels do connect into the sewer network, which Kaitark does actually have a, not necessarily modern, but close to modern sewer network, thanks to it being the original place that Kite touched down so long ago. They are extremely old, have been sort of upkept, but um, they're from an era that no longer is, and so they end up falling apart more often than not. Um, they're not great for those of you with heightened senses of smell. You probably have gotten pretty used to the odor over time. <laughs> um, but you guys traverse your way through into the upper district towards uh, Cathedral Kaitark. While we're traveling, I forgot yes. to describe it. Clementine has wings. Um, yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. So Clementine cool. will be gently flying next oh. to the party okay. instead of walking, because otherwise it would take longer. Mm. I see. Not a lot longer, but longer. <laughs> so is this a stealth mission? But uh, yeah, walking ahead of you is uh, Arden and Cloak. Uh, Cloak will turn around and go. Uh, well, we don't really know the details of what you're going to be doing after the... Right now, this is... Um, Arden goes, this is just a ceremony yeah, yeah. for today. After yeah. today, we'll work out with the church what kind of missions we'll allow you to go on. We're not letting you go there and having them have full jurisdiction over this team. We're going to have our say, and if they don't like it, then they won't get you. And I assure you, they are in dire need of resilient. We have the upper hand here. Mm -hmm. That's true. I just start light. I just bring out my uh, a mandolin, and I start like quietly, but strumming a bit. It, it's hard to be quiet as it is in an echoey tunnel. Yeah. So even quiet, it does kind of reverberate off the walls a little bit. It's nice though, because otherwise it was a dead mm -hmm. silent walk. I, I don't really like the sloshing of sewer drudge. There is some of that. You know? mm. I'd rather hear uh, some nice music. <laughs> right. You know, you're playing it really loud. No, I'm not. Oh, I don't know. It's time. It's just... Maybe it's just... He said it wasn't the stealth mission. Talk so... real loud. Okay. But if we do the snake a snake, it's no music, even though it's really nice. Yeah, yeah. Do you know <laughs> another tune? The one that is mm. called the I thought that goes to do the deet deet to do that to do the do. You know that one? Mm. Let me see. Okay. <laughs> do I know that one? <laughs> Give me a perf uh, what is this? Is there a performance? There sure is. Check? Give me a performance check. 
<laughs> oh my god. First oh. roll of the night. Oh great. Oof, critically oh, important. It's yeah, a natural it's a critically toy. important. <laughs> oh natural yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. Oh, I used to play that back in you... my old days. <laughs> Whether or not Clementine made up that song just now, I you're just not sure. One. But you can feel where she was going with it, and you make it a song if it yeah. wasn't before. Oh, there's no lyrics to this song, baby. It's just, <laughs> oh just my me and my fingers. Well, look, okay, you can play all the music, if especially is the stealth mission, you know. I'll, I'll just name this one after you. <laughs> oh, Clementine is forever honored by the great fiend. I am uh, so excited. Yes. Oh my goodness. You know, I used to be a musician. <gasps> You're a famous one. Why did you stop? <sighs> well, did somebody incidents. break your hand? Do I need to go have no. words with person? No, no, no. No, Clementine, Clementine have words. if his hands were broken, he wouldn't be able to play right now. Oh, that's a good point. You know, very smart, Felix. <laughs> very smart. Thank you. You're welcome. No, it's... Nah. The old days, you know. What's wrong with passive perception? Oh, oh crazy high. Um, oh, 16? Oh, 11! Hold on, let's see. 21. <laughs> Oh, what? <laughs> <laughs> Clementine, Damn, you, you definitely, you definitely hear Ardent sigh and go, "Is this really the best we've got?" <laughs> My passive insights also twenty-one. <laughs> uh, you can tell he's not super confident in that. Where you guys are going to the church for the first ever Rook Church okay. Union okay. with you, <laughs> Ard Ardent's not the nicest guy and he's definitely oh, yeah. um not appreciating the music and commentary as much as uh, <laughs> the mask of honor or honor yes yeah, the rule maker all right oh, don't worry mask of honor we won't make fool of rooks you know we'd be best uh representation of great I, organization i know? have no doubt you will uphold the code of the rooks yeah Cloak goes, I think they'll be great, personally. Yeah, I know. Oh, uh, Cloak looks over to Felix and goes, by the way, uh, Billy wanted me to say hi. Billy! Um, oh, how has, uh, how has Billy been okay. since... Uh, you know, since... Kind of looks to everyone else, kind of looks back to Felix, since the whole thing. Um, good. Ooh, with juicy. with Z gone, he's a lot oh, happier God. for the kid. Good. Um, good. Thankfully, whatever you guys did in there seems to not really have affected him that much. I guess Z was kind of the the whole thing. Yeah. He stopped um stopped writing the stories though. It's good. Now I'm he just writes gibberish. He, I'm um, slowly like I'm yeah. slowing down, but I'm I'm still playing. I kind of want to um, try to overhear sure. what they're saying. You can you can definitely. I should uh should have let Perry know. Perhaps I'll have to send her another message. How are they uh, doing? I haven't heard anything from them in a while. Um, well, last I heard, uh, well, a lot of things have apparently changed area. Um, she's no longer, um... Oh. Really? Yeah, I don't know how. I thought that only happened when they died. <laughs> I mean, I guess technically Billy was one sort of, and he's not anymore. So I guess maybe there's some right, but he was being rules. It's controlled. complicated. I don't feel uh, yeah. Perry was being controlled. She willingly took it when Vivian. Was... I don't know. Uh, their side well, I'm I'm glad Kelly. they're doing okay either way. Um, yeah, um, I never really got to know them too terribly well, but uh, I I imagine good people. Imagine Q still pissed at me, but it sounds like they're working on restoring. Don't know Lardos. that one. Yeah, I don't know that one. He's um a child, um very oh. very much um a nine hundred nine hundred year old child. It's very oh. interesting. Yeah. Well, that's different. You yeah. like jazz? <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> no, what I'm not is, asking you. What is the jazz? Uh, I don't, I don't know what that music. is. 
Oh, if it's like this, I mean, I like it, you know. I mean, I can make it jazz. <laughs> you'll make it, okay, you'll make it jazz, or great fin of the the stringy instrument. I don't just, know. Just call that. me Triple F. Just call me Triple F. Triple F. Yes. Fin, fantastic fighter? But there's only That's two, close. But there's only two Fs right. here. Finn, Felix, and... I'm Clementine. Feline. FFC. What are you, FFC. Anyway? <laughs> I I am Clementine, you know. No, no, my dear. I, I mean your race, like what? like me. I'm I'm a tiefling. Oh, is that what you are? I don't know. Yes. I didn't learn this stuff. I, wait, maybe I did learn this stuff. I got to think about it. Um. So you have nice pointy ears, you know. Yeah, I do. I just I'm, I'm, feel like, I'm like oh, 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 just start oh, oh, ah, it's bizarre. Oh, it's sensitive with the ears, you know. Um, you got those I pretty little teeth. Use this to see most uh, time. You look more you, feline um, than. No, I'm not uh, feline. I'm like, wait, wait, I got it, I got it. I'll show you. I'll just uh, some time will fly up to like the ceiling and yeah. like grab on with their feet and hang upside <laughs> down, and with them wrap their wings around themselves. Like that. this, this is the thing. Uh -huh. Yeah, that's the word. Oh, you're a bat. Book. I'm like, yeah, that's, I guess, that's what I'm called. That's what I'm Clementine called, you know? I'll fly Oof. back down. Also, is it dark in here? Pretty dark. I would <laughs> say uh, one of the two you're following probably has a torch out just to, to for the, like, cloak's a human. He probably needs a torch. Oh, yeah, so Clementine will stay in the light for most of this, and then will fade away from the light so they're in darkness. Mm -hmm. So per their ability, if they rely on dark vision or night dark vision to see in the mm -hmm. dark, you don't see Clementine. Oh. So I'll just fade Blended. into the darkness. Oh. Okay, yeah, and I also do this. So don't worry. I'd be Where attacked. the hell did you go? And I'll fly around and, like next to the other side of Finn. I'm here, you know. Oh, oh well. <laughs> okay. Don't worry, if I don't want to be seen, you don't see me very good, you know. Well, a lot of my spells require seeing you, so I prefer well, if I saw you if we get into anything. Okay, well trouble. I stay Considering light they gave us for potions. I'm assuming this is dangerous. Um, you see, oh, uh Cloak goes, I, I don't think there's too much to me. Obviously, I'm coming to keep an eye on you because we do think there might be something. Ardent goes, I have no doubts that we're going to get there and they're going to try to arrest all of us. This is absolutely a ploy. Well, then why are we going again? <laughs> because none of us could decide. The three of us talked mm -hmm. about it and, and Honor thinks it's a trap. I think this might be genuine. Seraph is undecided. We're we realize regardless if it is a trap, we have to at least make it seem like we're playing along. We're mm. willing to work with the church. We don't want to be seen as the villains anymore. We're not the enemies here. Mm. If the church wants to play the role of villain, they can do that as long as they want. But we're going to be the good guys. And so if we have to get into an ambush, whatever, it's fine. I I didn't go into it too de too deeply. My abilities are weird. But if they try anything, I'll know and I'll signal you guys, okay? So a clairvoyance kind of ability. Something like that. Hmm. A critical. Felix, do you have cool ability like that? Uh, What's um, with this creepy giant green thingy magic around you? That is my Eidolon, Nin. What's this? Nin. What's, what's Nin. Eidolon? Hi, Nin. Nice to meet you. Do they talk? Anything? I got friend too. I got friend too. I reach into my pocket, uh, let's crisscross, and I pull out a little mouse. This is Stuart. Stuart, say hello to to me. And... Did you get that off of the sewer? Never mind. No, this is Never my mind. best body, Stuart. I put the back in pocket. Stuart is quite little. Um, I know. Yes. <sighs> no, Nin is. Um being pulled from another not a bad description because of travelers um nin is my ally he's a manifestation oh. of my power um my mother is the same way mm. wow it gives um, you broad shoulders it looks nice on you we're able to 
combine our bodies and mm. use both my spell abilities and his physical prowess. Wow. That is so cool. You are one. Yes. Or two. Uh, synthesis is what my mother calls me. Hmm. Hmm. That's hard to say, so I'm not going to say it. <laughs> Felix. With, yes. Or synthesis is... Oh, I said it, you guys! I got the better. <laughs> As you guys uh, converse and, and talk uh, along with the, the trip I'm gonna be... through the upper yeah. district, I love playing it. along. Oh my and... god! Oh my god! This group, I love this, it so much. I, I, I okay, love old Clementine. campaigns can't campaign on this group now. <laughs> I love Clementine. This is now Clementine. This is Clementine this is it. Clementine. Um, Clementine. Clementine. Uh, you guys are eventually stopped somewhere around uh, the upper light ward near where the cathedral and the castle and the Hall of Judgment are and mm -hmm. uh, led up by uh, your two leaders up to the surface through like a, a grate that's hidden, one of their rookway entrances. Mm -hmm. One of the few into the upper district they have. Uh, and the rest of the way you do have to take uh, above ground as it would be weird to pop up through the basement of the cathedral for a meeting with the oh, church. Yeah. They might That's see right. that as hostile. Um, <laughs> Ardent does tell you that uh, they will be sending a few normal rooks uh, down under the cathedral just in case you guys need to make a quick exit. Uh, mm. one, just follow Ardent or Cloak. They can lead you to the underground entrance near the cathedral and then you guys can just beat it back to base. Uh, as soon as you guys get above ground, Cloak pulls his hood up and just seems to vanish into the crowd. Hmm. And he's going to be following at a distance. Okay, hold on. Clementine almost ready. And they pull, like, basically sunglasses, but little goggles that <laughs> strap to their face so that it's dark colored glass. Okay, Clementine is ready now. Are you sensitive hmm. to the light? Very. That makes sense for a bad folk. Yeah. Okay, I will I will walk so as not to draw attention. Probably. Oh, for the best. we're gonna draw attention anyway. Uh, I have to walk a little slower for Clementine, if don't mind. Uh you hear like a oh, small sure. whistle and Arden looks up the sides as cloaks in position to trail us. Look forward, don't look in his direction. Let's go to the cathedral without any issues, but be prepared for anything. Mm. Arden begins to stride forward down the road as you guys blend into the traffic of the thoroughfare in the light mm. ward. Meanwhile, Meanwhile, as this group is making their way to Cathedral Kytark, already at the cathedral, uh, oh. we find a group of uh armor-clad warriors leading a small procession towards the cathedral, uh, helmed by Grand Archbishop Vinesta Dallertain in his full clerical cassocks and vestments, um, joining the Archbishop and this group, trailing in the back, uh, is three individuals. Uh, two of the former uh, Inquisitors of Kytark now the Inquisition was disbanded with the three High Inquisitors banishing or dying. Uh, the Inquisition has been relegated to the, the Crown's service rather than the Church. Um, and is escorting a... There's no point with the suspense anymore. Yeah. Escorting a white wolf through the streets of Upper Kytark. Uh, as you guys walk along, Tirprin. Uh, you can catch little snippets of conversation from the two Inquisitors kind of back and forth a couple paces behind you going, I don't, I really don't get it. I, is is this for real? Like, yeah, yeah, no, you don't understand. This is a freaking war hero. Have you heard about the Pale Heart Beast? No. Should I have? You need to go to more taverns. This, this is the one on the front lines. The blur of white, the sudden flash of fangs. He's taken out so many of the Bardestians. This, this is a freaking legend in only three months of war. I think you're kind of 
fanboying a little hard here. He's a dog. Uh, uh, wolf, thank you very much. <laughs> talk? Yeah, I... You're really ruining this for me. It's like, hi, uh, Mr. Tierbrin. I like, like one of them coming up, walking, I was like, has like full, like, dark iron armor with a staff. Uh, Mr. Tierbrin, I, I just want to say I'm a huge fan of your work uh, in, in Northern Kalsfell. I've heard of, like, all of your battles. It's such an honor to be escorting you to this, this, uh, did you need anything? I, is there anything we can get for you? I'm fine, thank you. Doggy bowl. But okay. I should preface, as much as I am happy to help the people here, please do not find my actions so amazing that you might wish to copy them. Killing is never a good option, if it should be avoided. Oh, uh, of, of course, right. Thank you for your wisdom. Told you you were fanboying a little hard. <laughs> Shut up. Uh, as they fall back a bit more to give you some space, uh, Tyrbrin, your inner monologue starts up. I mean, really, killing is such a great option. We've done it so much, and it, it really stops most of our problems. I don't believe we have to really go over this again, do we? I, I don't know. I just... Listen... I was against us going into a war, I admit. I thought it was honestly illogical, suicidal, ridiculous. Uh, you could have just argued for the girl to be released instead of staying by her side. I'm sure you could have, with some form of, of I don't know, uh, honor or recommendation, you could have gotten her out. You could have, we could have teleported her out. But you chose to sit there and fight by her side. And I'll be honest, I was against it. But it was fascinating watching you work. And, of course, working together. How many times have we used my form now? I, I kind of lost count in the hundreds, probably. As have I. <laughs> We're pretty joined now, you and I, aren't we? It was him. Uh, yes. Those other voices are a little bit quieter. Although you do try to ignore me once in a while and focus on the... Um, the boring one. That boring one is the reason we can even coexist. I mm. suppose he's the catalyst. You're right. I should be kinder to the old man. But seriously, though, uh, killing is such a convenient way to solve all of our problems. You should really give them better advice. Killing is only a necessity when an enemy not willing to converse. You hear an, another voice chime in. Well said. Sometimes we do have to defend ourselves, but we should not resort to violence as the first means of resolution to conflict. You know, the Pika responds, <laughs> oh, he's back. Yay, the catalyst is here. <laughs> We're here to grace us with more earthly wisdom. I am... Um, I have a different opinion, but clearly I'm outnumbered here. Unless we want to ask the demon to chime in. I hear nothing. All right, you haven't talked to that one in three months. Yeah, he's pretty. You keep bad. saying that, but you know just as well as I do that Enoch was taken from us. Hmm. Sure. I'm not so sure. I believe that still. I hope you're wrong. Mm. But then again. You are an Aeon. You probably know more than I. Well, was an Aeon. Disconnected from that whole monad thing for almost a year now. Having sentience and a sense of self is um, freeing and terrifying in its own way. Have you ever contemplated the fact that one day you will cease to exist and all that you were will be gone from the world? It's horrifying. What if people forget you? You will no longer be in the tapestry of history. You will not only have died, your soul will have left, your body will have decayed, but then the memory of you will fade and you will have never been, practically. Mm -hmm. Honestly, you mm -hmm. mortal beings, it's <laughs> really all downhill from the moment you're born. Being forgotten is not... It's not the worst fate, and certainly it's likely mm -hmm. one to happen to everybody eventually. Mm -hmm. 
What matters is what we do with the time that we've gotten to pave a better road for everyone else. Right, right. Limited time. I forgot about that. That is a facet of this whole living thing. Well, I don't know what will happen to me when you eventually pass on. I'm hoping I can hitch ride again, but in the off chance that I do also meet my, as you put it, inevitable end, I am glad that I've gotten to enjoy it thus far with interesting companions. And for the headaches that of conversations we've had, I am so glad that you are here as well. You have proven very welcoming as an ally. Mm. Well, I'm glad I could be of some assistance to the great Pale Heart Beast, Hero of the North. I did not claim that title. It's what others put upon me. I know, but I love it so much. It's so stupid. <laughs> well, anyways, it seems like your grand audience is waiting uh, as Great. you guys <laughs> arrive. I love it. Uh, oh my god. Tyrbrin arrives at yeah. Cathedral Kytark. The other group has not quite arrived yet. You're still mm -hmm. a bit behind. Uh, but as you approach, you do see there is a squadron of about 12 armored warriors standing mm -hmm. before Vinest Valertain, the Grand Archbishop and leader of the Chitin faith. Uh, as you approach and the, the two inquisitors kind of take a spot off to the sides, uh, you are gestured to step forward uh, as Vinest looks up and goes, Welcome. Thank you for answering my summons, Plague Warden. We have heard great deeds of your efforts in the North. We would like to thank you and offer the most sincere welcome to this newly formed task force to defeat the Rising Merc. It is my honor to aid the people, sir. I hope only that my skills here will be of use to you and the many people who are suffering. I am sure they will. And as agreed upon, Miss Adelaide has been given safe passage back to Gardas. Thank you. Now then, I believe we are waiting on a few more. And you see uh, one of the Inquisitors comes up. It's like, uh, yes, sir. Uh, I believe we did receive a report that the um, Rooks have ag agreed to meet us here today. You see, um, the Archbishop looks a little, like, annoyed. Wonderful. I am so glad they accepted our offer. We will, uh, obviously welcome them with the utmost respect and decency afforded <laughs> to such. Can you hear me the insight By that? all means. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I mean, a little slow there, aren't you? <laughs> yeah, um, mm -hmm. what are you trying to insight? If he's really being genuine or saying this begrudgingly. Oh, um, yeah, begrudgingly would be a good way to put it, yeah. Um, like saying you're gladly welcome Satan to your dinner table. Mm. Sure, <laughs> why not? Jeez. He, um, he, he, you can tell with a nat with a, a twenty one insight, he has a great disdain for the rooks and uh, seems to be unhappy with the general idea that there's not enough resilient confirmed to make a unit with just the church, and that of the plague wardens they knew, you're the only one they know where they are, mm -hmm. <laughs> so they could only get you. <laughs> if I may, sir, I have met some of the rooks in the past and they're not so terrible. Your opinion is well respected and received. Uh, thank you for your input. But mm. unfortunately, uh, regardless of opinions, we are out of options. They are, as a whole, ne'er-do-wells who 
constantly mm. oppose our attempts at maintaining peace and order. They, I am certain, in the eyes of the people, are performing acts of charity. But I assure you, there is an underlying motive to it all. Regardless, I will hold any prejudices I have in check, <laughs> as they are serving the general people today. Uh, around that time, the group of four, with Cloak obviously off to the side somewhere in the in, shadows, in the shadows, led by Ardent, the Mask of Honor, mm -hmm. arrives at the grand rebuilding of the cathedral. And you see far ahead, up the steps, a mass of people. Felix, what a probably mom. immediately noticing a familiar sight of a white wolf near the back. Huh. Oh, so Ardent looks back to you three and goes, remember, be ready for anything, but be respectful. Of course. Where's the... Walk and walk. He has moved up. I'll let sure, you guys control down. yourselves from this point. Mm -hmm. Ardent steps up, uh, up the stairway mm -hmm. to the top of this little platform area. Looks over directly into the eye of Grand Archbishop Finest. Mm. We're here as you requested your lordship. <laughs> ah... Thank you. Which of the masks do I have the pleasure of speaking with today? I am the Mask of Honor, and that is all you may call me. So be it. Mask of Honor, thank you for... And you see, I think Tearburn, following that 21 insight, Honor was said with almost like a subtle, like, if he could spit right now, he would. Um... <laughs> Mask of Honor. We are very grateful that you have deigned to bring us your very best of the resilient among you. Please step forward and have them introduce themselves. Uh, Archbishop, after saying that, looks like from, from Ardent, mm. starts to like scan the three. <laughs> like, yeah. Yeah. And immediately does like a, a double take. <laughs> That one. <laughs> I want that one. <laughs> As you, you see, like the Archbishop you. is like stunned in silence. Can I? Can I insight that Bishop? Is it very ob obvious? Uh, I think Felix it's pretty speaking, obvious. Okay. Upon Felix speaking, Kieran like instantly turns around. Felix. You hear the little go, "Holy shit!" <laughs> Yeah, I kinda, right. I, he kind of like jumps up on you and oh, oh, yes, yes, yes. 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 <laughs> we need to be official here. <clears throat> it's nice to see you too, Tierman. It's been a uh, while. Right, right, right. Sorry, sorry. Mm. Uh, you hear one of the Inquisitors go, oh man. <laughs> <laughs> <Yes>! <laughs> as I'm sure the bishop is well aware, I am Felix Tiergard, previous warden for the church. Oh, I changed the there's some tea there. there. <laughs> You'll have tea with you? Mm -hmm. Not currently. Oh, there's some tea. Oh. It's a Finest g <laughs> gathers himself. Plague Warden Tiergard, you are alive and in the capital. I we hope this sent... doesn't change the arrangement of, the arrangement of today. Not at all. This is a welcome development. We had no idea any of the other originally ordained plague wardens were in the continent's vicinity. We thought they were scattered or dead. We hadn't heard anything since the fall. I've been busy, and... I think you can imagine the reasons I haven't been around. There is an obvious tension between mm -hmm. these two. Like mm -hmm. you, you can kind of see some of like the guards yeah. just like looking between them. Um but today we are on here on a mission to work together. 
We shouldn't yes. let our hostility affect the people. Felix, I have a very important question for you, and I need you to answer me honestly, mm -hmm. as you think would be the case. Yeah. Do you have Exformis, like, on a belt? Your, the, the hilt of the sword Exformis. It is out and on okay, my child. head. <laughs> you see the Archbishop's eyes meet yours and just scan down to your hip and back up to your eyes. Yes. Let us leave any past grievances aside for the people. Please, step forward and we will commence the ceremony. Uh, you see Ardent uh, looks to Felix goes, Do you think we should. I'm sensing something between the two of you. Is there something I should know? Sword. What of it? Exformis. It belonged to the sun. That would have been good to know before I brought you here. I didn't yeah. think about it. Kind until of I saw him. Here, wasn't it? And just be on your toes. He's just going to step forward. Don't worry, I've been on my toes ever since I got it's here. It's nice to see you, dear Bryn. Maple, you hey, know. my Hello, nice, the circumstances are different. Where's Perry and the others? I thought you guys were in... We can catch up later. We can catch up later. Actually, I think, I think dear Bryn's last... I messaged. Did you? That's right. Right. Yeah. That's right. You were asking about the forest. That's right, you guys were in the silent forest like a week ago. Yep. So yeah, Trevor was the, saying uh, Felix was there with her. It's true. Yeah, I yeah, guess he would have assumed that. Not to. Yeah, Tierburn's got the lead. Like, Felix is missing out on some stuff. Tierburn's missing out on, like, four things of stuff. <laughs> <laughs> so much. I didn't know what happened. <laughs> oh, my gosh. All right, well. I guess no introductions for us, then, Clementine. I guess we're not important enough. Mr. I mean, that's, Big Shot that's, over here. It's just fine. It's all right. I don't want. In, I feel my name uncomfortable. Eventually. Is is this like rubble? On, you can step over it. It's just yeah, it's just rubble scattered on the ground. It, this right. place is still in the in the midst. Like there's like scaffolding up on the side. You can see they're trying to begin repairs, but it's been a slow process with the rest of the city kind of taking a priority. The one mm -hmm. thing the church has done right is they didn't build the giant church before they built the people's homes. Oh, yeah. good. The one That's great. thing they did really good Not in worse. this yeah. case. Yeah. Clementine will kind of, like, cling to Finn's, like, legs. And <laughs> if you have a cloak or anything, I'll just, like, kind of... He probably has a cloak, but... Like, grab really onto it with the, the oh. weird little hand. Uh, Clementine, you have That's the passive really. perception of 21, right? Yeah. <laughs> Speaking of cloak, you do see, uh, kind of crouched on the upper scaffolding on the left, you do see cloak, uh, Kind of keeping a hidden eye on you guys. No, <laughs> just so you know. Okay. So then. I will fight the urge to look. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Is Tyrbrin the only one you've brought to go with us today? No. These twelve before us have agreed, though they have not been tested resilient, oh, to take a chance going to, die. to fight along your side against the encroaching Merc. We have had outbreaks across the city, and we mm. need immediate action. It's true. Despite events, the previous Plague Wardens did their duty well. We know of what happened in Bartoon's Rest. Mm. Mm -hmm. And the results of it. Since we now have two of the previous Plague Wardens, unexpectedly. This is a good sign. I believe you all will be able to protect us again from this renewing outbreak. Once we learn what is causing the reemergence, we can root it at the source. Now then, I shall commence the ceremony and we shall remake the new Plague Wardens. Um, as uh, he kind of pulls out like a t 
home, you realize he's about to go into some sort of like sermon like mm. ceremony oh, wow. about you all joining the, the fold of Kite in church mm. under the, the knowing gaze of Kite herself and her sister Amita. We are standing here before you to bless this people. Oh it kind of goes into like a droning. Wow. Um, <laughs> As he's doing that, could I possibly like. What? What do you want to do? Yeah. <laughs> I, I kind of want to like pull out my fife and like as as a normal fife. I think I think I can do it as a normal fife. Yeah, it's a pipe. It, it's, um, a it's a flute. It's a flute. I'm going to do it like very low, very like solemn. I'm going to match his tone of the sermon. <laughs> yes, I'm going to give him background music. Please, yes. please. <laughs> I can't flare. I can't flare for advantage. Nah, I'm not gonna do it. Hopefully, I don't suck. All right, no, I don't suck. Yeah. It, at first, you feel like you can see him stutter the as soon as the first note he stutters, but then like keeps going, yeah. and it feels like you're playing well enough that he's obviously annoyed, but he's not pissed Ooh. off because you're actually kind of. Hyping him up almost. You're kind of yeah. playing to him. It works. It works somehow. <laughs> I'll whisper all sides. Fiend the fantastic fiddler. If, if, if. Fiend the fantastic fiddler. Something like that. <laughs> I oh got it now. I'm still playing. I can't talk. <laughs> uh, throughout Vinus's like, entire speech, uh, Mask of Honor in front of you. It's kind of like looking around. <sighs> yeah, I'm just... There's, there's just a, a palpable sense of like, so what next? Mm -hmm. Um, Felix. Mm -hmm. Do you have any sending stones to any of the rooks? Do you have like any kind of? Do you think you would have any connection to any of them? I feel like I would have one to. Cloak at the very least, because he's the one to know the okay. rest. I it's true. It's kind of up to you. Maybe who? Who? who oh, um, can I have one to stare of? Oh. Yes, absolutely. Who did the um, oh. sending for me? Um, uh, sending would have been honestly an unnamed. Okay. Some form of a mage rook. Okay. Um. Then aside from cloak, probably not really. Okay. Um, you do get a message from Cloak speaking through the Sending Stone nearby. Um, uh, he says, um, I guess it's the Sending Stone. You can just you can go back and forth. I'm not noticing any sort of activity from the guards. Um, there's nobody approaching from the rear. We haven't heard anything from the rooks we sent underground, so... I don't know. This might be legit. What do you feel? Oh, he hates my guts. But I mm -hmm. think he knows he doesn't have a choice. Especially with the favor going towards us. Yeah. If he doesn't do something to, for the people, good in their eyes, the church won't be around much longer. Probably true. I'll keep an eye out just in case, but I can't say I'm not a little happy that this was real. I, th yeah. I think it's good for the people to have unity between us, even if it's tenuous. Just try to try to keep that burning hatred in check as long as you can. Yeah. Oh my god. Tear uh, burn. What does that mean? I'm sorry. Uh, I love it. That's what he's doing. <laughs> he's itching himself. He's not wearing anything possibly sinister. No, uh, not at all. <laughs> just like, yeah, well, anyway, it's, I itch. Um, <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm preoccupied with my fight, so. Yeah. yeah. As you guys stand there and mingle and wait for this obvious, like, very religious, traditional ceremony on their part, the rooks are all kind of fucking around, <laughs> which makes mm -hmm. perfect sense for rooks mm -hmm. in this case. As uh, the Grand Archbishop closes the book. Now then, with that out of the way, I have. Very Thank good. you. Great job all around. Yes. 
thank, thank you. Um, I just I'll pull claws off, you know. With the blessing of the tw the two sisters above, I hereby announce the recre recreation of the plague wardens. Let those in assembly here stand at the forefront of, and you hear a sound like a stone striking stone. Oh, shit. Sh this, the, the ground shakes slightly. Where did it come from? I look, I look up assembly at the rope. Assembly of <laughs> happens again. I look up at the rope. Where is it? You look where up where? I look up at the roof. The roof? There is no roof. Yes. This place is fully okay, just good. like open to the sky. All right. Just uh, collapsed in. The is it coming down. from where he is? Um, give me perception checks, guys. Okay. Oh. Yeah. What is First that? First roll. Normal. Da, 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 da. My third roll. Yeah. Perception. Okay. Uh, These guys are rolling amazing tonight. My perception so far. is whoa. Hello. Hi. Yeah, tier one. Tier one natural too. Damn it. It's got to be one. Well, actually, tier one. This is. Are I would say advantage? you advantage. Oh. This is hearing perception. Yeah. Sound. Absolutely. Yeah. Hell yeah. I, I Get it, tier one. Get yep. it. Get it, boy. Got those animal senses. Fetch. No. Nope. Better. Yeah. But yeah. Still, yeah. everyone else with their nat 20 or or upper 20s or whatever, crazy, 20s, um, as you guys are standing around, there's only been like two of these like booming and then the shaking. At first, it sounds like it's very distant, like it's a very, very far away, like something happening somewhere else in okay. the city. Then, a little bit louder and the ground rumbles again. I think all of you realize simultaneously, except for Tierburn, who catches on a little bit late. He's scratching himself. It's fine. He's got the jingly in his ears, whatever. Yeah. It's below. Yeah. You guys. Mm. And you see the Archbishop pull the book away and look around. Well. Does anyone know what that sound is? Mm-mm. What the... Sounds like it's coming from below. Are you guys exploding the trash again? No. Send someone to... And he doesn't finish the sentence. As... I'm going to describe... I'm going to describe momentarily what was about to happen. The party does not experience what is about to happen. Oh. Cloak! As the ground ruptures, explodes up into the air as a column of dark violet flame engulfs everyone here. Ah! Tierbrin, Felix, Finn, Clementine, and all the attendant take well over 60 points of decay oh. and instantly die. <laughs> ah. As everyone in here is consumed in decay. Alright. Decay character, let's go. But, <laughs> thankfully, a time thief is watching nearby. Yeah. Time reverts six seconds, and as the Archbishop finishes his sentence. Mm. Cloak is a 20th level rogue. He gets two mm. actions in one turn. Okay. Two, two, two turns in one round, rather. Yeah. And he can double, double move. He oh. ends up pushing each of you oh, away. Nice. Okay, great. I love that. <laughs> and is just in the Shit. Uh, line of... One more moment. Just as the ground ruptures and a massive column of violet flame <sighs> covers everyone in attendance, cloak included, who goes falling into the cavernous hole below. No, 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 no. No, no, no. As there is the sound of rumbling thunder in your ears, as this column of violet flame extends up into the sky and dissipates, you all are simultaneously in a moment stunned Blood. as cloak moved faster than you could expect the ability to stop time temporarily and then in a moment it all the sound comes rushing back in as you hear the sound of over a dozen bodies falling and <laughs> thudding deep oh. below underground I, i'm sorry what just happened <laughs> oh cloak um, ardent ardent turns to group oh, oh my god cloak I, cloak! I look, and he like I, jumps I over down. to here and like yeah, goes to the edge and looks down. Cloak! It's too dark down. Oh, oh how God. far down? I'm gonna uh, use dancing light. 
I'm gonna use dancing lights and take, I have take echo down as location. Far as nice. Echo location? How far does that extend? One hundred nice. feet. Oh. It is less than one hundred feet. Okay. Damn. I'm gonna use I... dancing lights and cool. send them down as far as I can. Sure. Uh, as the lights descend down, how far can you send them down? I'm not sure. I just, I just. 120 like feet. Uh, as you send them down, the base, uh, they eventually sit, they, well, okay, yeah. They eventually go down about 60 to 70 feet and then are consumed in a cloud of smoke that is at the base of this hole. But with echolocation, uh, Clementine, you know it goes down to the full bottom. Um, can you, with that location, can you, like, basically see? Essentially. <sighs> I That's think. fucking cool. Well, there's a, <laughs> a door a or, thing. like, a big, like, rock or something mm -hmm. in the line of sight, then I right. can't get around it. But... It's, it's an open hole down to the, the bottom mm -hmm. here. Clementine, to describe what you see, is there is some sort of massive object in the center of this hole, like a large sphere that's just sitting at the bottom, surrounded by what looks like um, crypts, tombs, the bottom of like a catacombs, as well as a number of currently decaying and desiccating bodies that have <laughs> thudded and hit, oh. uh, including Grand Archbishop Vinest. Fuck. That's Yay. Cloak is unconscious at the bottom, but otherwise unharmed as he is not with an aura. He has no he has, he cannot take decay. Crypts. Okay, no. clock is down there. They're not doing so good. Let's go. <laughs> I'm in... I imagine not. I'm, Everyone I... else is gone. You have to fly, right? I can <laughs> fly. Can fly. I, okay. I can fly. Oh my god. So the party is left <sighs> at this edge of this crater. Uh, Ardent looks... You can't see past his, his mask because he is a Warforged wearing like a full cloak and everything. Mm -hmm. Um... He just looks to Clementine, knowing what your abilities are, and says, Get alive! Well, man, I think so! Okay. Go down there, secure him. I'm going to go and check. You hear him simultaneously. In the distance, this is the highest part of Kaitark. You're in the upper district. You can see oh, no. columns of violet flame across the city. Oh, no. Okay, what the hell is going on? This is very bad. I'd like to know that as well. It is, it isn't good. I don't care what's room. going on. I need to confirm Cloak is alive. He's oh. too valuable of a... Oh. Oh, too okay. important I... of a... Mm. I'm gonna... I... Ca can I cast Fly on... Um, uh, does, does Ardent... What's his face? Yeah, does Arden um, have to? Uh, he stands up and looks to you for and says, I need to secure the rest of the city. I need to get in touch with Seraph. Oh. I need to mobilize people. That If this is happening elsewhere, there's going to be people hurt. Right. Find Cloak. Report back to me as soon as you can. Just get out of there safely. Sure. All right. Okay, okay. Uh, and immediately Arden takes I'm off. Okay. Well, I mean... I got cool. the rope. If you people who need the walkings, not the flyings, need the rope, um, here you go. Uh, yes. Felix, are you good? You, do you, so with do you echolocation, you location, can you just see constantly, or do you have to like focus on it with echolocation? I feel like it's like sight. <sighs> it's, I mean, if you want, it can be a no, thing. No, 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 no. I'm, I'm but... asking so I know what you see. I feel Which like it's just a sense. Right. That's remarkable and awesome um as you guys are at the top here it must be terrifying for clementine because if you don't have to focus on it you're looking this way but you can see what's happening down there and full 360 radius around you 100 feet out in every direction your life must be terrifying this you see stay in the dark everything in it. That's why he's in the dark. And then the sewers, you know, it's um, very small. As you're up here looking and talking with your companions about going down, you see oh a figure approach the body of Cloak, and then they oh both no. vanish. Oh no! Oh no, someone took a cloak! I don't know where they went! Let's, ah. let's, let's go down and try to find this person. Um, we... Wait. Yeah, we should really go down. You said they took there. Cloak? 
Yeah, a clock is just the summer blocked out the clock and then they went to pull off and Great. I'm no longer there. I jump. Okay. Okay, I, I mean. Felix jumps in. Tyrbrin, what are you oh. doing? Are you okay? Are you gonna die too? He would take a couple steps back and then he'll, he he'll, well. he'll double move or yeah, he'll yeah, sprint. sprint forward. You guys just see him running along the wall down yeah. as if it's oh, like yeah. that's the level yeah. Yeah. vertical surfaces just Whoa. all that's the way down. Cool. Well, fuck me, I'm just the boring one. Well, do you like the fly. rope? I'll hold up the rope. Fincast oh, fly. I, I, I just <laughs> Felix fell. I, I just running down the wall. I just pat Clementine's head. I got this. And then okay. I Clementine has wings, so I have wings, so I. So you four <laughs> descend down into the right. dark pit. That's that's my fly for today. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Great. Right. Let me set okay. up the next scene. Oh, this is not how it was gonna go. I thought I was just gonna smooth some church goers and we'd be good with this, but okay, great. Cloaks, uh, okay. But how would making them smooth be better? What? <laughs> He's very good. <laughs> He's not used to dealing with people like her. <laughs> He's not used to the simple tins like that. <laughs> so. <laughs> What is this? Oh. God. Okay. Smooch. Like, like. Become friends with. Oh, I think you'll just say that, you know? It's very confusing. Uh, I'm gonna. Well, I am... the music again. well this I'm whole confused. situation is confusing. I am in time. That's where my music was. I didn't think where I was. Aha. <laughs> Oh, oh, oh. All right, what do I got here? Mm. Yeah. So oh, we love that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Descend oh, that down. Oh boy, delicious. Felix, uh, you fell, mm -hmm. so I'm gonna have to roll damage for you, but I, you've like, got the HP for it. Acro the first like ten feet or something. Oh my god. Sure, give me an acrobatics check to try to land as nimbly as possible from a 100 foot drop. <sighs> All right. Acrobatics. Da, 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 da. 16. I'll give you. Mm. I'll give you 10 feet off. It's nine. Great. Nine d10. Uh, d6. Great. Whichever six. it is. D6. Special yep. 96. Yep. You tuck and roll at the last minute. Yeah, sure. And Hardcore. only take 27 points of damage. Only 27 damage. Oh. points of damage. You twist your, you twist your ankle. It hurts, but you're okay. You're you're a hardy person. Yeah. Tyrbrin literally walks down. <laughs> and then I think the, the, the hole ends like into a ceiling of this like chamber. But you only have to drop like 30, 40 feet, which I think for Tyrbrin you can just negate automatically. Yeah, I've got... Slow fall as a monk. Yeah. Yeah. So Tyrbrin just walks down the side and then just... Poof, poof, lands. No problem. Like a cloud. And Finn and Clementine both either wings flapping or just playing a loot as you descend mm -hmm. downward. But both Great. appear. Da -da -da -da. Oh, goodness, this is, is very so dark down here. Uh, da -da -da. As you guys like land... It. I'll redo dancing lights when I land, so I can see. Well, I can see. Anyway, but... Uh, yeah, there is like a like a cloud of smoke over everything. There is yeah. there would be daylight, but there is this layer of some sort of explosion that clearly went off, and uh, the remaining um, particulates. I'm gonna. Uh, I think everyone except Chipperin. Do you not have dark vision? Not normally, but I'm going to spend two key points to give myself the body of Astral Self, which now includes the helmet and gives me 145 feet of dark vision. 145 feet! <laughs> including nice. through magical darkness. Damn. Well, shit. Well, you Clementine, know I need now. to give you your 100 foot radius. Sorry, I uh, clicked the wrong. you're doing that, I have. Nice. Felix still has two regular yeah. potions of healing. He's just going to, like. Yeah, that's good. Gotcha. Okay. Um, as you guys all land down in this area, 
you see, Clementine, the thing that you saw before that was hard to really understand was in the center of this chamber, it does not by any means look like something that was originally here in mm. this, obviously, the, the catacombs of this cathedral. Um, there is what looks like a massive sphere with these devices attached to it on an eight-sided, like an eight-pointed pedestal. It what? is covered mm. in shards, like shattered remains of a dark violet crystal that are scattered along the floor. Oh, These large no. soot and ash marks. You see spreading out across the ground from the epicenter where this explosion initiated large cracks of faintly radiating oh. violet light cover the ground. What in Asmodeus fuck uh, is this? You also see the uh, unconscious, possibly bleeding out form of Grand Archbishop Finest also covered oh, in decay just like v dark violet almost black aura just f flowing off i don't him see as him. his body decaying oh, he's on the other side well, he fell a bit far. Right. i'm gonna kind of skirt what? around this thing stay close I everyone want, i want Please. to um uh, whatever that is the crystal in the middle uh, so the middle of this, like, so this sphere had uh, what looks like a central crystal socketed in. It has since shattered. And okay. all of the crystals on this thing seem to have just shattered into debris and fragments on it in the explosion. Mm. Uh, but it, there are some little remains here and there. Um, I would like to investigate to see if it looks like the um, violet crystal that I've seen before. I've seen the murky one. You did see the mercurialite. Uh, give me investigation. Mm. Oh, gosh. Investigation. Oh, 100%. But... 20. Oh, it's different in some ways, but undeniably, this is the same as what you saw in Deacon Scalaret's basement, the mercurialite stone. The one that created that uh, decayed idol on you fought and the one that the deacon plunged into his chest and became this like unstable as you actually remember it explosion of decay yeah. which you only both <laughs> times now only got saved from due to time magic first by toloko yeah. now by cloak <laughs> yay hmm Got some powerful mages and stuff. Uh, and whatever stuff. this device is in front of you which by the way the orb itself is like 10 feet high huge around you could you could sit inside of this orb if it was hollow um mm. this device is completely foreign to you but it seemed to have socketed locations for these mercurialite uh, crystals oh sorry my my sight is only 120 feet oh, oh how awful mm. uh let me um i got down pitiful you said you said Valertain looks dead or dying if not um... dead. He's unconscious on the ground and covered in decay, and uh -huh. there is no knowledge as to whether or not he's resilient. Felix, is Mark anywhere nearby with the PPE? I have the PPE. We need to do something here. You Here's know, it Let's would see. be poetic justice if I used his son's sword to kill him. Felix, what are you talking shit. about? We're not here to... I mean, he is... I, You're I right. Understand... We're I not, Tyrion. Right? That wasn't what we were here for. Things he has done. Should the church really be allowed to keep going? You know, I'm sitting this one out. You do what you want. Wow. Okay, I, I understand that... Yes, the church has done some terrible things, but... Is it really our place to judge whether he should die or not? Maybe. <laughs> I just think maybe. You know, the longer we talk about this, the more he dies. So yes, like, I'm, I'm, I'm aware I'm of gonna this. need if there's debate on what to do here. I'm gonna ask everyone to roll initiative. Oh mm. no! Mm. I have to help. Catherine bring in some groceries in the sure. minute or two. <laughs> right here. Boy, I'm at this. What is with these rolls tonight, people? Oh, are we, are we doing Everything's so high. Oh, great. I love initiative. Mine's going to be oh, shitty. Watch I this. We haven't even shit. actually done battle yeah. yet. This is crazy. Oh, shit. Oh, add to your friends. I know. I know. I you did have it to click too. Your character. I did it too. It's okay. Uh, okay, I'll add both of yours. 
Thank you. That's what, 23.18? Yep. So just under Clementine. Who rolled that with, oh god, your dex. Kevin is 9.14. <laughs> I don't want to spend a, a, a die to do that, though. I okay. I don't, Clementine, I don't uh, as, you, as you can see, there's some tension between your friend Felix and this his old friend, Tyrbrin, mm -hmm. with the body of the guy who was arranging the group you were about to join and the leader of the church and kind of enemy of the Rooks dying. What do you oh. do? Well, let me think about it for a little. So... My really, my big connection is to the Brooks, because they took me in. But to be fair, the church kind of helped me out for a few days, years. When they did it. But, you know, I feel like I'm going to wait, because I don't know. <laughs> I feel like, but, but then again. Are you holding an action to do I'm, anything? I am reaching into my bag. My little pouch to get the portion of the lesser portion of whatever. Greater portion of healing. Yep, to shove down this dude's throat. It looks like he's about to die. Okay, so you are readying to intervene to save his life if he's about to die. That's yep. good to know. Just because it feels like if he dies, the rooks are going to get blamed again. It's your friend. It is glad. your turn. This is all happening very quick. Like this is this is the reason I rolled initiative is because this could be a split second between Felix stabbing him and Tyrbrin saving him. I don't know what <laughs> is happening here. Felix, I beseech you. Let us not make decisions so rash. Especially you and me already have a, 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 a painted past. That would just paint an even worse picture on you, would it not? Being here when he died, and you're fine. As you're I right. Think, he does have a better use alive. Hmm. Alright, well, that's just Tyrion's turn. Tyrion's turn, turn, turn is, is diplomacy. Yes. Felix. I will take my action to spend a single point from my lay mm -hmm. on hands to heal him to one Wake health. Him up. Okay. As I draw Minus. the sword, and he awakens with his sun sword at his throat. So Even though sword, I can't attack this turn. Right. The Exformis doesn't have a blade unless you activate the aura blade function, but you can absolutely menacingly, basically, lightsaber to his throat, basically. Yeah. It's like, uh, where, where, what is this? As he's very clearly, like, ribs shattered, his arms probably I'm... broken... He is looking horrible. Half of his body is blackened with murk as his aura is just steadily going from like a bright violet to a dark, dark violet. I'm just uh, gonna... If, I'm... Just from like, looking at him directly, you can tell he's got maybe an hour to live before the murk oh, takes God. him at this point. <laughs> I'm just gonna if be like... that. We fell into a very large hole. It looks like you're not... Re Does it look like he's not resilient? Um, give me a, either I'll say Perception or Arcana for that. Or rather, you fell into a very large hole with a bunch of people. 23. Rolls, these rolls, these rolls tonight. It's amazing. Yeah. Um, he does not appear to be resilient. He seems to be like every other person you've seen that uh, gets the work and dies quickly. He's a daughter. It seems like you're not resistant to the Merc. Oh, you have that PPE thing, right? He looks genuinely just confused. Uh, is he... No, no, I... I'm... I'm... Blessed! This can't be... He looks to you, sees the sword you're holding to him. You did this? I did this? What did you do? I knew inviting Brooks was a terrible idea. Yeah. Hey, hey, he insisted. hey, excuse me, who has the weird thing underneath their own church? Valor Tames, I'll give you one chance. 
I could hold it off for you. And I raise the hand that his has eye the looks to the PPE as he knows what that is. He's like, mm. his eyes like dart between you and it. I could buy you time, but I need to know where Prince Tark is. <laughs> oh my, lover's quarrel. <laughs> Give me an intimidation check with advantage. Or persuasion, if that's what you're going for. You are uh, sort of being persuasive. I'm going to go with... Okay, 18. 18. His eyes dart between you, the PPE, and then to, like, his left side that's just blackened. Okay, okay. I don't know where he is right this moment, but I know he was at the church. He was there earlier with us. He's the one who convinced me to invite the Rooks. He's the one that said that we needed to have all hands on deck for this. All resilient needed to be gathered in one place at the same time. So he was the one trying to kill us all. It's like there's really? a moment of realization. Like, Fool! The <laughs> chillin' child! <laughs> oh, so we are on the same flag. This is good. I have no trust for you and your kind, but no, I was not in on this. I just wanted to help my people. I imagine not, otherwise you would not have stood directly in the blast zone. <sighs> well, that matter? makes us all fucking idiots, doesn't it? <laughs> I go to try to help him up. Uh, he needs severe medical attention before there's really, like, you need to either administer a potion yeah. or a spell before he's gonna move. This is an uh, old man. Yeah, I give him a one point after healing. an explosion. I'll give him one he of my is superiors. crippled, basically. Um, give him a superior? Oh, Flynn. Finn. Uh, Finn. <laughs> well, if you want to address me, do it properly. Finn. Uh, I'm gonna give him superior. A potion I'm isn't gonna, gonna save him. him. The merc's gonna take him. Oh, no, but he did fall. Uh, 60-ish feet? The Merc -ish? is going to kill him, regardless uh, of your potion, Finn, and you know this. Finn, as you reach down to give the potion, a very weak arm of the, the, the Archbishop pushes it aside. Forget it. I know what's gonna happen to me. It's what happened to Raisana and to Jamat. My entire family. I'm going to join them wherever they are, even if that's nowhere. Okay. He looks to Felix, who's holding his son's sword to his throat. At least put that to good use. Kill that traitor before he kills us all. That sounds good to me. I must wish I could save you. I don't. I've hated you from the moment I met you. And he is going to uh, reach into his pocket and pull out mm. what looks like a vial. Mm. Uh, the vial he took from the party at the beginning mm. of the campaign from the church mm. with black liquid. Yeah, was awesome. I'm going to go out on my own terms. I'm not going to sit around and wait for this to take me. If you want to watch, feel free. Uh, my quick question. Yeah. Does this vial look like the same vial that the guards of the train drank? Yeah. It's the it's the the, the syringe that you, he uh. confiscated from the party at the beginning of the campaign mm -hmm. when you guys uh, were captured by uh, the Inquisition. I'm just uh, I'm assuming a... that he's trying to kill himself, and I'm just going to uh. let him do what he wants to do uh. because that's his dying wish. A, a moment, surrounding. If you drink that, I believe there's a high chance you'll become a merc creature. He looks at it. Even in the end, I had no control. Tosses it aside. Fine, I'll do you the pleasure. Looks to Felix. Do it. I turn the hilt towards him. You. 
struggles to move his arm, weakly grasps it. <laughs> the queen is alive. Probably just, probably just going like Reports this, say she's been ill for some time. Prince Isaac died in the fall oh, under mysterious circumstances. Oh, I've had shit. my suspicions about that child. Yeah. Yeah. Please, my last and only request to you, Felix Tiergaard. Save my queen. And puts the hilt to his chest. And activates and a, <laughs> as the blade <laughs> extends through his heart. Oh. He goes limp. Oh. As Vinest Valertain Dead. decays into nothing. Now, grabbing it back. Two fathers to avenge. I need to know your backstory. <laughs> you lip off her yet? It, it is. It is. You can come out from the cloak now. We can leave initiative as PvP did not have to happen. Um, that aside, fortunate. I've seen these cool, crystals huh? before. Okay, what do they do? Why At least they something like them. Tierburn has seen them as well. A yes, long time I believe ago. it was that, that strange creature. It's yes. worth a lot of money. No. Both Not any money we it. want. No. These violet crystals, they... I'm gonna mage hand one. <laughs> <laughs> it's a small one. Sure. Can I mage hand one? <laughs> uh, sure, yeah, you absolutely can. It I... I up in the air. Yeah. We came across a hmm. impure mercurialite, as it's known. And that before. turned a creature to which Archbishop Tolo had to save us from its destruction. Have I heard of him? Have, have um, I ever heard of Tolo? Finn absolutely would have heard of uh, the Archbishop Toloko. Uh, he's a pretty prolific Arch figure Mage, at this point. Sorry. Archmage. Archbishop. Yes. Yeah, Archmage. Yeah. Archmage. His own bishop of his own religion. Yeah. Oh. Sure. <laughs> Archmage Toloko. Very fine. Uh, Clementine, I don't think you've ever heard of him. Mob! <laughs> also, I'm hovering above the ground like 10 feet in the air. Cause... So you're... Yes, I, I wouldn't suggest touching those. Oh, no, I'm not. And, uh. I really want to touch I'm... it. I'm just gonna put. Um. A few do, in my bag. do any of you have magical don't means of tracking? I mean, don't think so. Don't think I do. That's my sort of hand to put some in my bag as people aren't looking. <laughs> <laughs> my passive <Yeah>. sees it. <laughs> my <laughs> too. Absolutely. My, my sort of hand is pass. Um, yeah. So, yes, you guys all see Finn trying anything. to very sneakily take a couple of, with mage hand. <laughs> Finn, I won't warn neat you trick again. there with your invisible mage I'm hand. I'm not touching it. Yes, but if it gets into the wrong hands, well. They're only in the mages. It'll hands only do to on. further your merc. Yep. Wait, they're marked? Yes. Oh, yeah. Oh, right, you weren't there. <laughs> oh, yes. Yes, yes I, sorry. Feel like, it's, uh, it's, like, it's like right in here ish for me. Clementine and Finn are both marked. marked. Nice to meet you, Wolfman. Hello. I was able to luckily avoid getting marked again, but I get the feeling that's going to be unavoidable here. Unfortunately, that does seem to be the nature of our mission. It does. Y'all are being very mysterious. Can enlighten me a little bit? Merc? We know about Merc. But... You're Merc. If it isn't mm -hmm. cured eventually, it progresses. It gets faster mm -hmm. and faster mm -hmm. to the point where oh, yeah. you can mm -hmm. not resist it anymore. Oh, no. I haven't gotten to that point before it was removed from me. Mm. Perhaps I can I talk well. to my previous colleagues 
They might know a means to get rid of it, but that'll have to wait for the future. So they're uh, not here not... with you. If no, I die, oh, sorry, Tibra, no. Um, so... After we went to sail and we we went through a trial, yeah. things went to shit. Um, oh. Tyrion, um... Mm. Seems like they have a lot to talk about, Clementine. It's like, Camille... Oh, shit, this pretty common. Camille is no longer with us. Oh. She was oh, no. She was decayed. Camille? And like hot I was banished because I wasted a wish on my sister. So a waste? Wait. Oh. You you, the, but so a wish chance? No. Oh goodness. No. See, you mean the, ears the, is the, like the, flat. You're talking about wishes, Tyrion. Give me a insight check against yourself. Oh. <laughs> That's I, I get it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. My character's like, oh, a wish spell? That is a very nice spell. Where can you cast that? Why 13? can you cast that? <laughs> Upon what Felix just said, the Lapika feels like he has an opinion, but you don't hear him speak up. <laughs> but I can sense something. You can sense that, like, as soon as Felix said yeah. the wish didn't work, the Lapika was like, hmm. yeah. Yeah. Care to enlighten? <laughs> what? Hmm? Sorry, am I included in this... This is all very fascinating. You obviously know something. I couldn't say. I don't know the specifics of this, but ask him, how did he cast a wish spell? He's not exactly an archmage. No, uh, he wishes to know how you cast an ar a wish spell. We were in a what used to be a part of the Invilium that my father was in previously. Well, not that oh section, but anyways. Um, oh my god. Can I just do a general I... insight yeah, uh, on Finn what Clementine. they're talking about? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Finn, give me a oh history god. check to see if you <laughs> know oh, of right. any of the things I there. Have, I have absolute zero in that. Um, let's do it. I think yeah, I don't know. I just zoned out, to be honest. <laughs> Actually, as they're talking, we'll go back to their talk in a moment. Mm -hmm. They don't want to skip over it necessarily. Yeah, yeah. But, but you do have. <laughs> time, you do have. I'm looking at um, echolocation, and this is a serious case of DM not realizing what he allowed in advance. <laughs> but it's super cool. It's super cool. I will never allow this in a full campaign ever again. <laughs> you can oh see a hundred feet around corners, as long as it's not a closed door. Oh my god. You just have omnivision of a hundred feet. Damn. You can reduce it to like 50. That would be Even better. still, you can see behind, you have the fucking Byakugan from <laughs> yeah. Naruto. You can see a 360 degrees. That's nuts. I think if I were, if, if Clementine were to become like a permanent character, like if like Harry were to die and you want to go over, I would probably make it something where you have to focus on a location. Oh, yeah. that like sense. you have to like send out the echo and like, yeah. for now we'll just keep it as is because I don't have time to homebrew something. <laughs> um, <laughs> you with a hundred feet can tell a few things right now as you're just kind of listening into the sounds. Um, number one. You've been in this area before. You've lived in the Rookways for a long time. Um, mm -hmm. There are a few things that are of interest. Number one, you know that this way, which I can just put you over there because you can see over there. You're not over there right now, but you yep. can see it. Um, this is the Rookways tunnel you're familiar with, and it is currently covered in rubble. It has been collapsed in. Oh. I think Clementine would know that uh, that would probably be recent because Arden said they were sending people down. People. Give me an investigation check, if you'd like. Sure. It's not great. It's an eight. Eight. You'd probably have to get closer. Something about that tunnel collapse seems fishy to you. Second thing you notice. This tunnel is new. 
Ooh. That one didn't exist the last time you were here. Now, it's feasible that that could have been opened before the fall of Kaitark, and then when Zivadona attacked, it just filled in with rubble from the attack. But it's fairly new. You've never seen that tunnel. This it's tunnel... also collapsed? That one's also collapsed. Okay. This tunnel straight ahead is open, and you know that leads to some uh, sewers that were part of what you used to refer to as, like, danger zone. There used to be, like, creatures in those sewers, so you would stay away. Yeah. Does seem to be the only of the paths that is open left at this mm. point. Oh, man. But something does strike you as odd about these two collapsed tunnels. You it's might like have to get closer. It's forcing us. Wait. Uh -huh. but I'm gonna move back. Sure. But yeah. I'll I'll just sit quietly and listen to Anyways. the arguments. Yes. There was a <laughs> artifact, a sword, that after four beasts within that realm were slain, it would grant a wish. And you slain beasts? Yes. You hear, it's your brain, you heard the Lapika go, huh. Okay. Is that all? <laughs> that is and so I am God. fairly certain that her mother tried a miracle, but that <sighs> did not work as well. Miracles, wishes, well, I need to make a song about this one. <laughs> is, um, Tierbrin, technically only you hear this, but I'm not going to pull you aside. I'm just going to say this. The Pika goes, well, it's a long shot, but if we could go to the Abyss, we could probably get her out. The Wish probably brought her through the first few layers. Or the Void, rather. Not the Abyss. Sorry. Different thing. I, I'm i sorry. Yes. You can go to the Void? Well, I've been there. I'm... I mean, Me. <laughs> the Void is... <laughs> I can't say it's a realm, but it has things wow. in it stuff it has stuff it's a stuff place it's a place of things and stuff okay <laughs> it's complicated it's complicated listen you're a physical being right you have roads and walls and trees and things like that the void doesn't do that the void is more of a metaphysical plane of conception um where reality and imagination blend into an eternal cycle of torment, despair, and ennui. So it's a type of hell. Uh, no, 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 no. Hell is where people go when they die. The void is where they go when they stop existing. <sighs> but... But... I know, but you, you, you're, you're, you're being little, there, can... your little mortal brain can't really comprehend it, but um, <laughs> if this wish spell was from a artifact as part of a deal that makes it stronger the stronger the wish the more likely it is to work it's not for certain but um there are much as there are layers of hell and layers of the abyss and layers to reality there's layers to the void this camille i think i vaguely remember her may have been pulled a few layers up by that wish. And then the resulting miracle as well may have pulled them up more. I'm not trying to get anyone's hopes up here, but if we could find a way into the void, there's nothing saying one more wish couldn't pop her out. Alright. Don't want to get the boy's will... hopes up, though. He will relay that to Felix. Oh, you... Because <laughs> I was just saying. Hello, JK. Um, <laughs> I was just fucking with you. <laughs> yeah, that, I'm just gonna have some solemn music. That for the would man require who working with the emissary. Uh, yes, I, I think at the <laughs> moment our priorities are here, anyways. Does the Papika know who the emissary is too? Papika. I would imagine. Because I'm person? aware of the Lapika in your head. You are. So. You are aware of the Lapika, 100%. I, I say that. Did he say anything in Tierburn's head? Um. 
<laughs> Tyrbrin, you hear like, well, I told you all the things I knew. It would boggle the mind. <laughs> he does. <laughs> Say that. <laughs> well, um, Finn, as you guys are standing there, mm -hmm. um, I'm just playing a little just bit. Just playing you know? along. Yeah. Um, a couple of like the sounds reverberating off the walls. You feel a little bit of like dust on your head and you can shake it off. A little, like, a little bit of rubble. Oh, a little no. bit of... Clementine, you can see 100 feet up. <laughs> the sides of that hole you guys were coming through begin to break off. Okay. And it seems like the cathedral is about to collapse in on top of you guys. Time to go! Move. Time what? to go! Oh shit! What? Let's go. It's like we've been talking too long, and the it's DM wants us to. You've been talking in the same spot for a while, or mm. something. Okay. DM wants us to move on. I am, despite being a bard, I am fast as fuck. <laughs> I believe it. Um. So no. you know, when you guys were talking about the really important things that Clementine doesn't understand. Right. Um, um, the Pikas and. I don't yeah, know what these words mean. Me neither. But it appears. That our only way forward is through the sewer right over forward, and that is not good. It's very dangerous. Uh, when Didn't he come from a sewer before? Can... But Just... not to the dangerous parts, you know. Torch on me. As you guys move oh, aside a couple likes... of feet, the uh, pole above <laughs> fills in as the cathedral okay. above does crumble down. Well, we have no choice now, do we? No. Uh, Onward. Can you bring out those lights, Finn? So we can yeah. see a little better. Um, <sighs> uh, Clementine, you might want to cover your eyes for a moment. Yeah, don't worry. I'll just close my eyes and use my ears. <laughs> uh, all right. Great. Um, do you... Uh, so, does I can smell it from here. Can oh. results <laughs> into a dancing lights cantrip. That's, good. That's awesome. Oh. Also, fun the fact, well, this passageway to the left, mm. Chris the no, passageway to the right, used to be open, but not mm -hmm. open no more. Fun facts of the sewers. Um, You're uh, welcome. As, as they say that, as, as Clementine says that, and you guys are all over here now, anyone you would, that would like could give me an intelligence check, mm -hmm. just a straight mm -hmm. intelligence check. No. Uh, my my dancing lights. I would have sent them out uh, the way that she said that there's not. Uh, boop, boop, boop. Not yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah. Uh, you uh, said an intelligence check. Intelligence, if you'd like. Oof. Twenty. Ooh. Intelligence. I think that's <laughs> interesting, considering you're the one who heard the last, the least. Hey, Whoa, well, then Finn. Finn. <laughs> Finn. <laughs> Finn right. and Tierbrain arrive at the conclusion the same time. I think. You guys heard a few booms before the big one that erupted. Mm. These look like they were recently collapsed tunnels. Intentionally mm. collapsed. And they Just left, moments before. And they left this one open specifically. You probably feel like that wasn't like an invitation for you as much as a possible getaway for whoever did this. Mm. We will come to that conclusion. Whoever took cloak. We can catch up later, Tyrbrin. We need to go. And if this is a horrible place filled with bad things, then so be it, Clementine. Such is life. You guys see uh, Tyrbrin's asshole arms just like cover his nose, like oh. Yeah. <laughs> that is so strange. Little energy arms. Yeah, yeah. Get I, used I'm just to like, it when you work with the. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna group you guys together. Yep. Oh, very cool, the wolf. Well, what can Wolfie do? Yo, I'm Clementine. I am a trained martial artist in a oh, ancient uh, style. Great, wow. you can protect me from not dying. <laughs> Pretty cool. So, this is interesting because, again, the DM did not understand Clementine's ah. ability fully. We can, we can, lo we can totally just cut it in half. Like you can I can say, just have hey. blind sight if you want. That would be sure. You know. I suppose. Well, we'll. 
it's not gonna like destroy this whole thing. Okay. But you will get through it a lot faster with the understanding that you can do the thing you can do. We can mm. we can make it so I can't do the things that we can or do. I can just have through line of sight. I can just have blind sight, like sixty feet or something. Make it more. Okay. I will better. allow you. I will allow you okay. to maintain as an action. You can okay. focus on any point within a hundred feet of you to see it, but it's not a constant. Sure. Radius that's, of a hundred totally feet. Fair. I well, feel like that would be maddening like a for a location. You also anyways. have to like, yeah. like you send also do out. kind of have to hear the sound. Yeah, I think I like to think of it as you are like sure. sending. You almost have like the clairvoyance spell memorized mm. perfectly. You can just constantly like see within a certain radius, just so it's not like broke it. ridiculous. I, break it. No, I didn't not. realize. Yeah. I, I did not realize. I, I read the rays and I was like, that's super cool. I didn't realize it was like a constant. <laughs> you just can see. <laughs> we can just make it so I can't just see. All good, all good, because you guys approach the entrance to one of the underground sewers. Bottom left oh. of the map. Uh, as you guys approach, Clementine, you've been in this area before. One thing you all obviously notice, the, um, the sewage in this area is a wonderful shade that you've never seen before for sewage. Oh god. Oh no. Can we get the dancing Mark. lights up here? Uh, yes. yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Okay. I, will I will certainly pave the way with my dancing lights. Mm. It's purple. Get that shit up. Mm -hmm. Oh no. Maybe Definitely not touching the ground. Try avoid touching mm. that. So I will send the dancing lights ahead. As uh, <sighs> boy, we have our sewer episode. Okay. Yay. Yes. Yes. Every good RPG needs a sewer level. Mandolin is mm. in I'll a scoot up sewer. so you can go there. I love it. Right. Um. Didn't think I'd be doing this today. <laughs> no. Um. Mm. I thought. That None of us did. It's take forever to get this out. Oh god. I mean, I can fly ahead if you want. Oh, can... Before we move forward, I'm going to go use the restroom real quick. Okay. Sure. And probably grab Boy. a drink. Yeah, I'm going to grab a drink eat. too. Yeah, let's take. The... How about we take a quick. Before we get into this potential combat situation and stuff. We like potential oh, combat. Do we want to take a 10 or 15 or what does everyone need? Uh. Alright. We're good. Alright. Perfect timing. Welcome back. Perfect timing. <laughs> All right, so as you guys are uh, just entering this sewer system, uh, what is the marching order we've got going here? Um, so, um, I can, a microwave. Um, Chris? No, it's not the microwave. It's more of an oven saying it's preheated, you know? But I don't know what that is. Um, I would offer to go first because I'm very hardy. Sure. I mean, I can make us very sneaky if we feel like we want to oh. be sneaky. Um, that might be for the better. What did you have in mind? How? How what? I have a technical question. Sure. Like, yeah. How long does a how long does my bardic inspiration last? A minute. Until the... So it's, I believe it's uh, sorry. A minute or ten bard. minutes. Let me look at bard. Let me look at bard. Oh, bard. Bard, 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 I need to disconnect because I'm, I'm getting cool. Oh. Once within the next 10 minutes. Oh. Good. Okay. They can activate it once within the next 10 minutes. So once given to someone, they have 10 minutes to activate it. Okay. Okay. Uh, uh, I don't know how long. Yeah. I, my video is just going really shit. Um, yeah. So. Okay. I'll try to close out some stuff. Yeah, I'll, I'll close some stuff on my end too. I just realized I have stuff open I don't need to have. <laughs> Always happens. Um, All right. So what did you have in, in mind, Clementine? I mean, I can make it so like everybody's real sneaky. Like, you make less noise That's than you normally nice. do. Right, um... Is this, is this a spell? It's magic, you uh, know? 
Right. Clementine makes the magic. Uh, yes, uh, that sounds good. Oh. Um, okay. I go ahead and cast Pass Without Trace. Had a feeling. Great. Had a feeling. <laughs> I just wanted to get there. <sighs> the spell. The spell so of ages. It's a good spell. Yeah. It's a good spell. Of... Plus oh, 10. shit. Yep. It's good. Plus 10 to stealth. All right. <clears throat> Got it made. Yeah. I can uh, Becky, really, these are your, really dancing, um, like... your dancing lights, right? Mm -hmm. I think I can make yeah. you control them. I think. Hold on. Let me see. Yeah, you should be able to give her. Yeah. Ownership. Uh, of if we're trying to be yeah. sneaky, dancing lights would not be a good idea. Can well, everybody see? Should we go in dark? I can. Not I as prefer... well as you, but. I prefer the night and the dark. <laughs> <laughs> So this Kevin. Kevin. Also, oh, you're his name nothing. is. No, his name is Kevin. What are you talking about? I thought it was... Okay. Just go oh. with it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I've just, I've just. No words. I have point. no words. I'm a bard down in a fucking. All right. Uh, so you I'm have passed out a trace that's within I'm thirty feet. I can move up to there and yeah. still be with it. I will... Should I snuff out my dancing lights then? Uh, maybe just leave them behind us. Sure. I'll do that. I think I've given you control of them, so you should be able to move them as you would like. Oh, great. Goody. Great. They just great. have to stay within, like, what, 20 of each other? Yeah, they are like a cluster of lights. I'm just like, keep them yeah. fairly close. Okay. Yeah, I'm just gonna keep them fairly close. Okay, but just I'm provide not, some too... light, but not giving you, not keeping you yeah. guys like illuminated constantly. It makes sense. It makes sense. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, Tierbrin. Yes. We're like a Constitution save. <laughs> <laughs> that makes sense. <laughs> Move up. Oh, I concentrating. Oh, right. Concentration. Concentrating. Dancing. I don't know if that's concentration. I think it oh, is. it is. It is. Yeah. 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 17? You're fine. It, it, <sighs> you feel like you're going to retch for a moment. Your senses are overwhelmed for a second. But you are also a dog, wolf. The smell of feces isn't something that necessarily reviles you. you. Right. Yeah. <laughs> it's just, there's a lot of other things mixed in here. This is definitely unnatural. Yeah. Um, it's not great. Yeah. You're fine. Um, you know what I is guess... great? That great on the left. Can you do an unlisting perception? See if there's anything Finn. like ahead. May I ask, yes. Finn? Did you step in there? Yeah. Oh, no. If I knew there was shit in there, I would not have. Okay. Because they said just it was bad. To... Okay, just want to ask. Sorry. <laughs> no problem. I'm sorry, Tyrion, were you saying something? I will listen perception. Like By all perfect. means, with advantage. Don't step in there. Don't move your end, sorry. token into not it then, Becky. End. So, just 20. 20? Oh. Okay. Oh, sorry. Uh, no problem. You're oh, it, it, oh gosh. You have them all. I have to learn. Yeah. I have to learn this thing. Ah, uh, gotcha. I have gotcha. them all everywhere. Uh, <laughs> where are you focusing in a specific direction? I'm listening. No, no. I'm trying to listen more so the way it looks like Felix is going. Felix, where are you going? I stopped at the corner. <laughs> Jeremy, which way are you listening? All right. Well, I'm assuming we're following this ledge, so. Uh, mm -hmm. that way. To the right? Okay. Yeah. You hear the distant echoes of scuffling. Like mm -hmm. something shuffling on the ground. Uh, Jerry and the will, distant uh, echo of a splash. Jerry will instantly, like, move up and try to, like, try to not hardly bite Felix on the ankle, but try to, like, pull him back a little. 
Nip. A little nip at the ankle. No, you can talk. You're not a... Sorry. <laughs> right. <It> it's <laughs> Right. I, I hear something moving that way. It's all, you know, my was head. Right. Um, I'll turn back toward the others and... And I'm gonna start going down this way carefully, I guess. Okay. Uh, Becky's torches are stuck in the wall, I think. Oh. Yeah. No worries. I didn't. I yeah. No worries. Thank you. All good. I shouldn't. I shouldn't be controlling. I'm not moving these fast because I know I need to stay within thirty yeah. of. Uh, yeah. Clementine. Clementine. <laughs> Clementine. I would like to focus Shit, I right to here. I'll, uh... I'm I know what I have to do. I'll put, I'll Thank put them you. in the back. <laughs> they're, up, they're up front is the problem. Okay. So, like, now I can put you, you're over top of them. So, there you go. Because okay. <laughs> I was like, I can't click my character. That was me. Right. That was a problem. It's okay. So, I have What's... to use my Bardic Inspiration within 10 minutes. Uh, when you use it, they have 10 what minutes to use it. What was Clementine focusing on? Um, I'm Just focusing. Pass trace. No, I meant uh, my echo location. Oh, got you. I'd like Putting to your echo location there. There. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'll put you there. Whoa. So, That's uh, perfect. from that location, you can see the path does continue up to the right with a little bit of a fork, and then down with uh, there is a oh, grate oh, over that down. You can't pass through that oh. unless you have a way to get through that. Oh, that's pretty neat. Okay. Yep. Okay, so there's a fork in the road. I didn't see anything dangerous. All right. Great. More like a circle. Um. No. No danger. So. Tear break. Yes. Um. It might be difficult down here, which is probably they thought of that. <clears throat> Do you remember Cloak Scent? Of course. Can you try? Oh, wow. It's going to be difficult. I That's going to be a flat perception because the disadvantage mm. negates the advantage. <laughs> yeah, I'm uh, 12. 12. Way too muddled. You see him like uh, shake his head and sneeze like. <laughs> yeah, that dog's. Flash <laughs> you. That's that. I regret doing that. All right. Sorry. Did I send my lights down much. that way? Um. Please, I'm light man. Um. <laughs> no. I'm, I'm gonna grab my um. A stone to that's a two that uh cloak has mm -hmm. and be like are you there you're not dead or that's all i'm saying you don't get a reply oh, well. okay <clears throat> all right all right cloak's dead we're fucked guys all right well i guess we'll continue moving on Yes. Like ever I would had. like pers uh, some stealth checks at this point. Sure. Yeah, yeah. This is disadvantage, but I have a plus ten. Correct. All right. I, I rolled. Oh, I forgot to Three check my box. Um, Silly, you are the one creating it. I know I did. It's twenty seven. Twenty seven. Plus stealthy. Tibber is thirty one. Oh, no. I rolled the four. Finn is a 25. <laughs> it didn't, uh, there we go. Okay, right. so the lowest is 20. Yeah, that makes sense. Uh, so you guys make zero noise as you cross the, like, metal... Like, normally it would be, like, echoing, bang, 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 as you walk across. Muffled by magic, just... You glide across the ground, basically. Uh, and you do reach a small... What looks like a cistern where four pipes come together and uh, go off into different directions. You see there's a lot of like overgrowth of this place hasn't been upkept or maintained very much in a long time. There are a lot of boxes of what look like rook supplies that may have been put here decades ago for some reason. Uh, and are very waterlogged and um, other stuff logged. Mm -hmm. And 
Not great. But thankfully, um, the rooks have been here before, and you do see a lot of uh, boards and walkways connecting the two sides of the, uh, the the sewers, so you don't have to step through the icky water. Great. <clears throat> Alright, I'll step into here. Okay. Mm -hmm. Should I keep the dancing lights where they are? Uh, just keep them behind Sir Felix. us. Sir Felix. Sure. It helps. Mm. I know Clementine. Uh, Clementine, can you put <laughs> down these paths? I mean, yeah, sure. I mean, I'm not going. I get... Which sure one like do the... you want? I guess we'll start with the north one. We'll go like there. Where? Uh, the right one here. Oh, okay. The yep. Bend yep. 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 Sorry, I'll be more descriptive. The top, oh, the north good. portion. Oh shit! Okay. I'll go As back. You, uh, you see the the perception from <laughs> up there. Your 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 the, the 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 echoes go out across this tunnel. Um, you do see these two crouching forms of something you've never seen before in the end. Oh. That cistern. Oh. They seem to be like almost like sniffing at the water or something, and then like one of them just oh. bats at the water. And then one of them mm. seems to reach in and put their hand in the water and just put it up to where a mouth would be, but there's nothing, and just so the water just sort of... <laughs> and they seem to be confused. Like they're curious, almost. Okay, okay. I go back. Um, okay. Okay. Well, I you go, may go back. I go on back. I'll say, okay, so I saw some really creepy cats. One was just batting at the water, and then the other one was drinking the water. Cats. They don't look good. Yeah, like really creepy cats, you know, like big cats. How smoky. Can I try no. with this? Okay, that's fair. <laughs> no, I'm not going to allow anything no. with big smoky cats. No. Well, anything that is drinking the water down here is probably um, disgusting. Big smoky cats. Yeah, big or small cats. They all so got they want your to... own deductions. I'm not letting her roll to do this one. That's Slapping pretty... the water. What about it? Drinking down... the water. What about straight ahead? Down straight ahead. Okay, I go. I go back to location. <laughs> right over there. Oh, then there's not a whole lot of shit. It's just you got the round about. Okay, I'll go back. No, okay. no smoky cats. You just there's another bend that goes northways, and then there's right. the one about halfway I through that goes agree. southways. I, I guess we should avoid so the smoky cats. I mean, yeah, I don't know. Well, I wouldn't want to go stay high the smoky cats. The cats are kind of assholes. By smoke, do you mean decay? I don't know. What, is, what do you mean, decay? I, like, just learned about how to have aura, like, three days ago, you know? I'm um, sorry, I was unaware. Yeah, everyone thought I was barren. Me too, you know? Alright, straight it is. But now... Oh! Has, 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 uh, has she shown her aura yet? No. Forget. No. Clementine has not used aura yet. Oh. Roll what color? Suit up. It's um like my name, Clementine. <laughs> oh, I didn't oh. even catch that. That's yeah. amazing. I made the, I made the smarts. <laughs> All right. Also, um, kind of hungry. Bring the lights forward. All this, this danger. Just a bit. Oh, they have to be forward, I think, to be yeah, they within have to range. Yeah. Stay within. Yeah. Well, no. Sorry. There's another smoky cat. Yes. Uh. <laughs> Amazingly, you chose the one spot before when you looked yep. ahead that you couldn't see it. Yep. Um, as you you come around the you you see around the corners a little bit, you do see the uh the, the just the the lightest like edge of something walking towards the intersection. Oh no! Everyone, give me another stealth check. The lights are far back. It's not a smoky car. <laughs> Uh, Time doesn't know what the mark monster no, is. Going. No. And they just stealth. Yeah. Why isn't yes. it checking? It's plus ten, so it's thirty-six. All good. Jeez. Fuck. <laughs> Lowest yeah. is Felix with a twenty-one. This uh feral decayed. 
just sort of like crawls along, looks down at the water, breathing. just sort of <laughs> starts oh, hitting the water. Seems confused, I'm, I'm and then just gonna... continues walking along this area. As it's oh doing gosh. that, my... oh. yes. Did you see something? My character, my, my no, my character's just like. <laughs> the fuck? He's, what the fuck is that? <laughs> like he doesn't uh, as say. As you're saying, it, what the like... fuck is that? You guys have remarkable stealth. As stepping around the corner, a smoky person sort of poof, right into the water just begins to kind of like wander about it, if it looks like they're um gonna come our way i'm gonna snuff out my dancing lights uh it's <laughs> a good thing you said that because it is starting to kind of walk down your way so i will uh put i'll, I'll take those out <laughs> i'm okay with that <laughs> can we really just ignore these It doesn't seem to be acknowledging your presence with the insane stealths you guys got, but this thing is just sort of like jittering, moving through the water. It seems to like keep batting at the water for some reason, which you do notice still has like that purple hue, and it just sort of puts lifts his hand up, making no Wait. other noise, no like jittering sounds, just um, sil silently. Thing. I point to just I, gonna be like I point to you. And to answer your question, I, like, uh -huh. point to where you told us your Merc Mark was on your body, yeah. and then I point at that creature. So at least you'll understand. So, it's getting closer. You guys are now in pitch darkness, thanks to removing the dancing lights, with really good stealth checks. Mm -hmm. But it is getting in your general vicinity. What are you guys doing? I'm pulling out a piton from a pouch in my oh. stuff, and I'm going to toss it um, this way, into the water. Yeah, yeah, good idea. Okay. <gasps> uh, you don't need to do a check because throwing is your thing. So you hear a nice. from that side. They both turn immediately. This one darts at the spot and begins to thrash at the spot. This one just begins to like move at a jittering, stutter, stuttering pace towards it. You also see several other forms emerging. <gasps> oh my god! Oh my god! You hear, what is, what is it? As a, another one steps out. Felix no. and Tyrbrun, you've seen this once before. These appeared when Jamat attacked. Oh my god! No. They have some <laughs> semblance of identity. You see, it steps out. What? 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 And it just keeps repeating the word what as it steps in the water. Like, you see it <laughs> reaches a hand down and pulls out. I, I point back towards the other way we didn't go. Yep. Okay, I need stealth checks again. Oh, yeah, you do. Out oh, there. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'm like, we're, we're, no, fuck no. <laughs> I've never seen anything like that, and I'm scared. <gasps> this wow, ain't no fucking. Man. Let's go. Still, bitch. I mean, uh, no, it's the worst you no. could possibly do. I know. Right? Was a 24. Yeah. Come on. You'd still be better than me. Okay. <laughs> Ooh. I, I'm assuming using decay would illuminate our presence or our aura. It um, would. It would. Oh shit. Do my ballads because then that will require me to play. So I'm yeah, quiet, unfortunately, right? this yeah. I feel like all okay. Um, oh, no. I am gonna do only because it's a oh, natural yeah, one. I know. Yeah. I, I am know. gonna do a a, a perception check for yeah, yeah, them. I just to see. I miss my my work inspiration for this. I nope. couldn't. She already made the rule. Mm. Rolled way too low. Mm. Alright, so. well, I'm giving her my menstrual dice next time! <laughs> no worries, no worries. They did not seem to notice. As this shadowy, just like, it looks like a black silhouette against the already dark background. Like, an absence of all things just reaches in and holds up the python and just like, looking at it curiously. So they all kind of like, gather around to like, see what it is, and he goes, Away! Away! Hey, like 
batting them away as they're very curiously looking at this thing. It it's in a bizarre sort of way, almost adorable, like animals curious about a strange little shiny thing, as this one is trying to keep it for himself. <laughs> there is like a low level of intelligence being she seen here. And thankfully, you guys got really good rolls. Do, 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 do. Skirt up towards this direction. Okay. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Okay. I'm skirting. I'm skirting. Clementine, I will remind you, this is the way you saw the other smoky cats. Yep. But uh, um, maybe less. Maybe less smoky mean... cats. <laughs> what, wait, what, is, there, is this an option? When we get a is little this... further up we're so that we're not like... Yeah, talking right now would be bad. Right here. <laughs> maybe if we got like um, here-ish. There is a grate down, yeah. Yeah. You'd have to find a way to deal with the grate or get past it, Becky, to go down this path. I'm saying you can't, but there is a, a grate there. Um, oh, yeah, where do you go? I want to go, like, here. Is it hard? Let's go down. Let's okay. get out. Not this way is where the other smoky cats were. I, I like the, I know. I like the idea of going through the grate, but it's kind of closed I off, you know? So, so somebody talk. What does knock a duel for us? It is loud spell. It is oh, fucking loud. It is a very oh, loud spell. I, I wish, I wish you no know, one had said anything and we just had a <laughs> in the middle of this planet would have been great. Well, just, I mean, I mean, honestly, I could probably just create a mirror, uh, some kind of image, make it go that way. Maybe. Then... You could work with yeah. it. You could work I... with it. No, um, no, if you want to. Smoky cats, we can fight. Getting cats. down the grate is a problem oh, because shit, it would move. be rusty and <laughs> Sorry. noisy. Uh, as you guys are are up there, kind of whispering amongst yourselves, you do hear a <laughs> as it sounds like the python was dropped on the ground and then splashed back in the water, and you hear a bunch of <laughs> sounds of things searching the water for it. <laughs> uh, as it seems like they're going to be busy in that little intersection for a little bit. <laughs> Turned into the the one ring. <laughs> Yeah, I got a bunch of golems fighting over the one python. <laughs> oh my god. That's amazing. So, I don't know what you want to do, but Clementine don't like the smoky cats. We, I agree. I agree. Creatures would be bad. What is Merc a creature? What you're calling a smoky cat. Oh, okay. Isn't you that what we're supposed to be doing? I don't know. We're looking for the the, the mask of freedom. No, wait. Just keep looking. Oh, no, I mean, originally our group was oh. formed to fight those, wasn't it? No. My priority is to get cloak. Get out of here. <laughs> wait, this what that that guy was talking about for like fifteen minutes was getting rid of the smoky cats. Yes. <laughs> Yes. Oh, okay, we should get rid of smoky cats too then. We need to find Cloak. Mm. Oh, this is all very oh. conflicting. <gasps> I wait for well, I don't know. Shit out of here, so we might as well go this way. <laughs> Regardless cats. of what the goal is, mm. there, it, there are options. <laughs> as you guys move up this I path. Wait, I have There's... idea, I have idea. I'm going to okay. focus echolocation. <sighs> Down, far away down here, as far as I can see. Past as far as you can grate. see, past Almost, the grate. Okay, can I yeah. Do that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The grate has okay. bars. You can you can echolocate through it. Let me whoop you down here. Okay. All right. Okay. I see nothing. I see clear, murky waters. I go back to group. Okay. I'm gonna put you up. Oh, yeah, I can't move you past the. Oh no. uh, There we go. <laughs> You're ah, stuck. Clementine is now stuck. <laughs> <laughs> no, no stuck for claiming time. Okay, <laughs> so through the grid, I saw no smoky oh, cats. Oh, I, I, I saw I empty, empty waters. Major. Also, oh, I don't remember sewer being purple. It's very weird. No, oh, I think it's work. Oh, don't go in the water. I don't touch ground. Good. Yeah. Oh, good thing I have levitate. Everybody's feet need to wash feet, especially Tierbrin. 
Yes, I'm not looking forward to that. <laughs> Do I see your any little boots? Smoky... Don't lick them clean. Jeff. I'll I'll cross over here. I don't see any smoky cats yet. <laughs> Do I? Not just yet. No, <laughs> no smoky cats. That's their new canon name now. Yep. Oh, oh, I see the edge of a smoky yep. cat. Now you see oh, smoky cats. Yes. Oh, smoky cat. Uh, so they are kind of like batting at the water, it looks like. Um, I think some of the sounds from the, uh, the, the skirmish that are kind of like echo up here, and you see one of them like perks up. I was like looking around. What does the party do? Uh, uh, I would like, can I focus in the middle of the. Absolutely. Circle? Okay. Oh, it's another. Great. Oh no, the two. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. I go back to group now. I had fun designing a sewer level. Mm -hmm. I really like it. It's very cool. Good. I'm glad. I'm scared. There, there's another great so, a south mall. There's another great south in, in room with two smoky cats. But if we make lots of noise, won't other smoky cats come after us and trap us in little oh, room? Somebody. I don't want to get trapped hey, in little room. Silence. Uh, what did you say, Fien? Does anybody have silence? Oh, I can't I mean, see I can't otherwise. Really if everything goes actually. silent, I become blind. Which is <sighs> ironic, you That's know? Bad. Be blind is a bat? It's okay. Mm -hmm. What is a funny joke I just heard? Mm -hmm. My voice. Oh. <laughs> Twist the Lapiga. <laughs> Stuck in your mind, you know. Oh, I say we try and sneak around them. Okay. Well, I know Which going way? If anything goes out. Oh my god. Yeah, which way? Which way? Time. Also, which way should Great we go? Was... I'm gonna do it your eyes. Okay, but you Great really was do. closed on both directions. So, I don't know really what you want to do. Is there any other direction to go up there? There was, no. um, oh, wait. I when you remember... first entered the sewer that you oh, guys chose right. right, there was a straight. Just mm -hmm. remembering oh, yeah. that. Oh, um, so this but... place in here has no other direction ahead of mm -mm. No, ahead oh, of you, okay. you would turn right, and it would be a grate, and then it's otherwise a dead end. Um, okay. I'm not saying you guys can't try to do something with the grates. I did make them grates mm -hmm. instead of just walls, but... I think we should go through grates, but I don't know how to go through without making noise. Yeah. Okay, this is the hard part. It's the hard part, isn't it? <sighs> yeah. Clementine have idea. <sighs> Okay, I'll hear anything at this point. Okay, Clementine have idea of pick seeing if grades have luck. Clementine, pick luck. Okay. Great is gonna be loud. Great is metal. Okay. <laughs> That's was Clementine idea. They could or leave it, you know what I'm better. <laughs> I'm not very good at the, I do like three things really well. Maybe four. Maybe five. Okay, I have two. <laughs> oh, okay, idea. Go, great Finn, master of music. <laughs> oh boy, what, yeah. What is totally. ideas? I, I only have knock. I, I support this. a very loud this. spell. I know. Oh. <clears throat> Maybe Let's do it anyway. we can act like... Oh, that's a horrible <laughs> idea. Oh, no, let's not do this, because Felix is smart. We go around, we go a different way, maybe, and see if other smoky cat. I'm going to be looking behind us as we're yeah. talking. I, sure. I, I think the other direction, we should... I don't know. I loved making a maze. This was the best. <laughs> we should do this more often. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I, I honestly bit. don't know. Yeah, we we know. are fearlessly. The, uh, the smoky cats are shuffling a bit. They're mm. 
restless. They did hear that commotion before. Um, but they're not moving in your direction just yet. Dear, dear Bryn, what do you think we do? Uh. Oh, 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 oh. I, ha I have an idea. It's probably not going to work. Um, Felix, right? Are these things smart at all? Can they be charmed? You can see one of them is looking at its face in the water and goes... Oh. <laughs> no, they are not. Have you, have you ever encountered anyone trying to charm them in any other capacity? No. Because look. <sighs> okay, great. I can There's just hypnotic <laughs> pattern. <laughs> I could use hypnotic pattern then. It might work. Distract them. While we do our thing. Or we could just go check the other path. That seems like a good idea. Yeah, I see something getting closer, yeah. Okay. I, I decide the other way, yeah. Let's go. Other path. Party return. We are this way. Could, yep. could, could just, like... those oh, cats. Uh so <laughs> I just put you guys there? Yeah, God. Yeah, I mean, I'm Fuck there. Fuck the cats. Yep, okay, there you go. Fuck the cats. Screw oh, those cats. All right, let's see what's up Not here. Not doing that. Who Screw wants to bet it's also a dead end? <laughs> Who knows? Oh, There's got to be a right way of it somewhere. Probably. I would like to focus Where? On, on the spot, in, right, like right here, so okay, I can see down okay. both ways. Mm -hmm. Oh. I see no smoky cats. Indeed. Mm. Okay, I see dead end straight ahead, I think, maybe. Uh, then... Clementine, as you're focusing from like the perception there, you can hear coming from this direction uh -huh. a lot of sounds of like scraping and some clanging. Oh, God. That, sound, <laughs> that, that direction sounds active. Oh. Okay. All right. I go back to group. Yes, you. Thank you. Oh, I got you, saw the of, you saw outside reality temporarily. Wow, oh, no. You literally okay. at your mercy. Which way? Okay, so the room straight ahead is no go. And then there's pipe that go to the right, but sound very active. I, I don't like that one. Um, so yeah. maybe we go back to grade. I like bottom grade. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just saying, or we take the two smoky cats out and hope we don't get trapped in the room by other smoky cats and smoky peoples. Uh, I have no... Oh no, I have to find that. There we go. I, go. I really don't want to fight things. I don't know. Okay, if you want, I can... I, I go to focus one more time. On, on this spot right here, kind of like off to the right in the sure. middle. Okay. Uh, oh, outside the boundary. Oh, yeah. Outside yeah. the bounds of reality. Of reality. Mm -hmm. Okay, I see Forky and Road ahead. It go left and right. I go, I go back to group. Great right, is a dead end. Yeah. Okay. So you make your so you go down this pipe. Right. Then you go north, and then after you go north for a while, you go east. Wait, no, that was west. Then you go east, and then it's forking. Alright. Is, is this a dead end? That looks like dead end to me. Let's see if there's a crate up great in there. I didn't great, see no great, great, but to hide in, I don't care. <laughs> Did you just rhyme Fiend the master of words? I have to I have to yeah and then yeah. <laughs> well there's there's nothing in there, I promise. Empty room. What's that? What am I looking at? On the back side. Uh, that seems like... to be like a flow of sewage mm. from out of like a pipe. I see. Oh um, my. You were right. Well, <laughs> she seems to be right in these situations. Great. Clementine is a she, right? Clementine yes. is a they. Oh, are they? Okay. I'm so sorry. I've been. Oh, okay. My bad. Elmo's fine. She too, sometimes. I have probably, because I'm 
normally a she. <laughs> <laughs> okay, are you a sneaky sneak? I'll go up here, and then I will focus at fork in the road. Certainly. The moment you focus at the fork, <laughs> lot of sound <gasps> immediately comes to your <gasps> As you see, oh. what looks like battles engaged between these two different types of creatures. One type you do know, you've seen these before during the fall of Kaitark. It seems like some of them got trapped under here in the oh. sewers. And with the recent release of Merc, have been fighting the smoky cats. No! And you see some of the ones with oh, the harpoon no. arms and the spear arms oh my God. tacking into oh these God. decay monsters, no! but the arms just sort of pierce in and nothing, and then the decay monsters attack, but these things don't have aura either. So it's just kind of like this battle of a, a war of attrition where they're neither is making a lot of dents in the other, but they're fighting constantly. You know as you no. see all of this in your daredevil no. vision ahead, this no. was the path of badness. Like, no, uh -uh. I come back. Uh -uh. I say, I come right back and say, no, get, no, we don't. No, we go back. We start can, going wait, this wait, way. Wait, wait, no. can we sneak past no. them while they're occupied? No. no, we don't go. No, Clementine, no, no, Clementine, not safe. Not a pattern on them. Oh, no, that Clementine. would alert them to our presence. No, no Clementine say no. I Clementine can... have survival instinct. Hold on, Clementine. Clementine. No. Clementine. <laughs> In... okay. Bob, it's going to be okay. Okay, it's okay. going to be fine. Bob, they can't uh, hear us. They can we can not see us. you because of Gloomstalker bullshit? Pretty much. And I am not yeah, invisible. Clementine's pretty I'm much invisible. invisible right now. Fuck, she booked no. it. Oh, um, no, she left us. You hear? You can hear the. Oh, no, oh, oh okay. Oh. I I can make. Do you know we can at least hear her well enough to? Like... Yes. Yes. Yeah, um... uh... Clementine, you are practically invisible. I can make myself invisible. I can too. Tyrion. Oh my god. <laughs> That's what it be. No, but I I am particularly you good can at sneaking. Cast invisibility. Yeah. You can? You, no, oh. people can upcast. I, yeah, I, yeah, oh, I can. Yeah, I can. I'm just saying. That's a and I cast this spell using a third level third level or, well. or higher, and I can cast third levels, so I could get tier burn uh, if needed. That's yeah. true. Yeah. Clement Pine. From my mandolin, baby. <laughs> but I gotta play. And Bob oh, like that's not an option. I will upcast. <laughs> yeah. So is the party upcasting some invisibility to oh, sneak through this? Circumvent everything. Oh, I'm not against it. I oh, love this idea. Mm -hmm. We actually have enough people to do uh, it, though. Yeah. <laughs> Which is awesome. So, so moment. Yes. Uh, yes. Uh, we, we, uh, we've these fought pretty cool. some of these creatures before. Right. I do not recall. Do they need sight to see? Oh yeah. Um, <laughs> Some creatures are like that. They're weird. That is a good no question. No um, uh, give me a wisdom check, kind of like for memory, oh my basically. God. Either both of you, because you both yeah. have been. Will. Megan's like, I'm going through my notes. Nineteen. <laughs> there, Felix, I would say in Discord. It is. It is uh, in yeah, the Discord. Yeah. Um, Felix, I would say. First of all, are you referring to the decay monsters or the abominations? I assume he was referring to all of them. Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> if the merc monsters could see you without sight, they would have seen you when you were 10 feet away just now, down there. Clear. They definitely require some form of vision. Um, you, if Felix would remember that to a degree, like you guys. One of your first encounters with them was in the basement of actually the first encounter, well, the second encounter, in the basement of the chapel that was like near the the train, and you guys were able to like sneak around a little bit down there. Um, as far as the uh, the sorrow sworn abominations from the erudition matrix, you're not really sure. They have eyes. You feel like they probably need them to see. They're not like blind sight type creatures that have no eyes. Um, you don't know what other senses they have, though. One thing is for sure, do not use any aura. 
Correct. Felix would absolutely remember that. Mm -hmm. They can definitely oh. sense the use of decay. That's good to know. Claim and pine and Bob do not want to go near abominations mm -hmm. and smoky cats. Unfortunately, Clementine, we don't have many options. Let me always go Let's down go the grave. Every That's direction the is something. And if they're oh, fighting, oh. we can sneak past. Oh boy, it feels like very bad idea, but smart Felix, you know, like <laughs> good leader. Uh, and, unfortunately, and... nobody can teleport through the great, I'm certain. No. It's the teleport uh, thing. I, I have no, no, nothing that could help us in this I have situation. Misty Step. Does that oh, help at all? Yourself. <laughs> yeah. Wait. <laughs> Give me a moment. And Tyrion will reach out his mind. Lapika. Yes, before you even ask, Ooh. I could use hostile displacement in our form to move them through the grate. What about us? Us? You can teleport naturally in my form. Right. <laughs> so they just have to let me hit them. Hit them. Yes. <laughs> Give him a good old smack on the butt. Can't we do this quietly, though? <laughs> Maybe. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> I'm very curious to find out what will happen. I don't know. With your large form that can't fit on the sides? I suppose. It's only one way to find to out. You'd have to straddle it. You'd have to, like... Keeping in mind that uh, boop, boop. attacking will break invisibility, so do it quickly. Well, yes. So there is, to the party, there is an option. Okay. I could theoretically teleport everybody through the grate if Perfect. you let me hit you. No. Sure, I get hit all the time. <laughs> no, I'd rather not. No. Why not? You got some weird thing about people hitting you? No, his other... Like this is very talking about his... Statement. My other form. Tyrion can transform, in a sense. Whoa. And that form so is... he's a druid who can transform into something else. Got it. No, we'll touch on that later. Um... <laughs> I seriously think it's a druid. You probably do. Oh, um... <laughs> that form is large, and... I don't... He wouldn't fit on these sides in that form, would he? I know how big it is. I've seen it. He'd probably be straddling this. It would honestly. be hard. Two, two feet here, two feet here. I mean, like, it I, would be hard, but I could, you can like, squeeze, swerve, yeah. technically. You can squeeze into a space smaller than yourself, so... Would it be the stealthiest option in the world? No, but that <laughs> form is pretty lithe. Um, it's... The dis it's, it's basically the Displacer Beast version of Tyrbrin. It's got displacement, it's got evasion. It has okay. natural teleportation. Shit. Uh, okay, also, well, AJ, I have updated it to have 75 hit points instead of 50 since you've gotten stronger. Okay. <laughs> nice. Uh, okay, so that's not even... <laughs> my vote is even. for invisible and sneak by. Okay. Is, I'm, okay. I'm fine with anything. Is there enough room for us to sneak by? You've got to be very careful. Um, I remember seeing pathways on the sides. Alright, we need I... to know which way we're going once we get in there. I um, mean, well, not left because they're big giant monster not thing left. That, took, so... that took up the entirety of the pipe. Right or straight? Go, no, go straight and then make a, a right as soon as you can. Alright. Okay, okay, Bob, we got this. He's going to be brave. Right. I thought his name was Steve. Something. So, who's, who's I just Steve? need to need to ask. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone is invisible. Uh, Pretty the match. Uh, yeah, I'm okay. gonna cast invisibility on. So, are you up? You you're not up casting because you would have to play your thing. But you can I... cast it normally. I... Make sure you can cast it normally. I don't think I can. Make sure you can. Nope. Nope, that's a mandolin power. Does uh, the mandolin require you to play it? Let me check. I believe so. Yes. You can use an <laughs> action to play the instrument and cast one of its spells. You could try to play softly. Alright, I'm casting it at fourth level. 
No. Okay. No. Wasting your spell slots. I am casting Sir. a fourth level spell slot to give myself, Tyrbrin, and, and Finn, Finn invisibility. Invisibility. And Clementine's already invisible in darkness as long as they rely on dark vision. Yes. Okay. Give We're yourself doing the this. ninja icon. And I will give myself this. concentration up to an hour. Oh, that's a waste. That's such a waste of a nice spell. All right. Spell. All right. You have two ninja icons. That was because of me. <laughs> Thank you. My bad. Nope, nope, that was me. I didn't think you'd get it in time, so I just gave it to you. There All we right. go. <laughs> okay. I can't really do any of my stuff until we get away from these things. Because everything requires me to play! Sorry. <laughs> Pretty much. I love earlier, I was like, was this going to be a stealth mission? I don't know. We'll see. It's just a ceremony. Immediate yeah. stealth mission. This is the kind of mission the other group would suck at so horribly. Oh, so hard. It, this would be just a running through, Q going, ah! <laughs> everything in sight. This would be a disaster. This is the only group that I've seen that could potentially actually get through this without any encounters, which honestly, considering it's taken an hour to get this far in yep. the sewers, I'm okay if there's no encounters, because this is the encounter. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Alright, so... If, so if, if I see... Can I hold an action to see if anything attacks any of my allies? Sure. I if, can... if an enemy makes any hostile action against your group, what would you like uh -huh. to do? Um, Note that you can't see us as well. So oh, right. yeah, never mind. You guys all kind of have to move together. With the understanding hands. you can't see the other invisible people. Yeah, we're, we're gonna we're gonna all hold hands. Like, yeah, I think that'd be smart. Hands. Hold hands. Come on, let's go. Uh, I, I I'm like walking sideways with my like hand on Tierburn's mane. <laughs> sure. Yeah, I'll I'll just. Hold oh, whatever. Astral arm. Astral arm, yeah. That works. Turbine's got enough key points to do that. Uh, no, no, put that away, put that away, put that away. It Aura. It, no, Aura. No, 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 no. Key arm. Oh, key. key sorry, arm. sorry. I was yeah. thinking. Yeah, no, no, yeah, no, yeah, no, yeah. no, no. No problem. Yeah, I'm, I'm really uh, just. Which, behind... by the way, Felix, you note, Tyrbrin's key it? arm is almost fully just the Lapika hand. Yeah. Well then. He's made some choices. <laughs> <laughs> he made some nice choices that so, I like. So, uh, as you yep. guys step yep. up. Yep. Yep. I understand why. <laughs> I was afraid. Immediately hearing the sounds of... <laughs> the sounds of combat as these abominations that have been trapped down here for three months since the fall are fighting against these newly created merc monsters that rose out of the goop. And they're now just engaging... Neither is making really any headway on the other, yeah. as I described earlier. Neither could really do that much damage to the other, but um, there is <laughs> this <laughs> choice now before you. Mm -hmm. Left or right? Left does have the big boy over there, the angry with the big hook oh, hands. We... He doesn't seem to be engaging. He seems to be staying back and just kind of like roaring, like to try to intimidate them away. We had agreed on right before we went invisible. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. You did, so continue right. May I'm gonna cross those things okay. to get over to this side. I, yeah, yeah Kota, where I'm, would you like to I'm echolocate? To the right, as far as I can see, essentially. Wonderful. Wait. I don't, <laughs> I don't uh... So we're going right, then. I would like to go back to the group. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Sounds good. Thank you. Thank you. I, 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 I'm like fumbling around. Which like, way are we going? Left. She left. Uh, <laughs> I can't talk. <laughs> Not really, unless you want to do a stealth check. I, I am literally at the your mercy right now. My mm -hmm. ass is up and my butt cheeks are open. <laughs> <laughs> Find a direction. I'll just. Which I'll go way with are we it. going, guys? Question: Since we're invisible, we have we're advantage sure. on stealth checks, correct? Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, and they're engaged in combat. They're not really noticing okay. for whispers right now. They're just trying to murder. So. Oh, you can echolocate and see me and Tierbrin. Oh, that's true. Clementine can see everyone. The group. It's amazing for this situation. Get the awesome. Basically, to stand there at the mm -hmm. cross beams. 
Sure, mm-hmm. sure, 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 sure. I-, I would be following you wherever you go. Megan, I'm not sure why, but your camera's frozen for me. I don't know why. Oh, yeah, it did freeze up. It did. And it's frozen See, on it's a not... very agonized appearance. Yes. Are we back? <laughs> Am I back? No, that's how I feel about uh, this whole encounter. You, it's okay. But, um... I can hear you, I just can't. Oh, your, God, your everyone's fast frozen. forwarding. Oh, dear. Oh, no. Mm. There you go. Oh, are. there you go. Are we back? Yes. We're back. Yeah. We're good. Okay. Oh, no. Am I here? You're, You're here. Okay. Are you okay? Okay. I'm good. I don't know. So my yeah. my Wi-Fi works best with Roll20, but my wired connection works best with, Discord. you know, Discord. Oh. <laughs> yeah. So weird. So I might, I'm going to try going, I guess I'm back-ish. Okay. Well, if I freeze again, I'll maybe I'll switch to wired. We'll figure but, it out. Yeah. Okay. So Wait, you guys are, are now standing on this platform in the middle of a small war. My my character is like try he's he's like okay. You come over and are you can see you're the only one who can see everybody, so Yeah. So what is Clementine saying? What are say? you saying to us? Um Okay, so there's very bad things both directions. Maybe we should go to the left because there's maybe less bad things. What is to the And left? everything is frozen again. I'm switching to the Oh. I'm going to, to echo location, right behind big scary dude. Oh my god! Motherfucker, it's another great. <laughs> oh fucking! Okay, I like to go back to group. Can you describe it other than scary cat? Like, what does it look like? No, no, great. There's a great to the left, so oh. right seems best option. Unless there's other great. I don't know. I don't know. I don't like this. Clementine don't like me. Me neither. Is there another direction to the right after? I oh my gosh. I'm going to okay. I want to whisper. Fian, do not move. I won't. <laughs> okay. I'm going to fly ten feet to the right so I can sure. echo location all the way down to. The thing. Oh my god. Really oh. What does this look like? Does this oh, look like a, close... like a solid wall? Oh, motherfucker. Yeah. Okay. Back to the group. Okay, it's solid wall to right, so great is only option. We either go behind the big monster immediately to get to great, or we go back to other great with small scary cats. So it's go to small... the great to the left. Okay. I <laughs> chose the path of most resistance. We did our mission. Sure we should just go back to the other great. I can go. teleport you all first. Yeah, yeah, go yeah. other way. Let's go. Oh, quick. Other way. Okay. Other way. I, I agree with Dearman. I agree with the dog. I need everyone to give me a stealth check with disadvantage. Okay. Any advantage you have cancels that out. Okay. Normal. So stealth check at normal. Stealth JX. Come on. 37. <laughs> You blame it to the night. Okay, okay. 28, 21. 15 oh, from Felix. Felix. Oh, Felix, why? Why, mm. Felix? Why? Oh, no. Are you gonna flare? <laughs> no. Are you gonna fl- no. no. Wait, wait, wait. Well, then. Oh, no, no. That would require you I... to melody! Um. Wait, wait. Hold on. <laughs> Question. I'm gonna use my lucky heritage. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Fine, do it. My do one it. per day lucky reroll. Oh god. Oh. <laughs> okay. 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 <laughs> you know, Chris, you said you wanted to combat with more enemies. What <laughs> encounters with more enemies? But this would have been it. You're right. It would have. I regret my previous statement. <laughs> All right. Successful stealth for the whole party. This time. <laughs> what is the party choosing to do? Great to the left, great that's back, wall to the right. Small. Smoky, too smoky cat, great. Too smoky cat, great. I'm going to roll a d30 for the group right now. So okay. my only argument is that that, that great led down to what you saw. What's fair? 15. I'm going to roll again because that's exactly the middle. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. Okay, that might be good. 21. Also, I'm, I'm going on instinct. Not necessarily smart. 
I'm, I'm okay with instincts right now, especially because you used to live down here. <laughs> but I didn't go here because this was danger zone. This is why I didn't want to go. Yeah, no, no. Wow. What's that 21 for? You don't know, but I'm doing something for it. But anyway. Oh, great. He's moving What is the shit. party oh. doing? <laughs> um, um, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're, um... Okay, Felix, fearless leader. Guide us to the right way to not the death. Uh-huh. Please. I Brett, it... think... Uh-huh. That this way is the better this way. way. The other great, you said it led down. Both led down. This one leads up. I think I just have a feeling up is the right way. Okay. Okay, Peterless Leader. Let us go. If everybody else disagrees with me, I will go with what you say. Uh, well, Where are you saying to go up? I way. think we go over to that. But if everyone else thinks oh I'm an idiot, I'll go with what you guys my, say. My character is so fucking scared shitless right now. He's never seen anything like these things. Clementine wants no, to say no, no, fuck no. no. Um, um, this Clementine thing in particular really fucking scares him. I can't see whatever what? that is. What? Why would this Why would this oh, be terrifying know. to you? Oh, mm -hmm. that. I don't, that I don't know. Him. What? It's so normal. So chill. Mm -hmm. that's, that looks like something he can't. Um, Are these not the chillest thing you've ever seen? I person? hate those things I so much. Those. Yeah, they're bad. I, hate I, them. I, I don't know. They, they seem pretty cool to me. Well, I did roll a twenty-one, so an upper ten for D thirty. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Their battle moves in such a way <laughs> oh, that in either direction, I could go. There is a clear shot. Okay. Say this one even moves over to here to begin to let's, support that one. Let's go to the left and fearless meet their feelings. Oh, God. Uh, oh, okay. <laughs> I guide you. I guide I'm, my best this new friend, Fien. Yeah, the I fantastic flautist. Wait, I don't think I know that word, but. <laughs> Fien, the fantastic. Just... Yes. So, <laughs> I'm not going to ask for another stealth because you already did one. So, Thank that's you. fine. Thank you. <laughs> Benevolent. The guys. The, um... oh. oh, sorry. You're moving us. I, need... All good. I feel like I need to make an action or something. Like, if, sure. something, if something attacks us. Sure. Nothing seems to have noticed you guys yet. They're focusing on the weird dark mm. monsters of death. Mm. The smoky yeah. cats. Smoky cats. Smoky cats. I need to just check something. Um, yeah, well, you guys are so her. lucky. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. If we have, if we ever break, um, our invisibility, um, I think I want to cast hypnotic pattern. So, two things. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. One, they all of the Sorrow Sworn only have dark vision. Oh, bless. Two, mm -hmm. none of you got within five feet of these, which deal psychic damage to creatures within five feet of them. Oh, that's right. You thankfully did not. So you guys get up to the grate. Yay. Without issue. I'm going to press play because you can just jump the gap. There you go. So, you guys are at the grate. Oh my god. What are you doing? Looking for any way to pick a lock. Is there a lock on it? You can definitely <laughs> oh, drown. God. Give me an investigation check. Something I'm super good at, guys. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, You're... just 17 though. 17, wow! Though. 17 I rolled really so good! good. Natural nice. 17. <laughs> nice. oh, okay. I think Clementine's heart is beating so <laughs> fast in their chest right now. Was... They yes. don't know. They've never been this scared mm -hmm. before. Yeah, same. You're just like, your hands are just kind of like softly checking the edges. trying to, And eventually you do notice there is a hinge at the top. 
and the bottom has a latch that does have a chain currently wrapped around it and locked. <laughs> Looks like these grates do have the intention of being openable. Oh, God. I'd like to pick the lock. Give me a dexterity check with some... Are you proficient with... Um, I'm you're proficient a rogue, with right? thieves' tools, Woo! and tools, I God. own thieves' tools. Then give me a dexterity with proficiency. Yay. Yay! Nice. Rogue, saving well, us, saving our asses. Fifteen. Rolled poop. Even if you rolled poop, this is not okay. a complex, secure lock. This is something that was put on here probably decades ago, and this place has been abandoned for a very long time, or hasn't really been kept up. This is an old lock. Fifteen pretty much just meets the DC. As it... <laughs> and you can open it. It will note, there is still a chain wrapped around nope. the bottom. Yep. Huh. Me too. Would you like to very carefully and quietly try to uncoil that chain? Yes. I need a dexterity check with disadvantage. Wow. Oh, okay, just mad. a dexterity can check. Can I see her, them doing this and assist? Ye you can't, because it's dark vision. She's invisible. They're invisible. Um, in dark vision. You see the chain moving, but Clementine's pretty much invisible in dark vision. Okay. Um, and Clementine can see all of you, but none of you can see anyone else. That's fair. Um, you just notice... Something is moving the chain, yeah, and you I'm can just... only assume it's Clementine. I mean, if there's is it possible that for me to use do. Mage Hand to help? So make uh, sure. What are the components the of Mage Hand? Verbal. Oh, it's verbal. You could try a stealth check to say it quietly. Say it. I think her Mage Hand is powerful. invisible because of right. It's the verbal component to say it yeah. to create Mage Hand that I'm yeah. referring to. I don't want it to fall in the ground, basically. But that's well, it thing. would fall into the water. It would fall into the water. Which is equally as bad. Right. Yeah. Is that a Clementine, are you doing anything different? Or, like, I, 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 I... Are you trying to find a way to skirt uh, the... I, mm. I, I can... I guess, how it's so it's, like, wrapped around, like, the base? Yeah, basically, the... like, if you take the, the grate... Had, like the bottom of the grate is a bar. There was another oh. metal bar. They t wrapped a chain around it and okay. then locked it, and that's how the grate is like locked on. So you've unlocked it. Now you just have to unwrap the chain so then you can lift the grate up. Yeah. So Clementine's not the smartest. No. But Clementine is pretty you know, wise. She knows we yes. need to be quiet. <laughs> yes. Um. Not that I much. Guess if <laughs> I'm not normally sneaky, this is new. Okay, I will stop. I will stop okay. and think about this. And say, okay, I've unlocked the lock. And I lost my voice a little bit and all the fright in this. <laughs> but there's chain. Chain to make a noise. How to make less noise. Get cast silence. Man, if only someone had silence, that would make this whole thing possible. Mira, what but then everyone yeah. becomes visible because you're concentrating on invisibility. Right, and silence is, I believe, concentration. I will say also, they are focused very much away from you guys. So if someone were to break invisibility, it wouldn't be an instantaneous thing. Oh, that's fair. It just, then if you make noise, it's pretty likely they'll see you. Didn't have anything he can do. I'm looking. You have spells that... Aren't I through your mandolin. Anyone have extra clothes that maybe we muffle sounds? Oh, I do, I do. I have um I have it just a costume, my entertainment costume. Uh -huh. I have just a normal one. <laughs> you can use that. Um, I don't know. It's it's in my uh eh. Eh. It's just in my bag though, in my entertainment bag. So if, if if somebody could help hold the chain, I, I can help unravel chain and then use custom clothes to put chain down on the, on the clothes to muffle sound. I, yeah, I'll help with the okay. chain. You pass the clothing yeah. that's going to get very dirty. Okay, who's putting the clothing down? 
Um, I guess I would be. I wasn't mind. sure, like, which which of the people involving in this. I just need to know which of them is the is the one putting the clothing down. I would, because it's my You're clothing. So. Top of I, I'm hovering above. Oh, so okay. um, Becky, give me a dexterity save. Oh, shit. Dex save. Yes. <laughs> hmm. Come on. Ah! Wait, two. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, God. Are you wait. flaring aura? No, I can't not flaring no damn aura, but. Oh, damn. Hmm. Fuck. Um. I can't. Mm -hmm. I can't. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, because that's that's a melody. I can't use yes. that. My <laughs> minstrel stealth dice. Is your, stealth is your greatest weakness as a bard. Okay. So so minstrel dice. Do I need to be playing my thing for that? For, for which one? Inspiration. It's Bardic Inspiration, but I don't uh, think I need to be playing that. Okay. I don't think you have to play to inspire, no. You would have had to have given it yourself beforehand. Correct. It's not yeah. something you just... Yeah, that's something you give someone, then they can activate it within 10 minutes. And I also your... don't know, can you inspire yourself? Yes, yeah, so. you can give yourself cool. your advice. That's neat. The creature can wait until after the rolls the d20 before... Yes, but you have to... Okay. Give but you have to, to give activate it, so. it before. Right. Correct. Oh, shit. Well, What happens? <laughs> you take three points of decay as your hand touches the water. Oh. Oh. That's it. Oh. No one's touched the water yet, so there you go. Oh, oh, Put I the clothes oh, okay. in the water, and it, your your hand singes a little bit as a little bit of decay blossoms. Okay. That's okay, it. Great. I was trying to make it more menacing. It was, like, it's just, oh, just good a job. Bit of decay. I was like, Dick. fuck. <laughs> <laughs> He's the DM. He's allowed to. Yeah, I know. I am. I am. I have been delighted with this <laughs> session so far. I am so afraid. <laughs> You guys have avoided all the combats. I'm fucking impressed. Oh, God. We normally don't do this. Up. Yeah, go on. Okay, okay. So, so wrap it. So now we unwrap the chain. What okay. do you need? Who is unwrapping the chain? Probably me. Um, um, mm -hmm. Before you do is that. Is it you and Felix? Okay, yep. Yeah. Is, it, is this, uh, is this yeah, an ability Mike. check? I could give you a bardic inspiration before. Um, yeah, you could give a bardic inspiration for this. Okay. Mike. You got it. Question. Uh, yes, Felix. Yeah. Uh, can you make my practical miracle so I can see the handout again? Oh, right. What I forget if it's just enemies or if I can use it to give like an ally an uh, advantage. Oh, plus charisma. Mm -hmm. Right, the yeah. Right, 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 her, right, 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 right. Her her minstrel oh. die is slightly oh, better yeah. than a regular it's bar. Eight plus five. Yeah, uh, but I can only put I, it on one person. You can Im so. it's it's you impose disadvantage on a target's roll. Okay, okay. So it would not help in any way in this case. Okay, yep. Still, thank you. Um, you can wait and but, to decide to use it. But uh, Clementine, with Felix assisting, give me a Normal. dexterity check with advantage. With advantage, okay. I and will see what it is. And then you can also use Bardic if you'd like. If you want. It's yeah. a thirteen. <laughs> that feels not great. So I'll yeah. roll. What is your D8. Bardic guy? D eight. Uh, it's a D8 plus five. I could roll Ooh. for you, but I know, I know you like to roll things. Plus 12. Damn. 25. Oh, oh, That's a nat oh, 20 that's... roll for me. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta say, if you do nothing else this session, Becky, that was pretty clutch. <laughs> yep, I'm okay yeah. with this. <laughs> that, bard, that bard moment right there was Oof. clutch because with a 25 dexterity check, Oof. using like the... like. The little pat on your back and the you got this, you're like, yeah, I do got this. And you just start to unravel it into the cloth. And before you know it, last little bit, perfectly silent. Wow. You were fluid moving with it. Uh, now that the grate is still closed. Battery alarm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no need to nobody open. here, I think, has an alchemical jar to grease it with. <laughs> I could. I boots of greasing. Uh... Hold on. Hold I will on. Say, go real I will fast. Say, yeah. Slam it down. <laughs> it can be closed after you go through it, but. So. Um, oh no. More shenanigans. Prestidigitation go. can soil an object. Sure. Yeah. Can it soil it in something. Soil it. 
greasy yeah. or okay like i have precedent i can too, but... or the opposite can you make it super clean so it's it, yes no. but i wouldn't i can't i don't think i can clean the rust off of it mm -mm. so um I will also say Prestidigitation has verbal, somatic, and material component. Yeah. It does. It you would does. have to say something for it. I would. I would need a check. Um, also, I... that would be casting a spell. Yeah. You would break invisibility uh, and say something aloud. It's a cantrip. Does that still... It's a spell. Okay. I thought... Let me look at invisibility. Does invisibility specify cantrip? Because if it says uh, spell... Invisible... Or cast Target a spell. Ends, okay. Cast a spell. It does not matter what level. Oh, okay. You are right. Okay, that is not an option. Um, great. Great. Becky has, but Becky has press digitation. I do too, but, but it would oh, be the right. same problem. Yeah, but you have your own invisible toy. I do. Yeah, yeah. Um, I could just be like, whoop, never mind. Well, <laughs> that would be two turns before. because you can't. Yeah. You, you don't. You don't have quicken, so you can't do boop boop yeah. in one turn. Yeah. Um. Yeah. I guess we just try to do it quietly. Or we um, do it very fast. Okay, so so there are two and options. And Ben's here. thinking about the future. If the shit goes wrong, um, he's gonna do fuck. Um, uh, he's gonna do, use his fife if mm -hmm. if we break things and they start rushing us. He's gonna use his dragon song. Okay. So he's gonna have his fife out. Sure. Ready to actually use your fife in case battle starts. In case battle starts. Yes. Okay. I will assist uh, Clementine. Sorry, no one can see it because you're invisible. Why don't you imagine the bard is aggressively ready to fight? <laughs> I am. I'm ready to fight. I'm ready to flute. <laughs> I'm gonna use my damn dragon song. Um. Oh. So I will uh, work with Clementine to try and quietly, because it opens like up. Yeah, it lifts okay. up. Does it lift up oh, in or down. lift up like into the other room? Uh, based on the hinge, it lifts up in. Mm. Into towards us. Where you are. Okay. Towards you. Okay. You'd have to lift it up. You wouldn't be pushing it. You'd be pulling. It. I will uh, work with Clementine to I'm open it. Very, actually, I'm actually. Not you're super strong. Thinking about the dynamics of this layout, it should open into the cistern. Into the so okay. you would push it. Okay. I think maybe Carabrand should do the pushing. With what hands? I don't know. Doesn't he have the, the invisible hands? He Doesn't he have his hands out right now? Does he have his hands out? He has his last key out long. hand. Oh, they... Yeah. I... Okay, I mean, I can try. I'm gonna move <laughs> back. I mean, uh, it's probably gonna, yeah. I mean, yeah. Uh, well, it depends. Not strong. Ben is ready to cover our asses if something goes oh, wrong. So. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Then we'll fucking I run. will help. All right. Can I just uh, see you? Finn, I will just, for your sake, I'm gonna mm -hmm. move you down one. It's yeah. a 15 foot cone for Dragon Song. Yeah. Now you can hit them if if you need to. Okay. Okay. Fair. All right. Thank you. Okay. Which one is going to do the strength? Which one's going to be assisting? Assisting. I will do the strength. Strength check. All right. Strength check. Strength mm -hmm. check. All right. Advantage because assisting. Oh right. Yes. Okay. Oh, thank you, Nern. Thank you, everybody. Now, everybody. The stealth check. I need to ask. How are you fucking? Are you through? going fast or slow? Uh, slow. Are you going for the slow stealth or the quick open everyone through oh, and shut? I'm going for the slow stealth. That was my intent. Stealth check with disadvantage. So normal because invisible. Yep, normalized. Correct. Yeah, yeah. I'm just at the. I'm just gonna be at the ready, bro. I'll be the last one getting out of here. Uh, Clementine, I think you need me as well. Oh yeah, you're the one opening it. Mhm, mhm, mhm. Oh sweet Jesus. Still a twenty-seven. 
I am definitely our weakest link here. As that. you both well, begin to push, there is a little bit of strain where it feels like some of this has been, it's been caked over, grown over, crudded over. There's a little bit of like before it gives. And every time it like stutters, you like look over your shoulder to see they haven't really noticed. They're yeah. kind of in this life or death combat. Uh, and then you just an event it just sort of <laughs> like slight que sque squeaking and eventually it's up enough that you feel like everyone can get through it's not all the way open but you yeah. can like gesture people to like crouch through oh well, we can't gesture because we're invisible and, well, <laughs> that's true well you can gesture you can gesture but no one will see it except for clementine but once it's like uh, like half open and it just stays there i think you guys can kind of get the memo yeah we'll put you guys in yeah i'll, I'll just be back in a way i'll be like now I need to close it. <laughs> yeah. Are you going to close it stealthily? I'm gonna try. Another self check. Certainly try. Do you want me to I roll as well or you. no? You can uh, assist for assist advantage to, me, to gate it out. So. Okay. I assist. All right. All right. Assist. Oh. He's the one actually doing the closing. Man, I feel like I should be giving some minstrel dice right about Welcome now again. Okay. Yeah. Nineteen. It goes down a lot easier than it went up because it's. Going back to its natural position it was at before, and it just closes. Do you lock it again, or do you leave it as is? Do any of you know Arcane Lock? No, no, I could do the opposite of that. <laughs> Literally, I could do Arcane <laughs> Knock. <laughs> um, uh, Tyrbrin, mm -hmm. with your wolven eyes, I see through your eyes right now, and I see mm -hmm. you spy something to the right. <laughs> oh. Oh, God. There's more in back here, guys. <laughs> Are you kidding me? I'm not. Down the path to the right, I see another one. All right. Um, I'm dying. Should we try and, like, you know, you know this lock this called. back in some fashion? No, who fucking cares? <laughs> I'm dying. Do you know... This area at all. Still danger oh, zone? This is danger zone. Okay, still danger zone. Great. <laughs> danger zone. Da, 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 da. <laughs> I really want to play right now, but I can't do that. Also, I'm You're not very really good me. at making lock. I undo lock. Uh, Clementine, I'll just give you, with your perception, your passive, and your yeah. ability to hear. Huh. To both directions, the right and up, you hear the sound of rushing liquids, rushing water. Okay, I'm here with that. I like that. Mm, rushing water means you're of playing sewer. outside. Yeah. What? What does that mean for Clementine? What about what would that tell her? An outlet. Tell probably. them. Yeah. An outlet. Yeah. An outlet into like outlet. a larger cistern, most likely. Out. An outlet. The freedom. <laughs> okay. Here it is. I told you there's something over to the right. No, yeah. And I feel I'm like this north direction is the safest. I'm going that way. Yeah. Clementine, Clementine, I'm holding onto your foot. Okay. Like a balloon. No just, problem. Nice. Go okay. things that all I can go. So put myself up here. Great. Thank you. There's so many Clementine, just, just for, friend. since you're not going to the right, <laughs> yeah, just for shits and giggles. <laughs> no. no. <laughs> Uh, I'm just terrorized. <laughs> as, you, as you're looking over to the right, uh, this 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 one you see, the smoky cat oh, over here, yeah. is immediately consumed by a massive centipede that crawls out of the pipe over there and just sort of oh. snatches it <laughs> and crawls back in. <laughs> Since so the puppet glad. didn't go that way, I just wanted to show that one off. So glad we didn't go that way. Oh Why faster? I hate everything about this. <laughs> yes, I'm scared. So, uh, the party reaches the exit. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna turn the 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 dynamic lighting off for this map because oh, I would man. like to show sure. the overall layout sure. for a sec. Oh my god, it's huge! Okay. It's so big. Zooming out for yeah. Oh, that's oh. a big centipede. Yeah. <laughs> oh. 
You oh. guys took, like, first you went, like, the quote-unquote right way, because this was, <laughs> yeah. this was yeah. the, the path of least resistance was oh. this way. Oh my god. And then you guys were like, nah, we're gonna double back to the path of pain. Oh my god. And you successfully got through without a fight. I am impressed. Yeah. And I'm not even disappointed. That was so fun. Oh my god. I'm impressed it didn't to It took me a fourth <laughs> level spell can't. slot. Yeah. It, we'll yeah. call that even. Oh my god. So let me well, grab no, all y'all. Oh my god. Very, I'm still gonna be invisible cool until, you know, Thank you. It expires. It's awful and every step was... Thanks. I hate was, it. Was, was, yeah. Yes. Every Great. step awesome. was... What's here? What's here? We like that. Yes. Oh no, there's another oh, one. It's dark. <laughs> the exit. <laughs> well, you hear the sound of rushing water. You feel like the pipe comes to an end. Whatever that means. Yeah, whatever that means. The fife. Alright. Uh, oh, uh, come in time. Look ahead. Okay, my echo locate. Now I'm gonna go right here. Right by. Oh, okay. Okay, there's no smoky cats. No smoky cats. It does seem to outlet the the um the pipe seems to outlet to a cavern where it seems like a lot of the um the sewage has collected and sort of flown down. The smell is quite awful. And it feels like this is best direction to keep going. If that's what because, you decide. Because can't go through pipe. That grade is currently spewing spe sewage. Right. Could okay. you try to go through it? Absolutely. Uh -uh. No, I'm about to die before I go through no. that. Herbrin okay. would rather die. Me go too. back. <laughs> go back to grow. Okay, we we keep moving. There's passage. There's no smoky cats or abominations. I don't have my eyes. Where are mine? Oh, here we go. I, I fly back over. <laughs> okay, good, good. We good, move good, together good. as group. Fian and Clementine, the furious two. Doesn't work. I need oh, is more. That step into words. water. Go. go. Uh, it's yeah. Fine. It's pretty much a pipe and then like a five foot drop into sewage. Okay. Hmm. I don't want to touch that sewage after I saw it and see that, but I know purple's probably bad. You can um, pretty much tell. Can I? Try and like reach my foot around to the edge of this like. You can like yeah, you can skirt around the edge, and you can okay. see that there is some like uh like rubbish and clutter that's built up here, and okay. you can step on that instead. Okay. You actually do see there's a lot of it like floating in the water. You could like technically like jump to one to another if you tried. Okay. Okay, Mister Tearbrain. I think you, you should go next, because I will help Finn. Yeah, I, I appreciate that. Well, yeah. Finn Fearburn can run along walls. Right, that's what yes, I mean. Uh, yes, I can. Yet, so, and yet, where are the best ones they've got? They're in trouble. <laughs> what do you mean? We do a pretty good job. Oh, yeah, yeah, you know, we're Don't just in the trying so? to look for our... Later! <laughs> oh, Chico. Why are you here? I'm, 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 yeah, I'm literally just. Just yeah. Eh. Um. All right. Um. Eyes. What's down that way? Okay. I, I go I here. here. I go, okay. 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 Your flying so, is so nice. It is. It's, okay. She's not I even technically go... flying. She's just echolocating from that location. Um. But I do fly. But okay, also. Okay. Flying. So. All right. So I will say that as I'm definitely back with the group. Northward, go to um, Stone, and then keep going southeastward is more water with lots of barrels and gross sewage. This northward seem better for you, you terrestrial yeah. peoples. Minus Tearbrain, because Tearbrain is super like cool. <laughs> like, how do you That's walk true. on the walls? Uh, you... Many years of concentrating. 
Wow. <laughs> I wonder if I can do like Jibber, that. you hear in your mind? You learned this like last week. Don't lie. <laughs> <laughs> You're like seven years old. I've known Peter can do it for a while. I just knew I'd be able to eventually. <laughs> yes, Grandmaster. <laughs> what was up this way? Remind me because I can't. Nothing. There's oh, nothing. Yes. It's dead <laughs> end. Um, I guess it's uh, just get down to. I mean, there's a boat. This way and that way seem best. Looks like a boat. I guess I can. Uh, can, um... can you like decide where you would like to lay down, sir? Like <laughs> this pacing <laughs> is enough, um, not the. Thing. I can just like jump to that. Yeah. Easily. Yeah, you can make that jump. Okay. Just like <laughs> from the ledge, go Whoa. jump there. And... It makes it look so easy. I don't want to get too far from. Yeah. Clementine. No, yeah. Need to stay within thirty of Clementine. Mm -hmm. I, I I have to be eyes for Mister oh. Finn. Yes, please. Fantastic Finn, mm. furious. Uh, Mike, like... so there's a wall right here, right? There mm -hmm. is. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna be honest with you guys. I I had expect. I think I had the expectation of the previous your, your the core group's experience with stealth. <laughs> yeah. I'm okay if this is a combat free mission. It's really not. This is everybody. very entertaining. <laughs> so yeah, Sherman just gonna run combat. along this wall and then jump down next to Felix. Yeah. Clementine. Yeah. As you're perceiving all this. Yeah. Because it doesn't matter anymore. <laughs> you sense a ripple in the water from over here. <laughs> oh, no. mm. nope. oh boy. Stay out of water, friends. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Never um, to go out. <gasps> I've possible? got it. Friend, fantastic fin. If, if, if. I did it. Fast friend spin or something. It doesn't matter right now. Oh, fast friend spin. It's not oh, that. Oh, <laughs> no. I like that though, too. Can we be. Um, <laughs> what? Fast friends. <laughs> Clementine and Finn. We go on the world. We make the shows, you know? Oh, I'd like that very much. As long oh, as we don't yes. die. <laughs> okay. okay. Um, this right here. This, this ledge, can I? Is is that enough to walk on? Is it? Uh, or do I, have I might to need walk? an athletics check from you because you don't have the monk ability. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Acrobatics, either one. Yeah, okay. I just have the straight strength score to be able to jump far enough. Mm -hmm. Oh my god! All right, so if I start to fall, hopefully I don't start to fall. I can't catch. <laughs> um. Oh, I can't even see you. So yeah, I can't do anything. Um, hmm. Should I use a minstrel dice? Should I use minstrel dice? I mean, you can put it on yourself, and then within the next ten minutes, you can use it. Yeah, that's true. It doesn't supersede the other one for someone else, though, right? They so used it. Give, you, yeah, you can give out as many as you want. Oh. I really don't want to do it on this, but sure i'll bonus action minstrel day okay me don't die today in this and you don't even have like i said you don't even have to use it oh i know mm -hmm. i know um acro acro check sure i think i'll be i think i'll be okay but mm -hmm, that's that yep, that's why you might need it <laughs> yep yep that's that's why i do this yep okay nice a 20 what? will be plenty great <laughs> hey, I use my die. <laughs> oh. <laughs> um. Oh shit. <laughs> uh, strength. You. Uh, so you can naturally jump how far equal to strength? Your strength score, score and feet. <laughs> oh, okay. I can jump twenty. I can just jump to that island. Yeah. I cannot. I can just like. You yeah. have a 20 in strength? I didn't even realize. I do now. Yeah, Holy poopy. Um, so I just kind of back up and... I can't get over ah, there. Jump. No, no, it's okay. We go this Ooh. way. Uh -huh. And then you make small jump oh, over right, to right. that. Yeah, and I'm then you that. keep going. Yeah, I'm uh, going to have to do Okay. Right, quick do question. It. Yeah. How high is the ceiling from where we are right now? About 50 feet. Let's see. 
Yep. We just see a god. We just see a goddamn Tyrburn just like doopy 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 doop. I'm cool. Oh yeah, he can make that no problem. So, so he takes a step back, and then he just runs up on the wall, and then along the ceiling. Correct. Yes. And then jumps down here. <laughs> if anyone was wondering, uh, monks are bullshit. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but I have really, really bad track rec track record with monks. So it I also, it <laughs> also helps to have a wolf with extra speed, so I get 120 yeah. feet when I'm Yeah, dead. you already got so much speed. So right. speedy boy. I'm, <laughs> I'm gonna do, I'm pretty much gonna walk around here, mm -hmm. and I don't know if I have to make some kind of check, um, but I'm going to do it. She said, What's your I'm strength score? Go ahead. Ten. Boop, boop. You can make it. Great. Barely. All right. <laughs> What's in this crate? Nope. Nope. Don't have time for that. Don't and have I'll time just... for that. Here. Jump. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. All right. Oh, is that a dead end? I would like to echo locate. Sure. From where? Right. Right here. In this corner. Oh, he he. We go on seven. He. Little bit. Okay. Oh, solid land. <laughs> Did we really? Yeah. Little. It's okay, but this oh, is. Is that just a big rock? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Are you having fun watching us walk in circles, Mike? Yeah. There's <laughs> <laughs> yeah. a web over there. Uh, you still have pass with the trace going, right? Yeah. Stealth checks. No. Oh, my get God, great. Hey, look, there's a web over with, there. <laughs> with advantage, because are we in peach darkness still? You are. No yeah. one's got a light out, so... Uh, I, I mean, because of my out. heavy armor, mine's still at normal, but I have the yep. pass without a trace, oh, so... Still. Hey. How do you put How do you put pass without a trace on different um, If you go to global skill modifier... Is that good enough? Global skill... I can do it. You might have to add it. In the cog wheel. Oh my god. Yeah, yeah. It's like just... frothing at the mouth. I'll just say I'm adding 10 to it. Yeah. Feel. That's fine. What are we doing, awesome. stealth? Yeah. Tierbin, yeah. you, Tierbin, you did perception. You did um, perception, Tierbin. Goddamn it, 34. 34. Jesus. Thank you. That's really good. Tierbin. This is a stealthier <laughs> fucking perception. group. We are so stealthy. Yeah, we're stealthier than the average. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> hey, good. No spider. Big spider. <laughs> you. Uh. The spider. <laughs> oh my god. Can I get everyone to give me perceptions real yeah, quick? Yeah, cool. Right. Love it. I'll do that. Normal. 13. Uh, just 18. Mine's garbage. Oh, man. Oh, I think you see shit moving. Karen will listen. Okay, <laughs> Uh, not twenty. Oh my God. <laughs> Michael, you're all enjoying so this uh, combat-free D&D uh, session. Yeah. Dude, uh, I have heart. Felix, <laughs> Felix slightly sees it. <laughs> Tearburn definitely hears it. The ceiling has what looks like like this slick black surface to it that is three cloakers sleeping oh, oh. 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 Just get, let's get a close-up of those babies oh mm. cloakers are fun mm. Mm, delicious mm. they don't sense the party though so <laughs> continue as you <laughs> are <laughs> Are we just gonna go um, back home? Since y'all took the cloaker detour anyways. <laughs> All right. Can, can I, does it feel like this web goes further through? Uh, no, no. This okay. this seems to be right. some viscous sewer slime on the wall that's okay. uh, congealed. Is there something down I would like to. Um, yeah, echo. exactly where you came from. Oh. Yeah. Okay, uh, so can we can. I, can this I literally was this? Cloaker Alley. Oh my yeah. god. No. So you guys. No. no. I just okay. want to get out of here. Can I put myself here? Again. 
at the Where? bottom. At the bottom. Oh, yeah, absolutely. The... Go for it. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna move myself. Sure. Go for it. Sorry. We can just put ourselves down here. Well, that's or... that's oh, her sorry, echo sorry, location. Sorry. Sorry. Their echo location. Okay. Um, it does right. look like this area kind of ends in like a a. Uh, go in. Get to climb up an some outlet. rocks. Outlet. And you just see way. there are like these like recessed holes in the walls that the, the sewage is kind of pouring into like looks like it probably goes deeper into the under elk uh -huh. um north though you do see the rocks who kind of ascend to like a little okay so natural that feels staircase like of sorts. the right way to go <laughs> probably yeah okay i will go back to the group we have moved oh no We're okay over i here. found you i found you all okay <laughs> yeah, hello. all right um are we going this might just be one long one long exploration like, and then a boss like... fight. Hell, you might enjoy avoid the boss fight. I don't know how, but you could find <laughs> <laughs> You just like out of like the shadows, a hand reaches out, grabs cloak, and pulls him away, and it's just like a middle finger to the <laughs> boss. And it's like <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, okay, we're going now. Back, go go to go side, the, the the down down direction. Yeah. yeah. And um, then we go go over. I can't quite jump that far. Are these rocks that we can those get. Those are rocks. Onto? Yeah, you can step okay. on those. Okay, I wasn't you sure. I could jump down. onto that then. <laughs> yep. And then from there, I could jump down to here. Yep. Oh, okay. okay. There's a lot of hook, 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 hook. Hip, All right. Hip, what other hip, check? Hip, I need another check, Donna. I feel like you can do it. Oh, whoa, 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 what's yours? Yeah, you can do that. You can jump, jump to there, can that. and then you can Great. jump to there, and then you can jump to there. Yeah. And you can do it automatically. I'm, do I'm doing it. <laughs> oh Look at you. Adventuring. Oh, I'm never doing this <laughs> And again. Tierburn's just like, wall, 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 wall. <laughs> yeah, literally just Tierburn, walks just, around Tierburn, sideways. Just, like, select, copy, paste at the location, basically. It's, he's, he's, <laughs> just, he's just there. Yeah. So, oh my gosh. <laughs> so this is gonna be. Okay, this room looks a little more. One. All right. What about this rubble grossness and? Uh, it is looks like rubble standable? grossness. It looks like it might hold weight. Mm. Oh. Doing one time. Okay, one you could go maybe. like, buy like barrel, dude. Do -do -do. Barrel. The barrels in do -do. the water, or there and there and there, something like that. Yeah. <laughs> like that. <laughs> oh, good to me. All right. I'm um, just gonna. Okay. I guess I'll. <gasps> okay. Okay. I didn't fall through the barrel. Okay. <laughs> you did not. Uh. Then. Jump to that. I will need oh, acrobatics checks at this point, though, as you are My on God. a floating barrel. Yeah, that is I'm so done with this. That is fair. Um, what is, uh, you said I, acrobatics? I you acrobatics. Is... It can't be athletics? Uh, no, this is specifically the act of jumping, I mm. would say, is more acrobatic. Okay, yep. Yeah, but I suppose... No, if you had a running start, it's the athletics. From this, oh from God. balancing on a floating barrel to that's jumping fair. 20 feet, that's, that's acrobatic. All right. Water, here I come. Seven. Seven. I can't see you, Noosh. so I shouldn't have done anything. Great. Mm. How much decay do I take? <laughs> you are submerged. No shit. That is four points of decay. And one moment, please. Scree! <laughs> <laughs> uh, 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 uh. Yeah. And you're the one who has concentration up, right? Yeah, I haven't, taken, I haven't taken damage yet. 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 Emphasis on the air. Oh no! 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 no. So, uh, <laughs> I need to do an attack roll. Okay. Oh no. Mm -mm -mm. Let's you are so invisible, though, so they probably. It has disadvantage? Advantage, question mark. Unless it it Unless do it do. <laughs> there oh, may no. not be battle, depending. If it misses. 
What's the fuck? The fuck is your AC? Twenty-three. <laughs> God damn it, Medea's. Felix, you <laughs> fall in. Like, ah, it's kind of like singeing a little bit. Like shit, shit, shit. And you're like, I gotta get out of this. The moment you go to move, a tentacle whips out of the water right in front of you, and then sort of like recedes back into the sewage in front of you. Nope. Mm-mm. 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 I, I gotta swim to the shore. Yeah. Really? Which so... way are you going? Felix. Okay. Just uh, I guess get up onto this because we're get under that. We're trying to head. We're trying to head like this way. Is what you yeah. said, right? That's correct. Um. Yeah. I'll get up it's... onto that. Okay. Let's it's back. There's something in the water. Yeah, I saw. I'm not, yeah. I'm invisible. I'm not blind. <laughs> um. <laughs> Are Felix. you okay? Uh huh. Did I actually crawl on its back? <laughs> uh, Felix. In your mind, you begin to hear, "Help! Help! I'm trapped under the rubble. Help! Please! I'm suffocating." Oh no! What kind of save. No save. No save. In my head, though. In your head, you hear that. In your head. Zombie! <laughs> I, I, I don't trust things talking in my head. Sure. I've been around a... Um, uh, uh, what Abilet. Was? Abilet. Abilet. Thank you. Yeah. I mean, I could do that, too. Uh, <laughs> yeah, you just I'm hear not, that sound, and then there's nothing for a bit. Then you hear, Please! Please, I have family. Please. I'm just going to keep moving. Okay. Um, I guess the other, everybody else should probably take their turns. I've been doing some stuff. What is everyone else doing as Felix is... Um, I, I heard mean, him sploosh. Yeah, and then I saw a sploosh. tentacle thing You guys are also unable to see each other, except for Clementine. So. And, and that's why I was like, Felix, are you okay? <laughs> yeah, I'm fine. <laughs> Great. Did I see the sploosh and where he sploosh? You saw the sploosh, absolutely. And then okay. you all did see the <laughs> tentacle lash out, but then <laughs> re- oh retracted God. in. Uh-huh. Um. Hmm. Mike. Yeah, that's what Jerry. you're doing? Yeah, oh Jerry can do it just by going to the ceiling. Oh my God. <laughs> He's got okay. 120 feet. <laughs> yep. Literally, <laughs> Tyrion pops and reappears. <laughs> all right. Uh, against my better judgment. Can can I assist um Finn by like kind of flying next to them and like nudging them if they start to fall the wrong sure. direction? Yeah, to give them I see advantage? what you're saying. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, you're flying, so you could like grab on with your feet almost. And I am weak as shit. So uh, okay, no. <laughs> I see. I mean, it's not like I'm wearing <laughs> heavy armor. Scraggly. Yeah. Very live and small. Live. Very small. All right, Flynn, Finn, Finn, Finn. Finn, 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 Finn. Sorry. Uh, do, uh, what is it? Athletics or acrobatics? Uh, you. Uh, um, what are you attempting to do? What, so what we're. For? Okay, so I'm gonna. This is solid, right? This right yep. here is solid. Yep. So I'm going to hop to there. Okay. Then. The, this quite. barrel. This barrel. This barrel? Yeah. That's the one Felix did. <laughs> it is the one Felix did. It would be did. acrobatics from there to where Felix is. Mm-hmm. To get to there. Um, I'm going to start stepping on this to see mm-hmm. how mushy it is. Uh, you, you, like, you, yeah, you like put like, one I'm foot on the test. I'm testing it, the weight. It feels like it'll hold. You feel like you're pretty comfortable that this is just a pile of crap. That'll hold. I guess I'm gonna try to go. Um, oh boy, I play like crap. My favorite. Oh, that's the thing, though. I'd have to jump that. Uh, that is a pit into the under elk. Oh, that is, great! It is like literally like a small cave opening, as it's all like uh draining out. Mm. Mm. A lot okay. of the sewage goes into the under elk. So I'm gonna go here, then there. Mm-hmm. there that barrel. Over so there. Here. Um. 
Yeah, I'm. I'm basically gonna try so to go start this moving way. yourself. Then. Okay, start do start doing yeah. the things. Yep. Do okay, one of them. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. So that. Yep. Okay. Then to that and barrel. That barrel. Dex. Okay. Something. Nope. From right. here, I need an acrobatics check to jump onto the next part. Okay. Boy. With advantage. But I help. <laughs> oh, advantage. Right. Right. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, my best friend. <laughs> Mm -hmm. 22 absolutely mm -hmm. i need a stealth check real quick mm -hmm. both of us no okay. only the one standing on the pile okay oh it's plus seven. plus seven plus ten plus ten plus ten that means they'll have disadvantage on the attack <laughs> ten will not hit Yay! a tentacle emerges oh. from the pile you're standing on <laughs> at the air next to you it's sort of turns i'd rather be at the brothel <laughs> <laughs> oh that was a clippable moment yeah. <laughs> oh shit okay. all right um i guess i'm gonna oh god oh god oh god okay um felix what are you doing next uh jump over to this pile i mean i okay. could go here you can just do that okay yeah, i'm just gonna I'm... yeah i okay. don't trust i don't trust where he went because i saw a sploosh uh, uh, stealth check. Uh, nor oh, am I. I can I can be there. Okay, that's why I was, I was like, am I within? Even there, you would have been within okay, thirty. Okay. okay. Um. You said twenty three is your AC. I said twenty three is my AC. Yes. A tentacle yeah, grazes your cheek, but does not grab you, as I 22 oh. does not hit. Oh Just my god. And you see now, so close, the tentacle has these large, like, pronged hooks mm -hmm. and, like, suction cups, mm -hmm. as it then I returns just, in. At this point, if that happens again... Felix, I think you realize you're standing on something. Oh... Like you can kind of look down, you see it like it retracts into like the 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 crap, and you see a little stalk emerge with a little eye. A stalk that looks around, but you're all invisible. This thing's just like Ew. like a periscope almost. Then it just goes back in. We can see this though, right? Oh uh, yeah, you guys probably look at Felix. You see that little thing emerge. Uh, Finn, I think you also realize mm. you're probably standing on one, too. <laughs> oh my god. Alright, I'm going to... She's there. Um... I can't jump. I can't jump that. I can't jump that. No, you can't. Nope. I literally, I have you... to go around. Yeah, so you can... I'm going to... You can get to that barrel. Yeah, I'm just, I'm just gonna be like, I'm going to the barrel that's closest to the wall over yep. on the other side. Oh. Some, drop, somebody dropped me out. Somebody Hello. dropped me out. Yeah. Oh, she. Hello. My Clementine, I need you. Everything's there, good, Clementine? You're not lighting up as if you're uh, talking in Discord. Mm -hmm. Am I back? Oh, you're, you're back. Oh, you Hello. Yep, I, I can Hello. hear you. Right. Medea's here to save the day. Okay. Let's just kill these things. <laughs> so, <laughs> no, Medea's not here. Finn. <laughs> Shit. Where are you going, right. Finn? Um, I'm going this direction because I can't go anywhere else. So I'm going to just I'm just going to go that way. I don't, okay. I don't care if I see uh, Clementine or I can't see her, but I don't I don't sure. care if, if you can I'm, hop I, between these little I'm things. I'm hopping. I'm hopping. And I'm you hopping can hop quick. across that. Yep. I'm hopping quick. Now, and you can get the you thing can get to there. I am on is one. You know that right oh now. Oh my god! As you yeah, land, need yep. a self check, Finn. Yep. Well, I couldn't go any other way. I know. Self check. Yep. Ah oh, shit. Yeah, I'm just gonna do it. Do it. Okay. Yeah. Disadvantage. Oh, well, it's it's. You have any it's... idea how many like seventeens and up I've rolled, and how many fives and lower I've rolled? These stealth checks. Mm, I didn't. Mm, I didn't check to see if anyone had passed. 
<laughs> don't worry. We're having fun. Finn, right now. Uh, Finn, um, Finn, you, Finn, you uh, land, and yeah. two tentacles, oh my one God. on either side of you, emerge, and kind of like wave the air. Okay, let's go. And you hear like a, <laughs> and then it <laughs> returns. As whatever you're standing on is very frustrated that things keep thumping into it and it can't find them. I, I'm getting um, the furthest away from the fucking water as I possibly can. I might bump. Okay, I'm um, gonna get up onto like these good. roots. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. And then Same. I want to I want to grab Finn and try and throw assist and throw him over what? onto the land. Oh my god. Okay. Oh my god. <laughs> give uh Finn give me a, so so you're saying you're assisting Felix. What? Oh, I want I want to assisting? I I want to throw them over there. I want to take oh, the main okay. action of <laughs> Give me a strength I mean... check. Okay. Finn is probably pretty light. I'm pretty light, yeah. He has glamoured, studded leather. Yeah, <laughs> as... not much with, like, a <laughs> mandolin. Or... A mandolin mm. that only weighs seven pounds. <laughs> Thirteen strength check? Are you flaring at all, or...? Mm -hmm. Nope. <laughs> Finn, I need an Ooh. acrobatics oh. check to offset oh. the poor stealth. <laughs> Mr. Yeah. Strength, poor strength. Yeah. Acro? Acro. Yay. Middling. <laughs> Finn lands in the water. Nope, nope, nope. nope, nope, nope Takes nope, four nope. points of decay. Okay. I'm, I'm getting out of I'm swimming as fast as and I can. And I am need to make attack. Yes. You said four decay? Four decay. Alright. <sighs> Oh boy. You hit the bard, do you do you hit the bard? My AC is suck. <laughs> you hit the A bard. tentacle emerges out of the pile that Felix is standing on. <laughs> grazes your cheek. Oh and my sort god! Of flicks in the air. I, and I then returns. I don't like it. Um oh. Felix, your mound shifts as something moves and you can maintain your balance as an otiug. Oh. All right. I'm going to close up a bad boy. <gasps> those things. I did not sign up for this. Begins to lumber out. Nope. Nope. And nope, seems nope. to like dive into the water and swim away. More or less. Mm -hmm. And you mm -hmm. see another one sort of emerges over here. Shit. Like, like kind of like looks around, sees the other one, jumps in, and also seems to swim away. And then just jump to the shore. <clears throat> wow, I'm swimming to the fucking yeah. shore. Oh, by the way, you get there. You get there. Uh, ow, ow, sorry. Ow, ow. <sighs> this decay shit sucks. Um. Here, let's take a moment, reprieve. Um, where uh, are- ah, uh, here you are. Uh, I'll kind of just grab your arm, and I can use the PPE while we're invisible, right? Yeah, of course. Okay. Kind of spell. I'll get rid of four- you have four points of decay? Uh, I have seven. Okay. I'll get, use up seven, cure yourself. Uh, I can- oh, what, whatever you're doing, it feels really I can nice. use it on myself, right? Yeah. How much did you do? Honey? All of it. All seven. Oh, oh, okay. Um, does anybody else have decay? You have magic hands, no. sir. It's, I like you. Uh, it's my future wife's. Let's go. Oh. I mean, I wasn't coming on to you that strong, yeah. but... Fiance. Future wife. <laughs> I don't know. She might not be for long. <laughs> Sorry, right, taken. Let's go. <laughs> Cannot convince me otherwise. <laughs> um, okay, uh, as you <sighs> step up, there seems like this, like, it looks like a natural crack that's almost formed in this wall. Oh. Like, this wasn't there before and is now, mm. like, this somewhat narrow passage. Um, how far would you peek ahead? As far as I can. Okay, you can hear as well, because it's echolocation, so... Aww. Come in time. Oh. As you, your perception kicks in that far in, oh, you hear the one standing up on the stairs go, 
How is it progressing above ground? How many have detonated successfully? You hear the one standing on the, the bottom, uh, which you see is wearing the same armor as the, the ones that were up above. Uh, I believe uh, nine of the twelve have detonated already. City's in a panic. Uh, how's the big one looking? You leave that to me and the Exarch. We'll take care of it. By the end of the day, Kytark will have its final fall. Now go about your business and make sure they don't suspect anything in the other districts. They salute, and this one heads into this tunnel and vanishes. And this other one uh, seems to... You see, he kind of like... <sighs> can't wait to kill them all when we're done. <laughs> and just sort of walks in and closes a door. Back to the group! Oh, what you I see what's going on. Okay, so there are two people talking. One of them was wearing the same armor that the 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 really boring bishop guy's armor friend he had on, the, the church guard people, and they were talking about how what nine out of the twelve. The, I don't know what the other one looked like. Uh, how tall there, was he? I mean, I don't think I, I don't know. Was he human elven? Size. Was he human or elk ears? Size. Elk, I mean, well, I don't, I don't really see exactly like with you can see, eyes you can and see stuff. Outlines, right? I see like outlines and things, you know. So was it a man? Person sounded masculine. Okay. Okay, and then they said big one need to explode too, and Kytark will have it. I don't remember all the words he said, <laughs> and then something about Exarch. I don't know what that word Sorry. means, but it's a stupid name. Ominous. <laughs> but then the guard, like one, went into a tunnel off the right, and then the one saying, "God, but will have you today," um, went into a room to the left. Great, great. Things that are intelligent. We can use this. <laughs> we can do things with this. Let's go after the um, <clears throat> not guard seeming one, I suppose. Okay. Let's go. Okay. On the word. I hope these. I hope you guys are still live. invisible because yep. you're bullshit. Yep. I hope. I hope. Because <laughs> we have an hour are, uh... of invisible. Yep. yep. And then we one hour of pass without trace. Yeah. This is a classic <sighs> case of the DM didn't fully prepare for the capabilities <laughs> of this party, <laughs> but it turned out fine because this has been great. <laughs> it's been fun. Yeah. As you guys he step out into this area, yet. it definitely looks <laughs> like the passage you just came mm -hmm. from was once just like a wall that in probably the attack on Kytarks ruptured open this entrance into what looks like a facility, a mining base, something. There's there's a large staircase on the left, and it looks like minecart that goes into the right. What are these with plants? Large chitin crystals. They're not oh, plants. <laughs> They're not plants. Okay, get no. your head out, of, head out of it, Mira. <laughs> it ain't no damn plant. These are the uh, typical green kite oh, crystals. Oh, yes, the things that I could use this pickaxe on. <laughs> oh, well. Oh, well. <laughs> if only I had that pickaxe. Oh, wait. Is there a smaller shard of it by chance? Um, there's probably some small shards in it. You can take one. I'm gonna take a few. I, I would also like I'm to take one. I'm taking two or one. three. <laughs> okay. okay, I'll just take two. A fistful two. of... of Chitin crystal. Hold on. I, I take small amount. Chitin. My... I carry as as much as. Mm -hmm. I want to make a comparison. Sure. Crystal. Crystal. Wait, what Are was it? they? Crystal. Green. This might be a stretch. Are they using chitin like crystal like this as the crystal catalyst for the mercurial light? Um, are you asking the DM, or do you like to make a check? I'd like to make an investigation check or something. Sure, to I would see say if I can... an investigation check. But I feel did... like, yeah, it feels like a possibility. Twenty. Yes, yeah, twenty. Um, Felix doesn't know as much about mercurialite no. as the main party does because of like Maya's experiments and yeah. everything, but. 
Felix mm -hmm. does understand that the way chitin ore works is the color changes with the level of aura infusion. Right. Green is the base. You put more into it, it turns into blue, true kite. Put more into it, it turns into purple, aura kite. Apparently, eventually, if you go for eons, it turns into invilakite, which is prismatic. I think Felix could deduce if he didn't already learn this. I don't remember if Felix learned this. I know the rest of the group has, but I don't know if Felix has. Mercurialite is the opposite. When you infuse it with decay, it turns into a dark black violet. Right. Mercurialite. <laughs> there is no reason your hypothesis could not be right. Okay. They, this is a hefty supply of... Ki Th this mine underneath Kytark seems to be uh, the perfect place to supply yourself with catalysts for Mercurialite. Okay. Mike, is it as bad smelling over here? No, it's actually quite fine. All right, Jameron's going to do a sniff check here and see if he picks yeah. up any scents. Okay. What do you smell, boy? <laughs> what does your elven nose smell? 22. 22? Uh, you're trying to pick up what? Any scents he recognizes. Other than, obviously, his friends. You know... There is one smell. It's a bit faint at this point. You detect a smell that a smelly smell, the kind of smell that smells smelly. <laughs> that Tierbrin hasn't smelled in quite a while. It smells like the queen's dinner a little bit. The feast you had with the queen. There's like a smell that you recognize from that meeting. What? Hmm. You're saying good. Felix. Yes. I. I'm smelling something from the Queen's dinner. It's old. Roast beef. So someone's eating food. Great, we can catch them mid meal. No, no, you don't understand. It's exactly like from the dinner, like someone that was there. Mm. Oh, not the food. Yeah. Yeah, you'd be able to tell pretty quickly if it was the food. Where's my notes? Where's my notes? Where's my notes? Where's my notes? We're in the beginning of your notes. Um, I would like to just do a perception around to make sure that that person that went through that tunnel isn't on their way back. Sure. Give me a perception check. Okie dokie. Normal. The, the perception. It's a pretty low. Just a 17. Okay. Uh, you don't feel like there's anything coming back. If anything, they're probably continuing on ahead. Okay. Like, does the scent smell like it was coming from this direction? It's kind of just in the general area, to be entirely mm. honest. Mm. Um, mm. Is that an oh. opening? Oh, sorry. Yeah, that's the door that that one guy went in there that was saying, oh... Kai Dark will have you day XR 9 out of 12, big one, no one suspect. <laughs> in that order specifically. Well, it sounds like someone we need to stop. Okay. Alright. Well. I mean, what, what do we want to do? It, don't, it doesn't matter to me. <laughs> Felix, a fearless leader. See, at the yes. top of the staircase, there is a, like, uh, platform and then a door. Did anyone go I'm through I'm looking that? back through my memories. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I think we should knock on the door and say, mm. Full delivery! No, no. That's a terrible idea. Oh, wow, that's pretty harsh. I, mean, you can... I love this oh, so much. Oh, okay, <laughs> fine. I, I just think know. in a certain situation, if we were above ground, sure, but we're yeah. down here. They wouldn't yeah. believe a delivery man I have a, a, a question. Um, mm -hmm. Does the doorway look like it's sealed completely to bottom, or can a small mouse go through the bottom? Uh, I think a mouse could potentially get through the bottom. Okay, guys, I can do a cool thing. Okay. I can ask Otto here to go through door. Otto. 
and okay. his I name think keeps two? changing. <laughs> I've heard like seven names tonight. I love it. Oh, well, I keep thinking I'm going crazy. I'm like, wait, Bob, Otto, wait, wait, what? No. They're all minion names. Oh, from oh, the oh damn it. Oh my god. Oh, god. I don't believe that. This is. I'm like, you ask Otto. If he would be willing to go under and see what's on the other side. He understands you? Well, yeah, I have this, and then I also, I can, well, I'm explaining what v sense can do. But then I can also um, speak with animals, and, and I just talk. Uh, yeah. Oh, so, I mean, I'm familiar with that one. I can do these things if, if party wants, otherwise... I don't see the problem, but as I long mean, as this isn't an arcane lock or something that would kill your said friend uh, when it goes through it, because that does I mean, happen. That's his thing? That is thing. Oh, Apple. I don't know. I want to risk Apple then. I mean, we could just try and go oh, in. No, why don't we just knock the door open? like, Or, I could just like, or open it quietly. Oh, we are all quiet. invisible. So. You are? <laughs> That's true. Yes. Yeah. Um, That's why oh. I've been needing your help this If you look time. with your eyes oh. and not your ears. Um, I just thought that you wanted to be close to claiming time. <laughs> but that, that's understandable. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> I, can, I can go try pick lock if lock door. Alright. What? Well, hold on a moment. Let me... Okay, I wait. And Tyrion will listen at the door. Oh. Sure, give me a perception check. Tearbrin is so Tear cool. Brin. So That's cool. why I heard. Tearbrin. What does Tearbrin hear? 19. You hear conversation, but it's muffled. And it's muffled in a way as if there was maybe another door after this one between you and the conversation. Oh my god, so many doors. You will step back in early to the party. Mm hmm, mm hmm. Oh, so right. many doors. Are we just opening it then? Right. Is this one locked, Clementine? I will go inspect for. I will try to push the door open. <laughs> or pull. Uh, Don't... you tempt the door? Yes. What the what the bad thing mm. happened? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Mm. <gasps> oh, <gasps> horrible! Wow, guys. Despicable! So, <laughs> so good at opening doors. With this yes. door open, you all can hear a little bit more of like a muffled conversation from the other side of the door, mm. at the other end of the hall. I have to ask, mm -hmm. do I recognize any of the voices? It's, you'd have to get closer. It's very muffled. It's just okay. like a... I'll move in. I'm bringing my mandolin back up. Roll deck save! No. <laughs> You're good. Okay. Um... Do we wait, wait before we go any further? Yes. Do we want? Do we? Are we try door first mm -hmm. and, and just blast in? What is plan? We want to be as stealthy as possible because uh, we can't. Well, use I was gonna try listening in the door as I am mm -hmm. to your attacks. You're very good at listening, um, Pierre Brain. Hold on. Um, do you do you listen to people who have problems? Yes. Okay, later after this, I'd like to talk to you. This has been a very traumatic day. <laughs> I love this group so much. <laughs> uh, gladly. Well, me and you are the bestest. I <laughs> think Clementine get new friend. Clementine <laughs> get person or Wolfie who listen. <laughs> Clementine get new fearless leader. <laughs> Clementine have family. Oh. Oh. Now I have to kill Clementine. Oh my god. <laughs> You've death flagged yourself no, so many no. times in that one <laughs> sentence, Clementine. Every writer in the universe is screaming, uh. Kill them! <laughs> <laughs> You're like, you've just, oh, you've just sealed your fate. Right, you have to kill us. <laughs> Yeah. I mean, first I have to engage a battle with you to do that. Yeah, yeah and that hasn't happened. Right, I'm just gonna this, uh... move up because 
Ah, uh, boy Felix is, wants to know who this is in here and sure. if he recognizes the voice. Uh, uh, Music stopped. Okay. Everything's horrible. Mm -hmm. Yep, yep. That's what happens. Clementine. As you guys approach the door, the oh boy. <laughs> conversation becomes more obvious. Felix, you do immediately recognize one of the voices, though it is not probably who you were expecting. Okay. okay. You hear the voice of someone you haven't seen in a long time. You met him once at the mm -hmm. Queen's dinner. Ooh, the voice oh. of Cardinal Black Dinar. Yes! Black the Dragonborn. Dragonborn! I was... Uh... You hear it says, How much longer until those are ready? I don't have all day here chaos up on the streets just a bit longer you can't rush perfection like this do i recognize this will have her day kytark will fall the other voice you've never heard okay sorry i know i know it's just we've risked too much to let this day after the last fall failed well that one wasn't our doing we had no way to influence it this one we are orchestrating and we are controlling there's not much more left to be done black you can go if you'd like after i deliver this to the exarch all will be over fine just promise me you'll do the job right this time what you're talking about the explosion at the cathedral yeah, I heard a few of them got away. No big deal. The majority was dead. I took care of that, um, Archbishop you were so upset with. Doesn't that please you? Archbishop Black. <gasps> we still have to take care of Ceres. She's ahead of me by one rank. Oh, don't worry. She's at the castle which has been evacuated of all important folk that we care about, and only those who are remaining will feel the full force of the Sable Throne. We'll unleash it on the Invilus, uh, the RK Invilus, and uh, then you'll have everything you've ever wanted. And so will we. A world fit for Invilus. Fine. Report to me when this is all over. I'll be in the safe house. I'll As you wish. <laughs> At this point, because I'm afraid of one of them teleporting away. Sure. I'm just, I'm busting in the room. No, oh, fuck. Alright, here we go. As, As I... the door breaks down, your mm. opens up. The two individuals, one who was turning, who was, who was, his back was to you as he was about to uh, ascend some stairs, Cardinal Black swings around what and you see this one uh who you don't recognize in um mm -hmm. scholarly almost clerical robes emblazoned with the sigil of the order of invilis oh yeah uh, mm. oh i'm invisible shit yeah uh they are looking right at you oh mm -hmm. i see I'm behind this. Do they see me? Uh, they don't see to see you. Hey. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna need. <laughs> well, Felix, what are you doing first of all? So, do they both look right at me, or just the one? Cardinal Black seems to be looking at the door. This guy's looking at you. You see, the cardinal goes, "What is it?" What happened? An invisible assailant. Yes. Who are you? An invisible assailant. Ah, shit. Wait, come here. He's going you, to step up here. You ate at the Queen's dinner, and you... Where do I move in? You well, can move in if you'd like. don't quite know who the hell you are. I'm crawling on the ceiling. Sure. Oh my god. Here and, I'll move over to and all them. of this, oh. so this is your is fully doing. Visible. I know. <laughs> I'm not going in, but I am gonna cast a support orbit. Sure. Um, 
Um, on Felix. Uh, you cast it on yourself. You. It's an aura, Becky. Yeah, it's a it's an aura. Oh, it is an aura. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Around me and my allies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The cardinal uh still can't see <laughs> you. I was like, good voice. Sounds familiar. You said the queen's dinner. That was months ago. It was quite some time ago. You sat in her area, ate her food, and you worked to overthrow her. Uh, you see the one uh, between the two of you looks back to the cardinal and is like, Cardinal, please, you may take your leave. I can handle these interlopers. No. And give my best to the missus. He's not leaving. <sighs> See, okay, okay. Uh, this guy look, rolls his sleeves up. Very well. I was told I wasn't supposed to be dirtying my hands in this, but I see I have no choice. You're right. And if I can, I would like to cast a spell. Mm. I don't know if you he's want initiative a, he, first. He's casting a spell too, so I'm going to have an initiative to see which goes <laughs> off. All right. Initiative. Oh, question. So uh -huh. since we're in this aura... That means we get to add this so, more proficiency bonus to our initiative because it's a skill check or ability. Oh, not yes. always. Uh, skill check, attack roll, or saving throw. Plus not an ability check. five. Oh, is... not ability check. Okay. Nope. Or sorry, don't plus matter. four no is mind. proficiency, right? But yeah, it doesn't it does, matter for it doesn't matter anyway. it's not an um, Can you give Becky a 20 foot aura? At her level, it's 20 feet. Yes, yes, yes. it is 20. Just so we can see yeah. the range. <sighs> Oh, are we doing are we doing initiative already? Oh, yeah. he said initiative, absolutely. Yeah. Oh, yeah, okay. I'm cool with that. Oh, and I get to choose who's in this. It's uh, everyone within. Ally. Well, allies. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I'm just adding some uh, global modifiers that I can check real quick. Oh, oh nice. he rolled good. Oh, so we just add a plus four to him. Yeah, it's just a plus four. Support. Yes, it's better. Yeah. It is yeah. dope. I am oh, support. Yes. <laughs> and very squishy. Plus, <laughs> plus four. Do we get plus four to our new shoes? No, no, it doesn't. No. Yeah, no. I, I didn't read it all the ways. Uh, attack. Uh, so it's plus five to any plus skill Plus four. Check, it's roll. proficiency, oh, which is four. Sorry, four. Skill All check, right. attack roll, or uh, saving throw. Right, right, right. My um, initiative. Killing the one go, I think. Yeah. Four. Oh shit! Don't click my token. God damn it. Yeah. What was it? I mean, they're the same thing. Seventeen. Okay. Seven, I can give you 17, that. Seventeen point one four. Yeah. Hey, it's same as me. We need that a roll. That is strange. Uh. Who has the higher decks? Isn't that yeah. the higher decks? I guess it would be the same, so... Uh, each of you roll a d20. Sure. Right. That's kind of funny. Like we're destined... 17. To no? Yeah, yeah, okay. Yep. Felix. yeah that, that, makes, right. that makes sense. Uh, as soon as the sleeves are pulled up, feel, uh, combat begins, and this guy begins weaving a spell very quickly, and a wall of force yeah. segments behind him. Mm. Uh, Cutting off the cardinal from you guys. Tucker. Spells can Just still be cast you. through them, correct? Yes. Okay. Just can't physically go through. Right. Nothing can physically pass the wall. All right. <laughs> kind of like looks at you okay. and like smirks a little bit. And so <laughs> I you're, break right. Concentration. you're right. I'm gonna drop my concentration, oh, and on the cardinal, I'm gonna yeah. cast dominate person. Yeah, do it. Cardinal Black. Okay, so we okay. all become visible. Oh god, that's a lot of yeah, text. I believe it is a wisdom. Wisdom. Yeah, it's wisdom DC 17. Yeah. I mean, hey. He will flare for advantage. Yeah, obviously. I will uh, use my thing to make it not advantage. So the first one of 19. Ah, okay. Didn't matter. Okay. What thing, what thing to make My... Uh, Practical miracle. Uh, practical miracle. I was just trying uh, to say it really quick before the roll came out, so now, it got Now, is Practical said. Miracle a spell? No. no. Oh, okay. okay, okay. 
All right. Um, um, well, hmm. that is my turn. My concentration drops. Well, actually, no. It I, drops. The other, it's failed. So does it? No, it, it because you're, you're casting another okay. one. All right. Yeah. Yep. So that drops. Everybody's invisibility drops. Yep. 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 I'm behind this thing. <laughs> Yay! How's the candy return, Felix? 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. And it will have a bonus action yet. Um, sure. I will bonus action claw. Okay. Uh, where is my it's been a while. Okay, there it is. Bonus action claw. Yeah, that'll hit. 27 to hit. Yeah, so, absolutely. 11 yeah. points of damage and then 6 electric. <sighs> yeah, he takes that. It goes right across his, like, mage robes that just seem to rip <laughs> at the strike. There's very little defense on this guy. He wasn't yeah. going into this prepared for a fight. Mm -mm, mm -mm. No, he wasn't. That's his downfall. Concentration check. Oh, yeah. Yes. So. So, uh, half on. damage. It's so ten. it's going to be 10. Yeah. 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 Oh! He, fails. he is going to flare oh. to try that again. That's three points. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. Just that was close. It. You see, like he like stutters back, and he's like trying to focus. And you see the wall flicker, and he like shakes his head, smacks himself. The aura flares, and it reforms. He's like, "Oh, close one." Um, all right. Yeah, that's all turn? my that's all my actions. Yeah. Finn. Oh, it's my turn. Shit. Okay. Um. Mm. I also wouldn't have had that plus four because I'm out of the aura. Still. Yeah, you wouldn't. Yeah. yeah. Um. All right. Uh, Megan, can you do ten thirty tonight? Mm -hmm. Okay. Cool. Wrap um, up this battle for that sure. That is. That is. Oh God. One battle tonight. <laughs> uh, that's a range. Well, if there was other battles, this definitely would have been multi-session. All right. Well. Um, yeah. I think it probably still will be. By Did my I guess. see that that was a wall? Two, of course. Did I see that? You can see through it. It's, it's an invisible wall. It's just—it looks like a plate, pane of glass. You can kind of see the reflection off of it. Mm -hmm. Nothing can physically pass it, but spells can. Oh, okay. Okay. Good. Um, what can I do? Can you make a wall of force and trap it? No. Uh, <laughs> that was at funny. Levels. That's all. Her yeah. Oh, that's right. You're half caster. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, I'm gonna try. Well, is that sixty feet? Is that six? Am I sixty feet from him? I have not. No. You have to move up. up. Move into the room. Yeah, I have to move into the room. Fearless oh, Finn. Get oh meet. yes. Thank you so much, <gasps> Fearless Finn. I figured it I have out! I some speed, so I think I can get, get to Get within here. 20 of me, please. Oh, yeah, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> that absolutely. aura is nice. All right, can I go under the table? Yeah, yeah. And then you I'm going to, like... Duck, go prone <laughs> under the table. <laughs> um, <laughs> okay. Um, wait. Isn't it whisper? Specifically, okay. intentional. Yeah. All right. Um. Yeah. I'm just gonna cast, and I'm gonna. Cast. This music is Finn playing. Yes, it is. That that sounds good to me. All right, friends. This is what I'm built for. Ah, so whispers. Who are you doing now on? Cardinal Black. Um. Immediately re uses reaction to move as far as its speed allows away Save. from me. Who are mm. you doing this on? Cardinal Black. The guy mm. on this side? Other side, Cardinal. Mm. I didn't see that. I didn't see that moving far away from me. I don't like yeah. that. Uh, no, <laughs> no, I didn't notice that before I casted it. I will mm. say you can take it back then. Great. All right. Great. New character. I'll try hideous. It, it is. It, it really is. 
Um, hideous laughter. Let's do that. Ah, it's a 30 foot range. You could hit the guy in front of Felix. That's also mm -hmm. great because they'll fail. They can't concentrate. Like, concentrate. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe. So uh, save. It's a save. Or become oh, incapacitated. incapacitated. Yeah, yeah, I think that would prevent. Yeah. Mm -hmm. incapacitated. Uh, mixture of crystal and phosphorescence. We're gonna uh, just can't take flare. actions or reactions. Flashes of colors. Does oh. it matter with flaring? Drink them in with your eyes, and soon you will be hypnotized. I am going to spend another three. That is now <laughs> ah! seven points having been spent Fuck yeah, good. Yeah. to do one more oh, roll. Also, incapacitated, they can still concentrate. <gasps> Doesn't matter. Okay. Uh, he is able to concentrate on incapacitated, but okay. he is incapacitated. As uh, Felix was his face, and he goes, ooh, <laughs> that was a close one. <laughs> and he just starts... Hideously falls, laughing right now. Falls prone. Uh, fall prone yeah. becoming. Yeah, mm -hmm. he's prone too. Great, great. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. With disadvantage. Sorry. That was he is now right. laughing. Okay. He gets like a. He gets a some kind of save if he yeah, gets hit. Yeah, if he gets one. hit, he can. Yeah. But we Go need him to the lose one. I got this. Yeah. So we have I to mean, hit him. At least he's <laughs> prone and you, you you have advantage to hit him. Right. It is now Tierbrin's turn. Hey, uh, it is mine to the Lovika. Can we teleport to that wall? Oh, absolutely. <laughs> yep. And he'll call back, he'll call back to uh, Thin and uh, Clementine. Uh, don't worry, I do mm -hmm. this all the time. And he's going to repeat the form. Right, this is okay. normal. It's going to look Everybody. really weird. Collapses in on itself as the limbs oh. fold into the torso, like almost clipping through each other, like a video game like logic. <laughs> until the body is just like a formless ball of white that then darkens over and <laughs> forms. I'm into... gonna see that in my dreams tonight. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> uh, this is on there. Uh, it's been a while. I... It's been a while. Uh, yep, and you have a teleport speed of like 30 feet automatically. Uh, I. I think changing forms is at least a bonus. Yep. Mm -hmm. Then you I just use the rest of my movement to teleport. You have an action now. <laughs> and you see Colonel Black goes, WHAT IN THE NAME OF KITE?! <laughs> <laughs> I, I will flare and s- Please do. <laughs> I do not have my plus four, though. No. You are not in my aura. Alright. Hey, yeah. 18. Uh, 18 will hit. Alright, he needs to make a DC Wisdom save. Nice. Like oh, yes! Oh, move him over this way. Yeah, yes. yeah. yeah. Oh. yeah. He's gonna flare as well. There's no way he's not flaring for this. Okay. Do it again. Alright, attack okay. number two. Come on, man. Well, maybe I need for him to hit. Yeah! Another save. Oh. Okay. Oh. Okay. Fuck. He's taking the damage though, so he's like, Ugh. Ugh. Just. Oh, oh, oh. That is too much, sir. Oh, my God. Oof. Uh, Clementine. Clementine has to flare for advantage to get normal because I ranged attack and mm -hmm. things that are prone. Uh, <laughs> and I don't get sneak attack, but well, that's okay. You get a plus four, maybe. I, I do. I got to find where's the K. There it is. Okay. All right. So it's my first. I got Haya. Oh, yeah, that'll hit. And then, oh, first I cast bonus action Hunter's Mark on. What's his face? I forgot gotcha. to say that. Sorry. Um, no it didn't add in Hunter's Mark or my thrown weapon proficiency. What? Damn. Oh. Hold on. Let me uncheck and recheck. I click. No? Why you no click? It's not working. This is annoying. All right. Well, we're going to add a 1d6 plus 2. Add an extra 8 Eight. onto that top of that. Okay. A chakra <laughs> slices his cheek and he's like, like, he suddenly sees, uh, I just want to say, for how much this group has been kind of, like, 
socially bumbling with each mm -hmm. other. Mm -hmm. You guys broke that door down like a fucking trained SWAT team. <laughs> Gibran has teleported across the wall. Felix has engaged the mage. Finn slid under a table and is providing support to the group. Clementine <laughs> runs over and is just throwing chakrams and it's like, this is, um, this is scary for the bad guys. <laughs> There's a SWAT team in here. I'm just gonna add it to my attack because it doesn't want to add it globally. So I'm just gonna do that real quick. All right, attack number two. <sighs> hey, yeah. I oh. create. <laughs> also, we're gonna need two concentration, I, concentration checks. checks. Yes, I know. I know. Don't worry. <laughs> um, and then I do my dread ambusher third attack. And let me just add. Fuck, I'll roll it separate, I guess. Does a 23 hit or 27 hit? <laughs> Right, it's a mage without mage memory. It's a 12 AC right Add now. Add an extra right. 8 on top of that for my Dread Amber. And then I'm going to action surge and do that again. <laughs> <laughs> I, does a 16 That yes. does hit. Okay. And then attack again. I for another creep. He's unconscious. He's unconscious. Oh, I need God. it. Stop. He's already dead. I need it. <laughs> All right. The, the wall falls. The wall falls. Tear down that wall. Garbashek. And then I, 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 I don't. Can I? I he's he's little far. How far did I move? I moved to the thirty five. I can move thirty five. Oh, because it's, it's first turn. I move extra ten feet. Oh, That's, there we go. He's within the range, but now the extra four. Ah, uh, I'm not. I got to turn off the. This is my last attack with Chakram. Yeah, and then I get sneak attack. Because yeah. <laughs> once his face is here, an extra D8. There's the sneak attack, and then and then the one D8. Sorry, I, I didn't. I had it all worked out, but it didn't work out. So an extra three points of damage to that last one. To what's his face? Shit. Okay. <laughs> that was oh, a turn. Wait. Sorry, minus six from that because I don't have Hunter's Mark on him. Do we want these alive? Okay. So. <laughs> I, I don't I, 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 one I, of them is unconscious and bleeding yeah. out. The other yeah. one is <laughs> looking like like he he darted past like a, the, the wall appeared. He looked back. A giant displacer wolf appears and wah, 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 lashes him <laughs> twice. There's these two bleeding gashes, and then the wall falls. And this bat person comes up and chucks a chakra right into his shoulder. Mm. Like, ah, mm. uh, he's um. He's looking hurt. He's looking pretty bad. You know, you know, Flynn, that's a great question. As Tierman looks at him and licks his lips. You see, the Lapika the Lepik side says, I don't really think I care anymore. I just want to have more fun with this one. <laughs> uh, is that the Clement end of Clementine's turn? Clementine is done. <laughs> it's the Cardinal's <laughs> turn. <laughs> You expected us to be more worn out at this point. I sure <laughs> fucking did. I didn't fucking use anything. Oh, Almost we're on full anything. cylinder. I'm pretty full cylinder. So. Mm. <laughs> what can I do to fuck make these guys scared? He raises oh. his hands. Oh, goody. Huh. That is very fun. I did that from under the table. Good. I Throw your weapons on the time. ground. Uh, he gestures for spell and he unclasps a mace that he then <laughs> drops to the ground. I'm, I stop playing, but I'm like, mm. I'm ready to start playing again. <laughs> now I recognize you. Yes. Dear God. I didn't know you were back in town. There's a reason for that. Sure. How much of that did you overhear back there? Enough. I can get you Tark. <laughs> Look, it's just I know what he's done to you. But where is Cloak? Yeah. Cloak? Where is Cloak? He looks between all of you. I don't know who that is. 
you know, he he elkin looking, he got hood, he had dark matted hair. A young kid that works for the Rooks. He was taken no, after what? your explosion. He's an adult, but still. Oh, sorry. Yeah. He's, oh, yeah. adult, He's probably He's older than you. 20 years since last campaign. Mm -hmm. Traveler. I genuinely, I don't know what you're talking about. I just showed up here to check on the operations. I was about to teleport back to my home. If they've taken one of your friends, I have nothing to do with that. Oh, you have a teleporter. It is not mine. Who's Belongs this guy? to these Who the associates. Who is? And I gesture to the man bleeding out on the ground. That is Anders. I would appreciate if he lived, but I understand right now I don't have much to say in this. You really don't. Listen, and what are you these? Said you, were with the, you said you were with the Rooks. The cloak was with the Rooks. Then you understand. The church had to change. It all had to change. I'm on the same side. No. As those who wish to change this country. Nobody deserves to be murked to death. You don't know what that does. You don't understand. Yes, I want Tark. I want his head on a fucking pike. So you're gonna tell me everything you know, or I'm gonna put you in whatever the hell that vat is behind me. <laughs> his eyes look over to the vat, the four vats of bubbling, dark violet liquid. Because I have a good idea, it's not a good. <laughs> And don't worry, if you can teleport, I'm ready to stop you. Yes, I'm aware. Mages. That man is a scholar with the Order of Invilis. They're here studying the applications of Merc and the methods of weaponizing it. To my understanding, this is Weapon Labs X1R5. That is important. <laughs> That's always important. Yes. All right. Um. Sorry. Once again, Mike, you said his name was Anders. A N D E R S. Anders. Does he have a last name? Didn't say it. Mm -mm. What's his last name? I'm not on that kind of a basis with him. Mm. Clementine, can you check to see if he has an ID on him? Read the on it. Thank you. So, searching the body, uh, give me an investigation check. I should have taken some points in investigation. Oh, I rolled good, though. Um, <laughs> you find a number of interesting things on him, but no identification. Uh, he seems to have... Uh, he has a pouch holding yeah. 5,000 platinum pieces. I'm... Oh my god. <laughs> I'm my going god. in my pocket sneakily, and I'm going to try <laughs> to hand it. Uh, I'm gonna sure. be looking 17. over. Above my passage. <laughs> It's above my uh, head. It, no, Tierman sees it. <laughs> I think Tierman's a little preoccupied. Yeah. yeah <laughs> besides, he doesn't care about money anyways. No. But yeah, um, he found a, a pouch with a shit ton of money. Um, I would say, Clementine could note, the pouch is also divided into smaller pouches uh, oh. in, sec in 100 platinum portions, as oh. if to be given out. Perhaps bribery. Um. Um, in my pouch. <laughs> <laughs> I am rich. Add blood money to your inventory. No, um, there is uh, a um, a what looks like a belt with sending stones woven into it. Oh, oh yes, we need those. Uh, no idea who they go to right now unless you test find one out by eventually. one. Oh, oh that's, that's okay. Mm. Um, and there is also a small black book. Small black that book. has uh, mm. it looks like a, lovers. Ironically, Little it's written book. in Rook script. Holy oh, shit! Man. I can read this. That you can read because <laughs> you are Rooks. <laughs> uh, and it has a list of dates and locations and times, Ooh. and a few of them. About nine of the twelve on there are crossed out. Oh no! Mm -hmm. 
Uh, and there is a note on uh, the Sable Throne uh, under the uh, Arche in Vilium around this date, around this time. That's the last one on the list. So to clarify, the last entry in the small black book is, is for saying... the Sable Throne. And it has a date under today and soon. Fuck. <laughs> okay. Well, you know, that's where the queen usually is. <laughs> Probably the big one. I don't know where Sable <laughs> Throne is. Also, Fearless Lether, we have a belt of sanding stones in a book with location and times. I think there's some things that are left to go boom. Hmm. Where's Listen. this... Sable, Sable? I, I don't know. This is order business. All what? I'm doing was order. organizing. Yes, the like. order of Vilis. Right. Mm. This was their operation. I was just assisting. They would. They promised to ensure that mm -hmm. the remains of Kaitark, the proper people, were left in power to rebuild better. So what's your vision for this society? I'm curious. Genuinely. I, for a long time, have had doubts about Kite. About Invilis in general. Mm -hmm. Meeting this order has only strengthened it for me. I want to follow in the footsteps of the Dane. Undo the... theocracy we have now. Oh, I understand that. I really do. And so, kind of unfortunately, impressive. the church and its powers that be had to fall one way or another. Whether by merc or by sword, it did not matter to me. He was going to become the new archbishop? Is that not still a theocracy? Mm. I was going to be one just long enough to abolish it can't take it down unless you have full control over it. No, no, you got a point then. This, this, uh, this sounds pretty good for him. I'm chaotic neutral. I understand, I understand. <laughs> I get this. <laughs> so, why so, aren't you working with the rooks then? I'm very confused. I don't know all your backstory, uh, Felix. I, I don't, don't believe the rooks are a force of good like they think they are. I oh. think... There's something you're all either in on or completely ignorant of. Now you listen here, mister. The rooks are good people. I mean, they saved my life. And that's good for me, at least. <laughs> well, Tom, you take all of it back, you giant lizard. What are you going to do I was with underneath me? some rubble, you know? <laughs> Let's just cut to the chase. I'm telling you what I know. You're still going to throw me in the damn vat of death? What? are these vats you want to know the details wake up the guy who made them <laughs> where's the queen as far as i know she's in the castle mm. i listen i don't know what tark is but he did something to the queen mm. during the fall mm -hmm. I was at the castle. And I don't have proof, but I'm fairly certain Tark killed his older brother and then put the queen into some state. The mm. official story that's gone out is that she's ill. And that in her absence, the Grand Archbishop was marked as regent. And now he's dead, so it'll be Tark. Oh, that's, that's not good for you. That yes. Felix. Can't. Okay, exactly. so we're all on the wow. same side for this. Yes. And and I'm okay with this. I don't know how he did it. Hmm. The queen, I saw her briefly. She has full decay. Her body is covered in murk, but she does not die. Oh. Super it, resilient. It, it lingers on her. I don't understand it. Oh. And and when I questioned it, Tark just said it's all under control. Doesn't sound under control. 
Hmm. Well, I don't understand any of this. I just wanted a better kingdom for my daughters. Well, that was an well, I... understandable goal. Killing innocents is not the way to do it. Spare me your sophistry. You have no idea what it means to run a nation. Someone has to die. You're right. Perhaps it should be you. Unless you give me a reason. As I said, I can give you Tark. He still thinks I'm one of the trusted ones. I can arrange a meeting. And how do I know I can trust you? So willing to turn sides. I just explained. Mm -hmm. I'm only doing this to help the kingdom to gain the power. If Tark's gone, I'm now the new regent. Hmm. That's I'm exactly the... what I want. Can, can I Can I do an insight on this guy? Insight. Yeah, that's, yeah that sounds like a great idea. Oh, God. Clementine. Gonna... Hello. Damn, Clementine. Um, uh, I gotta um, take that plus ten off. Oh, you I take hear that plus 10? the heartbeat. Beat I'm gonna take the plus slow. I do still actually have the plus four because it hasn't been a minute, so your thing oh, is uh, active. It's, it's very fitting. Oh. I rolled a I rolled a natural one on his oh, deception. Okay. So thirty-four. <laughs> But uh, Clementine be the most apparent. Like I think Clementine, you literally do hear his heart beating out of his chest. That's, like as he's that's, yeah, that's how um, rational. You all, you all, because he natural one. Mm. Finn oh, less so. Finn. Finn's probably a little bit more like I kind of like this guy. I'm kind of cool with this man. <laughs> yeah. Um. Yeah. Everyone else. Cool this man. You can tell he's definitely just trying to buy time and beg for his life. Mm -hmm. You don't think he'll give up Tark. You think that maybe he might need Tark for something. That maybe. Him and Tark are in cahoots. Let's take his stuff and put them in the vat. What? <laughs> <laughs> wait, 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 wait. You can't. <laughs> You're right. No we can't lying. trust him. Wait, 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 wait. I have daughters. I have a wife. And so do all the people you're about to kill. You kind of should have thought of that before you went all evil. Hmm. I mean, come on, come on, guys. Come on, come on, come on. In come fact, on. can we at least take all I'm, the stuff? I'm going to touch Felix and have suggestion. <gasps> Cast suggestion on Felix. <sighs> What's the saving throw? PvP! <laughs> it's wisdom or charisma. Uh, suggestion. Suggest course of activity. Wisdom. Wisdom save. Look, oh, we don't the need the first one, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> oh, come on. Unfortunate. Plus, well, I'm still gonna say what I said. Come on, we don't need to kill him. He can <laughs> give us what we need, and then we can kill him. I still want all his stuff. <laughs> You're killing no. me. No. Well, if they want to throw you in this vat, I'm assuming it's death. <laughs> Make him strip naked, and then we take all his things. Why Maybe you... not naked, because that's close. <laughs> but Tear so Brain, you want... hear in your mind? Oh my God, I love these people. Some people oh, this is so much better. are just better <laughs> off not in this world. And I yeah, knock him he's unconscious. He's gonna make a run for it. I, oh, I was trying to knock him unconscious in that moment. Oh, he's not that low. No. He's just okay. low. Um, I checked him over to me. Yeah, absolutely. He's making a <laughs> fucking run for it. Okay, um, yep. Attacks of opportunity. I'm gonna go against the party Actually, on he's gonna side. go this way. So first, Felix will get an attack um, opportunity. Um... Can I, instead of attacking, can I try a grapple? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, is that just an attack? Yeah. Okay. Um, it's an athletics. Is it athletics? Oh. It's his athletics versus his athletics or acrobatics, his choice. Okay. <laughs> okay. I'm going to flare for advantage. And you so will he. More. You said athletics? Yeah. I can. Okay. Yeah. That's fitting. Um, plus I have the aura, so yeah. let me, uh... Did he ever get within my range? The, um, the, my touch range, this guy? No. 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 Okay. Uh, Felix? Oh, like, yeah, I, I need to, I need to add the modifier. You rolled a 15, just roll. You're oh, probably God. Be fine. Okay, yeah. Well, plus four to this. Um, I want to use this ability before. Yeah. Like, you matched no. it, and then plus four is better. Okay. So, as he's running by, you grab him, once proud cardinal, now running for his life. 
Sad. And this makes me feel like we're the bad guys, even though, you know, I kind of like being a bad guy. <laughs> I don't prefer uh, doing that to him, though. Okay. I think we could have used him. him. All right. Um, I mean, that's my turn to well, your whole action. This is not initiative. Okay. This is just, what are you doing? I basically want to knock him unconscious. Sure. I'd say that in this moment, you can beat him as much as needed till he falls unconscious. Okay. Can we take his stuff? Yes, we could take his stuff. You're so greedy. At this point, Anders has died. Okay. He has bled out into the carpet. I believe the term is kleptomania. (laughs) Oh, my God. We got people to feed, you know? Uh, Cardinal Black uh, is wearing a set of plate armor. He has a plus one mace. Nothing really special. Um, (laughs) he's He's not really here to fight he came in more of his mm-hmm. like order stuff like orderly mm-hmm. stuff um right. he does have a pouch of about 600 gold pieces on him right now mm-hmm. um he has a sending stone you're not sure where it goes Whoa, uh and he stone. also has um mm-hmm. actually he has three sending stones i don't approve i will take his money I'll keep good care of it. I think we should split it. Okay. I don't know, you got the other stuff. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, two, four, uh, double, 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 take, what's that, 150 or everybody? Mm-hmm. Real yeah, quick, great. We'll just rob this guy real great. quick. Yeah, pretty much. Okay. Um, <laughs> um, I mean... Hmm. Okay. I uh, yeah, I'm just thinking about what you to do. <laughs> I didn't think we'd get this far. Um You are yeah. a cold blooded killer. I mean I think we should find try to contact the, the, the rest of the rooks and let them know about that thing happening. Wait, uh we still don't know where Or we could just take these guys alive and then have the rooks deal with them. Well the one looks kind of dead. Oh. Well, can't help that. Yes, well, I can't oh revive. God, oh my god. <laughs> can't what? Nice clothes you got there. It'd be a shame if somebody stripped you naked. No. Um, some oh, people are Leave just... him with some of his dignity, come on. Oh, well, it's just common. A... Some people are better off dead. Well, does anyone know how to contact the other rook people? I don't think no one trusted me with a standing uh, Finn, stone. Finn has a stone to Seraph. Oh, right, I do. We should let them know. Can you? Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Bit busy at the moment. What is it? Oh, I didn't think you'd actually answer. <laughs> Great. Is this an um, emergency? What's going on? Um, yes, we found the Archbishop. Uh, what's his name? Black? Black? Um, should Cardinal we kill him? Black? Cardinal Black. Yeah, should we kill him? What? What? No! What? What are you? We kind of we kind of knocked him out, and his what one friend, it? his one friend Anders is like dead on the carpet. But um, <laughs> do you want context? Do you want context? To... He's evil. I, I don't understand. All I know is that Honor told me something happened at the cathedral. You were all in pursuit mm. of cloak. Next thing I know, you're telling me you have Cardinal Black Dinar unconscious. And a friend of his is murdered. I... De-escalate. De-escalate whatever that is now. Or oh, explain to me why that makes sense. So you see, we were traveling in this disgusting sewer. Sure, and... Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay, so basically, we found them. We're trying to find out where certain person whatever is. We're trying to cloak. Cloak is gone. Is completely right. gone. Right, yes, I've been told this. We can't find him. That's He's unfortunate. Not down here. What does Cardinal Black have to do with that? I mean, you could talk to Felix with that. <laughs> then please hand me Felix. Uh, hello. I don't know. I don't hello. know any of the subplot, dude. It's fine, but you called him. Called her. Here, what, someone uh, take what, the what dog. is going on? Why did she hand me this? I am asking you, what is happening? 
Why is uh, Cardinal Black d uh, unconscious on your floor? And uh, a friend of his Cardinal is dead Black and... is working with Prince Tark. He's working with the Order. We have vats of black wait, wait, wait. ichor. Cor wait, of course he's working Prince Tark. Wait, the, the what? Mm. They're behind the explosions. There's more explosions coming. The queen is in danger. Right. Tell them about the book with the numbers and the uh, dates. Yes, and yes. The I'll, I'll, here, I'll here. grab the book and like yes, read yes. the details out of it to her. Deal with that. Listen, just, just get out of there as soon as you can. Come back. Report all of this directly. Over Sunday Stone, this is just too much. Just get out. All right. Should we leave Black? If he's behind it, I'd rather we have a body to show. I'd rather mm. we have a... I would rather, if possible... Mm. I don't know the circumstances, mm. but if you can get him out alive, that would be ideal. We Yay. could put him on trial. We could That's show nice. the people that there is corruption. We could show the people that we are not the villains. That sounds but like a good idea. I don't know the circumstances if that would be... impossible. I... Don't think he would cooperate. I didn't say to ask him nicely. Fair. I mean, you already beat him up. I guess he's unconscious. Oh, yeah. Where are you? I, maybe I could send someone. We're oh god, it's underground Is tunnels this a that I don't Is this think a we're here before. But the sewers are filled with both merc creatures and other abominations. What honor told me the tunnel underneath the cathedral collapsed? We had no way to get in, and uh, a new one well, opened up. Right, we'll have to this figure is, out how to get this there. This is X one R five or something of that effect. That, that, that literally no idea what that means. Not going to mean right. anything to Who knows? even this party doesn't know how important that number is. Felix, um, yes, I leave it to you. Oh great! Right. Do with him what you will. If you can get him out, it would be a great boon to our cause. To um, put him on trial before everyone. If you can't, do what you think is right. Regardless, the priority is finding Cloak and all of you getting out safely. I'll try, but if I have to kill him, I will. I understand. Anyways, I have to reach out to Honor. It sounds like he was right about this whole thing all along. We'll be in touch. All right. And I hand it back. Did they, uh, did you say about where, where they're gonna explode? She's, no, not really. Oh, well. Hopefully she doesn't die. Uh, Keep an eye on him. I need to see where he was running to. Sure. Uh, are there, like, doors up here? One up, one down. I'll open the top door. Boop. No giddy. Ah, uh, I can't see that far. Uh, is there some room? My orbit probably went bye-bye. Uh, oh yeah, last a minute. Yeah. Uh, right. What about in this down Ooh. room? Because I don't want to go too far without the party. Okay. All right. Sarah Bryn, can you lug the big guy? <laughs> In your big form. All right, I, I'd have to go too far around corners. I don't want to go without you guys. Um, I mean he's Fine. dead. Um, are we sure about that? Well, he is. There's just like a pool of blood under him. <laughs> what Did the fuck is this? Mat? Excellent question. Yeah. There appears to be a device which um seems to have three crystals attached to it. That uh, the one of them ha you can see the the crystal jutting out closest to you still has a very dull green, but mm. the rest of it is like a deep violet. Mm. It seems like this device is for channeling decay into crystals. Basically, this is a mercurialite charging station. You also notice uh, parts mm. of the mechanisms, like the 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 the, the three pronged. Uh, uh, like clasp on it mm. was attached to that large circular thing you guys found before. The weird decay bomb. Mm. Part of it was incorporated into that. Does, it, does there seem to be an obvious way to turn it off? Um, no. Oh yeah, the wall, the, the wall button over there, yeah. 
the light switch. Yeah. There's a light switch. Yeah. <laughs> Great. <laughs> there does not seem to be any obvious way to turn it off. Just break it. Yes. Breaking, decay making stuff tends to go poorly. Well, you seem to be wanting to, how dare I say, look around the room. Um, I would like to just snatch papers, loose papers, sure. into a pouch. There's not a reading them, bunch of them. Just grabbing as much as I can. Okay. You can and... add scholars, uh, order scholar Anders's notes. I'm going to get a vial, use my mage hand, scoop some of that goo up. Okay. Put the vial back on. You get a vial mean? of murk goo. Vial of murk goo. Sounds cool. <laughs> I don't know that I can turn this off without causing a decay explosion. I'd prefer not to die today. You have no yeah. idea how this thing works. The only one who does is dead. Yeah. yeah. Well, well there is a solution to that. You could revivify him if you really wanted, but you're running out of time. Mm-hmm. Within a minute. In, uh, in session and out of session. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Dear What's the party doing? Come on, people. Dear I need I'm time. In. I'm good. I will echolocate north. See what I see. Do you still okay. have the ability to revive? Yes. Dead end? Or it's ended a door on the Do left. you think it's worth the information? I don't no, know how echo, limited that is for you. All the way to it permanently south. weakens me. He's not worth it, then. <laughs> door at the end of the hall. Okay. Okay, there are two doors uh, at the end of halls. We we either take or we don't um, take. Cameron will pick up the cardinal with one of the tentacles. Sure. I he, guess we'll go up. He is first. still unconscious. Walkie dokie. And go up. Boop. Why can't I? What the fuck? I can't put you back. That's weird. Okay. All right. I'll just move him with you. Boop. Go ahead. I I try the door. The door is open. <gasps> it is not locked. Oh, and it leads to outside? Or Seems further, to lead further corridor? onward, yes. We like the onward. Should we check the other way as well real Up quick? Up to you guys. Or... Alright, real quick, real quick, fly. Shoom. 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 Oh my god. Shoom. 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 Walking up, door. up and down these halls. Come on, guys. <laughs> it is oh, the... teleport thing, mm. I teleport. think. Teleport. Unfamiliar Ooh, to the party, but familiar to, to the players. More book. Oh, I want to take this book. It looks important. Uh, what is I also that? want the shiny crystals more than book. I don't like uh, reading. Hold, hold on. This, <sighs> this looks... Uh, hold on. <clears throat> Seriously, where are they going? Felix has oh, yeah, no they... concept of what this is. Uh, I... Mm. I you know what a teleportation circle looks like, but you don't know what the holes are, you know what the crystals are, natural one arcana, I mean, you... I I know teleportation circles, but this is different. This is... It would take more time and focused studying to figure out what the difference is with this. What is this book? I'm, I'm going to take the one crystal that's right there and put it there. <laughs> Oh my god, you're fucking <laughs> klepto. Literally. I am urchin. I'm gonna Dude. take the book and start I understand. reading it. Like, you can take the, the weapons lab codex. One crystal. Deal for survival. I, I agree with that. One crystal ball. On the crystal ball. Where is everybody, by the way? They're in the other room at the farther end of the, the building. They're just... me, you and me are just waiting in the other hall. <laughs> I fly back. So, Tierbrin, do you take... actually want to kill this guy? <laughs> Um, Are you as you... cold-hearted as Oh, uh, the, the question. Did the Klepto take all the shiny crystal things in the middle? Just the one. <laughs> I'm gonna, Just the one. I'm going to pick up all these little things and throw them into a bag. Okay. What should I call them? I, I uh, not... Whatever you want to call them, because you don't know what they are. Right. Uh, there's one, <laughs> two, three, four, five. Currently in the circle, yes. Yeah, As I said before, I do not chill unless it's absolutely needed. Oh. So you're right. a good wolf. All right. then. Meow. Good meow. Meow. I suppose meow. that's how you're to refer to me as. Just in time. Good. Okay. All right. 
just in time. I know we're pushing it. Yeah. I just yeah. want to do the outro basically before we leave it where we're going to next session. We did not find Cloak. No, we did not. I think Arden's in on it. Because he lied this whole time. Me and me. That's Megan. I have Clementine's mm. no fucking clue. Mm. <sighs> Mr. Rules guy isn't actually playing by the rules. Playing by his own rules. So, the as the, 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 the passageway winds down, eventually ends at a large set of double doors. Hmm. Which, let me just make sure I've got this. Push the right. open. One sec. This one's really loud. It's dork. Oh. It is dork. Scroll all the way to the it bottom. It is dork. Yeah, I know. There's fucking huge maps. <laughs> I love it. As the uh, you approach these giant double doors, they are emblazoned with an eight-pointed star. Oh, oh, what the hell does that mean? That doesn't seem welcoming. Is it the same eight thing that was like, you know... It's the sigil of Invelis. Yeah. My character's like, what the fuck? Okay. We That's some weird religion. Alright. <laughs> As the, the doors are a bit heavy, but you can push them open. It unveils a massive cavernous space. Oh, all right, I don't want to fall over there. Oh, jeez, no. <sighs> Dark violet crystals lining the walls, glittering faintly. Mm. As what looks like a massive pool of murk goo mm. from two river-like trails descending from a massive version of the thing you saw under the cathedral an orb covered in this three-pronged mechanism and mercurialite eight mm. mercurialite socketed at certain points you also see in the dim glow that it emits oh damn i'd be all oh. the way at the other end yeah. oh. okay. a few figures Oh, goody. You see, un lying unconscious atop the uh, object, the body of Cloak. Uh, cloak. Standing off to the side, mm -hmm. a figure you do not recognize. Oh, I look like an alien. In strange violet blue armor. Oh, I don't like it. Right. And right. one you certainly do recognize. <laughs> <laughs> Prince Tark Calcifal. Guy. <laughs> As the doors <laughs> open, echoing to the chamber, from all the way to the end, you hear, Well, looky here, Exarch. We have guests. Oh, that's the thing. And that is where we will pick up with part two of the Sable Throne. <laughs> 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 Y'all avoided every fucking fight except for the one optional fight and the boss. That's insane. Yay. We're great. <laughs> I love this party so much. I'm gonna have to do more one shots after this. There's gonna be more mini series with this party. This party is gonna have its own like side. Oh story. my god, There's I no love way. Clementine. He's also the most frustrating Clementine. character in the they. world, but I love him. They. 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 I like yeah. them. Them. Sorry. Oh my god, guys. All right. So we will pick up next time with the climactic battle against Prince Tark and this Exarch. Finally. I. Felix's quarry has been Fine. acquired. Yes. Target acquired. Let's all fucking right. love. Well, thank you, Mike. You're very welcome. Thank you all. Bye. Hope you have a wonderful night, and I'll see you next time. Bye. 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 That was cool. <sighs> yeah. And